what we're saying here is your explanation is a lie. You're lying yeah. right now. That's what that's what the criticism is. And you hide uh, behind this. Well, you're just not sophisticated enough to to understand me. That's I wish I would. Maybe I should have went on. But I'm not, yeah. I don't know. Uh, see, I don't know what history like Nick does. This dude is too stupid to f realize <laughs> that he's bad. And I I don't think yeah. that he has a. F I don't even know if there's malicious at this point. It doesn't matter. He, this dude is one of the stupidest people I've ever listened to. And I don't think he gets it. I don't think he gets that he's bad. I don't think that he understands even the concept of which he's trying to say whether he's real or this is a, a, a he's not Alex Jones this isn't that type of situation he says stupid sh backs into a corner and then plays in hopes that this comedian card will work he's so much so so much so that this idiot tried to actually get people to come down and do a roast battle in his loft and charge for it he was trying to play a professional comedian role that nobody bought because he can't talk He's the ta 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 ta. I just this guy is just he gets on my last nerve, Nick. <laughs>Pretty long stream VOD, so feel free to use any of the timestamps or chapters in the description and jump to something you like because chances are if you're getting a little bored, it'll pick up in a couple of minutes. The stream is a fucking mess, tons of people are here, and uh, I I'm here for it. You should be too. Uh, new video coming soon. So, what, are, what else we got? I know Nick Diorio said that he wanted to go on, or someone just sent me something saying he wanted yeah, to go he on. Yeah, he can, he can, he can replace my spot, that's no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's good? Hello. What's up? How's my audio? It's fine. Perfect. I don't think we've actually spoken before um, in like the, the full year that we've had like a an issue. Um, it, it's weird. I, I just kind of want to- Hold up. Oh, sure. Just said, what, what issue do you think we have? Because I don't think we, I don't think, I think you're oh, kind you of like assuming. You? Wait, you like me? I, I honestly, I, I don't know you, so how can I form an opinion about you? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Be, uh, pretty uptight about it, and a lot. So I don't know. Pretty. So what? What leads you to that conclusion? Um, uh, probably like the four tweets about the Michelin Man. Uh, that you was that you didn't know it was like made out of tires, so you thought it was soft. When you meme stuff, you, you according to your interpretation, you are doing it because you're tight with a person. Yeah, I typically don't like a lot of the people I make videos on. That's why I say mean things to them online. All right. Well, I guess we differ in that sense. Sure. I, I guess I kind of just wanted to ask you if you're like, are you are you self aware in this? Do you kind of understand why people think you're a little crazy? Look, I've been talking to people for I don't even know how long this has been going, but you know, I'm listening. I, I almost feel bad uh, for you because a lot of these whether or not people think I'm crazy, like like well, you mean like mental institution no, crazy? No, no, you no, mean no, like no, no. but people just think that you're crazy, like, kind of like a recently. Me? Like, how crazy? Like, what do you mean? I mean, like, just off your rocker recently. Not, like, fucking put this guy in a cage. Off He's gonna rock. hurt somebody. Crazy. Okay. What What makes you think I'm off my rocker? Because uh, I feel like we've been looping for, like, the past year or so. I, I feel like the same critiques that I've made in, uh, I don't know, like, fucking December of 2020, was that? Are, like, the same ones mm -hmm. that you're hearing now. Um, like, yeah. it, it's the and, same and thing. What, what do you think, like, uh, I mean, I pretty much outlined everything I did before you even made, I think your videos, I don't remember specifically when you published them, but I remember end of 2019, it was before a lot of people on commentary started making videos. I, I did an interview With John where I Swan, literally right? talked about the exact same things. Oh, you're talking, talking about, about the Vulture one, right? This actually circles back to a point that was made hours ago, which is, you know, uh, to, to what extent do people want to accept what I do or place what they wanted to be on it. Okay, yeah, like, yeah, I, but Dennis, then really I, I watched, I'm the only one on the call who's listened to your Vulture interview. I'm the only one here who has. Um, okay. I, have you ever seen Good. my videos on you? Uh, no, actually I haven't. Okay, <laughs> because I covered this in the second one. I have a quote from the guy that you talked to from the Vul I, I think his name is um, Jesse David Fox. Yeah. Okay. This so explain, talk about it. All right, so this is the quote that he said. It's not always clear which part is real and which part is a joke. And even what the joke even is sometimes, as much as he says it's just a character, 
I don't know if I always believe him. You know, he clearly mm -hmm. gets something out of reporting in this world. And even after talking to Dennis, my producers and I were unsure which parts were real and which parts weren't. So you're saying that Not only this that, is like the biggest comedy dude, podcast. I heard you said that earlier. Literally fucking uh, even they don't yeah. with yeah. So, I, I mean, at what point do you kind of go insane? I mean, that's, like, fair to say about, that's fair to say about Colbert, too. People thought Colbert was 100% real when he was doing his shit. Yeah, but there are people who also I, think Colbert it, is, like, funny. It, it goes, you're, you're getting, right now, you're getting, like, a summary of what he said. And if you go through, he actually asks me that. He asks me, he said, are yeah, you this serious? Yeah, post-interview summary. He, exactly. So he so, doesn't believe of course, you. He, he's teasing his interview with that summary, right? Now, I mean, the full context of everything I explained isn't presented there because otherwise you wouldn't listen to the podcast. But I explain it Not very that, clearly here, from A to Z, to how shit. I arrived at the concept of the channel, how it evolved, and what is real and what isn't. And that's fine that that was his conclusion. That seems to be the conclusion that a lot of people arrive at. That's totally fine. The intention is still the same. Now, but it's not just it, it a lot of people point. that arrive there, Dennis. Now, like, there are people the who point are like ontologically like, like they're like opposed to each other. If I'm agreeing it with somebody the on the H3H3 H3 subreddit and Adam McIntyre and Kat Tenbarge, people who are completely different than me that I disagree with almost everything else they say, there's like a large sample size of people who have this issue with you. Like what, what do you want me to do? I want you to realize that you're the problem, not everyone else around you. So when did I say that everybody else was a problem? I mean, th then I'm the problem. That's, That's what the hope on this stream problem. is. It's like, oh, everyone just doesn't get my jokes. You've been doing the same bit That's since 2020. If, if the I'm joke was that everybody else is stupid and I'm the funniest comedian that's ever lived, you know what? Fuck it. Dude. I, Let's start a frenemies and I'll, I'll hand you an award right now. Uh, I think we'd be great together, but I don't think that's true. I never said I was the funniest comedian that's ever lived. All I did was say that I wanted to tell jokes every day and that the news made it easy because there's news happening all the time. So here's yeah, the thing. And you talk I, about news, but real news. I think my intentions are. I, like I said earlier, I created a Dilbert sketch. If people want a Dilbert comic strip, if people want to see it as Hemingway and expect it to be Hemingway, then that's on them. That's my problem for creating the Dilbert uh, comic strip and only being talented enough to create a Dilbert comic strip. I wish I was Hemingway or F. Scott Fitzgerald, but I'm not. So this is what I'm giving people. And this is what it is. I mean, you're, if people are legitimately asking me for, to be something that I'm not. This is my authentic self, my ideas, and I, I don't know how else to be something else. All right, well, we're not gonna agree on this one. Uh, wanna move on to the next point? Hold on one second. Here's the thing. If you don't like what he does or what he says, you can block him, mute him, don't watch him, Preach. and then stop yeah, complaining about it. I, I, Preach. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. Right, yes, I know. Sometimes one? he says things that are way too inflammatory. Like, that that still reaches out after the block. I don't agree with everyone who got on the stream tonight and said that your joke was too mean. I, I, I don't think that you can um, condemn him for calling Papa Gut somebody who looks like a pedophile just based off of that one comment. I, I totally disagree with the allegedly Angelo guy. I think that he sounds the way that uh, Def Noodles thinks Papa Gut looks. So I, I'm, I'm not condemning Dennis for that. I'm not condemning Dennis for any edgy jokes. My problem with Dennis is that the joke, quote unquote, that he made isn't just, oh, Papa Gut looks like a pedophile. It's, I I'll read it to you. Motherfucker got famous on TikTok for, quote unquote, joking about fucking 14 year old girls. Then he got offended that did he though about him. So, so, so the here, implication is that how he got famous? Is that he before, but was serious and wanted to fuck children. So, so here's the thing. I'm done we the FBI. This, we covered this before, but I'm happy to walk through it again. Sure. So, is fucking children funny to you? Uh, could be in certain cir circumstances of a joke. Absolutely. Okay, so. Talking about a grown man from the point of view of a grown man fucking a 14 year old child is objectively funny to you. That's depends on the funny. context of the joke. Absolutely. So tell me a context. So tell me a context where it would be funny. Uh, I think that it's funny that you made a joke about Papa Gut fucking children because it makes you look like an idiot. Okay. So here's the thing. First off, I didn't say he fucks children. I said no. You he said looks that he was 
quote his unquote joke, joking. The implication joke, is however, that he wasn't joking joke, when he made a comment joke, about fucking a 14 year old girl. So his joke, we're talking about the quote unquote joke part, which is what you brought out. Yes, that's my You're problem. clearly not getting it, dude. His joke, his joke was if she if she bleeds, she breeds. Shout out to Andres Lopez for the life tip or some shit like that. And your implication so, is that he wasn't joking about that, that he actually wants to fuck children if they bleed. Okay. So so essentially the joke is thank you for te for teaching me that I should fuck children, Andreas Lopez. So now my question to you is objectively, is fucking children funny to you from that point of view? I mean, I don't think Papa Gut's a fucking comedian. But my point is, no. you're saying that that uh, statement uh, that you're describing it. Is to it, me... Is it, objectively, is it objectively funny to fuck children? Wait, I'm so confused. A Wait, what does it matter if the joke is funny? Is your, is your like, no, 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 ethics no, no. on whether I'm you can asking, make it, whether the joke is funny or not? Yeah. I'm trying to understand. To you, is it objectively funny to fuck for a grown man, imagine Papa Gut, to fuck a 14-year-old girl? Is it objectively funny to you? Uh, no, I, I don't like going to sleep at night thinking of Papa Gut having sex with a child. Is that your thing? Oh, so that's why I put it in quotes, because I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's a joke to joke to so say that. So why didn't you put say, fucking a 14-year-old like girl a in quotes? Why did you put joking in quotes? Because the obvious like implication is that he wasn't being serious when he said he was joking. You're Thank calling you him somebody, out for joking. Saying that somebody looks like a pedophile is uh, it, it, it's all the... <laughs> I don't care Somebody about the looks so? like a pedophile part. I think that joke's fine. I care about you with the implication that Papa Gut actually wanted to fuck kids. You're literally talking in circles, dude. Yeah, because he's not answering That's, uh, the question. That's how the fucking circle goes. We did, we did get to a point where he said he doesn't think it's funny. Now, uh, so I, I'm trying yeah, to understand I what, jokes literally, uh, what, what like, we're going Jokes you know? aren't like created whether someone thinks they're funny. There, there are going to be people who find every single I mean, joke not funny. Exactly. You would laugh at every single joke like that if somebody told it from that point of view of a grown man fucking a 14-year-old girl. If it's a, if a, a different one, if, it, if it's like written differently, you would objectively find one that's We're actually funny. We're not having a conversation of a, whether Papa Who looks funny. like Papa Gut fucking a Like, children. what is your point? Nick, what is your point? My point is he accused Papa Gut of being a pedophile because he was mad that Papa Gut was making videos on him. It's pretty fucking how was that an accusation when? How was that an accusation when you yourself said you don't think it's a joke? To, to talk, for him to say that he's fucking a 14-year-old girl. What are you talking about? It, you're putting parentheses you, around joking. The look, obvious implication that everyone is drawing is that you're saying how is it an accusation about one of the you said it yourself. And when people are saying this to you multiple days in a row, you've yet to correct a single person on it. So, I mean, like, how I'm not the only person who came to this conclusion. So wait, you came to the conclusion that he was fucking girls? No, I came girls? to the conclusion that you're saying he wasn't actually joking and he actually wanted to fuck girls. Where in my tweet did it say that? Motherfucker got famous on TikTok for quote-unquote joking about fucking 14-year-old girls. The part that you logic. quoted is joking. I explained my logic behind it, and you supported it by saying that you don't think it's a joke. Yeah, so I what's think your that, point? wait, I said I don't think it's funny. I didn't say I don't think it's a joke. Okay, so I guess we kind of agree, kind of, we kind of have like, no, somewhat of an agreement. No, objectively bad. Like, I, and I know that mm -hmm. you fucked up multiple pedophiles. You don't that. sound like you know what you're talking about Okay, thank all. you very much. But, but can we get the peanut gallery to stop? Um, so I, I don't understand how you're also categorizing. Can you, like, can you guys hear me? Not like a spite-driven move. Can you guys so, like, hear me? Yeah. What's... So you were complaining previously be... on this stream. Can people hear me? Yes. Hello? Hello? Can yeah, my yes. God. Can you still hear me right now or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you still? I'm just testing my microphone. Can you hear me still? Good? <laughs> I'm testing. Yes. Can you still? Okay. Loud and clear? It yes. works great. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Thank so what's, what's happening in here? What are we, what are we doing? Like, what's, what's up? We're, we're in the I'm middle asking, of talking about the tweet. Uh, yeah, well, I don't. Is that where you want to start, or maybe the two of us should start like fresh here, death? Like, what do you, where do you want to start here? I don't know. You just dropped in. What, what do you want to talk about? Okay. So, what do we want to talk about, death? Probably that you've been uh, once again trying to slander me on social media as a way to silence me, rather than engage intelligently in what we've been talking about. Okay, so first off, let's break that down. 
How have I slandered you? By heavily insinuating that I'm a pedophile. How is that insinuation made? Constantly through constant harassing tweets insinuating that I look like a pedophile. That quote tweeting, like, what were you saying? That you think I, I got famous on TikTok for quote-unquote making jokes uh, about children. Um, saying that... So well, I'm, not, I'm not done talking. Talk, I'm not done talking. So uh, talking about how you're going to go live on the street, prime people by asking them in from a pedophile. And then, of course, you're going to edit it up so that you're only going to cherry pick the people who say, oh, sure, and then make a slanderous video about me. You've been obsessed with me for no reason other than I can assume is that you saw that Ethan Klein said something nice about me and you've been on a meltdown since that's like your your guy. I don't know why. You, what the hell the are you talking about? You, you're the one who re-engaged this entire thing because somebody Hold said that. Papa Gut owns you. Hold and up, you wait. decided to like come out here saying that you created my entire career Let's... despite the fact that I blew up on like, Hold TikTok. Up. No, no. Through... Hold on, Hold... let's not talk through my oh, own like okay. my own efforts, and now it's spiraled out of control to a point where you're mocking me getting emotional for expressing a situation where I somebody told me about their violent rape. So like this whole angle where like what, so what's going on? You've already outed That's yourself for not caring about assault survivors. So like where are we right now with this like ridiculous like slanderous fucking campaign? That's pathetic. There, hold up, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. First off, sure. I had no idea that Ethan even compliments you. Congratulations. I mean, what? I mean, cool. what? All right, let's you move on. I don't, want, I don't really want to play the Let's Be Friends game. We tried this and, like, and you spit on it. So waiting for it? Like, that's kind of weird. That's, uh, anyway. Um, congratulations cool. on that. I, I don't know why you would think that's, like, Because motivation. you're obsessed with Ethan. That's your entire moral focus is what people think about you online and what Ethan Klein thinks about you. If you actually had a moral center, you wouldn't be going through this like ridiculous disinformation campaign about me. So wait, I gotta understand what your thing with Ethan is, because that's that's like really. I know weird. that you're trying to change the whole frame to make it seem like I'm obsessed with Ethan, but we all know that you're very much obsessed with what he's. Why did you things. even bring him up? We because I can't, this because I can't like explain hours. any other reason for you to have an absolute unhinged meltdown for a week obsessing about me as a content. creator. So let me ask you a question. Sure. When you run your business, do you base your business decisions on someone else? No, because I'm not a bad businessman. Okay. So there's your answer. That's an answer for why me. Why would you assume that I'm making because, so my what's the, business? So why? So why did you? So why did you decide to engage in this weird one week long slander campaign against me? Completely. Okay. So unprompted. let's go back. Let's, so let's go back. Sure. Let's uh, let's see. How many videos have you made about me in the last? Seven months. In total, I counted today. I made 21 videos about you. Overall, these videos, rather, okay. first, the, One video. the overall, the, the, so oh, we're not moving, we're video. not moving past the point. Overall, these videos consist of you, first of the time, trying to actively, so hold on, actively slander me, as well as a couple of ones in defense of you. And then again, with this situation of you slandering me, you talking about how I made a lot of so, videos when you consistently post on Twitter about me. Just because you put it on Twitter and don't make it a YouTube video doesn't mean you're not making a response to me. This is a really, really shallow and pathetic attempt to try to make it seem like I'm obsessed with you when you were the one re-engaging this whole thing. And you have, for a week, been obsessed and hyper-focused on trying to destroy my credibility, just like you did the first time. The only difference is nobody thinks that you're serious. Nobody takes you seriously enough for it to have any real impact, and now you're, you're doubling back because there's nothing else for you to do because nobody agrees with you. Your platform is going away because you're unjustifiably targeting me and invalidating sexual assault survivors. And now you realize you fucked up because the act of you pretending no. to care about people has gone away. That's what's happening right now. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack Yeah, there. you keep saying there's that, a lot. so unpack all, it. So, I have a question. Yeah. So, Dennis, you're saying, like, you know, it was a joke. Like, I've been on here for, what, five hours now? So you're saying, like, you know, it was a joke and everything. And let's say, you know, Papa Gut has expressed that these things actually hurt him. Like, you know, A, B, and C. So even though you thought it was a joke well, or whatever, I, I honestly don't. I, I, still... I, I respect you and everything for coming in here. I don't want to run defense to try to make Dennis seem as charitable as possible. If we deter from the conversation of me pushing him on his bullshit, it's going to make him come out in a way that he feels. Well, I, wait, yeah, is that we're, an we're, honest conversation? Can I finish we're, my question? Listen, we're in a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't want anybody fielding for me. I don't want anybody fielding for Dennis. This is the way to... I would like to just kind of get back to the point with myself and Dennis. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do this, because I kind of knew that something like this okay. was going to happen. It's, it's me okay, and Dennis. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I want to stick to the No, point. no, okay. I just... 
Okay, okay. I was just saying, would Dennis consider apologizing? Jeez. All right, I'm done. That that's Gabby how it would have started. Wishes she was raped. I don't oh, know what muted. that's about, but I want to get. So where where were you? What's what is a lot to unpack? Let's keep on. Let's keep on the point. Okay. So first off, it, it seems like you're very heated. Maybe take a. Dennis, this this know, is what it's like when somebody when somebody is um, just blunt with you. That's not. I, I'm a little okay. heated, I suppose. I'm being blunt and direct. I'm not being charitable like I was right. in the last conversation. Please stop trying to prime your audience to make it seem like I'm having an unhinged emotional reaction, despite the fact that for the past week that was what you were doing. Please stay on the point and stop trying to play this bullshit game with me because it's very disingenuous. It's very shallow, and you're just gonna. Uh, gonna by the way, guys, uh, so I am here. This is live. About what's just been going on? In case everyone knows. Okay. Are right. Are you gonna let me talk though? Because okay. So you know. Take a take a drink. You're continuing relax. to do it, but okay. Okay. Um, all right. So there's a lot that was just said. Um, honestly, we've diverted away from it. My that friend totally just brought just my dogs back. Me. So I was so out of roll. I'm so mad. What do you want me to talk about right now? Well, Dennis, you're the one that seems like you want to make some kind of, I guess, apology. Motherfucker I doesn't show up to pop in here, for like so I the to fucking five hours. Well, I wanted to talk and then I fucking about it because there's so clearly annoying. been some kind of, uh, you know, misunderstanding. Sure, right? right? Misunderstanding. So you said you made 21 videos about me in the last few months. Yeah, in the last few initial engagement. So for about, like, sure, a year. Sure. So for the last seven months, I sure. guess. Um, would you say that you've been, as, I mean, as charitable as possible with the way that you've responded to my statements? Hundred percent. Yeah, I've been as contextually yeah. accurate as possible so, on every single time I've covered you. Yeah. In in the video, the very first video where you reacted to where you took sides with Keemstar about the I didn't um, take sides with Keemstar. The, I took it, sides with a child that was dying of cancer that you rolled over because you hate okay. Keemstar so, so much. The thing. You wanted to reframe this you, narrative. I don't really particularly care for Keemstar, but there's talk, times where he gets you, it right. And again, your refusal to acknowledge that at the expense of a young girl's dying wish is pathetic. I really don't want to talk about that scenario because it's a fucking disrespect to that young girl who passed away. Uh, to the person but asking really what the point of talk talking about, to death rules is, um, nothing to do content. With I don't I'm making a video. Every single yeah. time I, <laughs> I had to be here. Start a conversation. <laughs> it is in disagreement of, uh, of a topic. So this whole idea of you trying to attach me to him to lazily walk past the point is very disingenuous. Okay, so I mean, I at some point I have to be able to conclude a thought. Wow. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard conversation. Um, so, okay, twenty-one videos. The first video that you ever made about me, you said you were charitable about sure. me uh, when you, in my coverage. So I'm going to the very first video because that's something I noticed because it was something that somebody sent to me. It was one of the it was my introduction to you, right? Sure. So in that scenario, did you ever reach out to Sniper Wolf to get her side of the story? No, everything was pretty clear. The mother released all the documents. It was like three days of her uh, stalling. Cool. Sure. Well, I did. I did. I spoke wow. to her. That's I good. spoke to her. I got her side of the story. I saw what was happening. She told me exactly why I have issues with getting in touch with a girl. And she eventually got in touch with yeah, the girl. Yeah, well, she had issues okay. because she was blocked for a so, her and then tried to double okay. back on it. <laughs> Let me just finish. One of your major criticisms in that video of me was that I demonetized my video and that I should have just taken the money and donated No, that's not my, that, however, no, that wasn't my criticism of that however, wasn't my criticism of your video. However, that wasn't my criticism said, of your video. We're, we're not let me, You can finish let after me finish. that's not your criticism because you're trying to get away with bullshit. My well, criticism let, was that you're you not letting, up. My, I, you can move on. on after I make the point. You're not your, letting, my criticism bro, wasn't that you demonetized the video. My criticism was that you made sure you told everybody you demonetized the video to try to make it seem like you were more morally and right like virtuous and righteous. If I remember correctly. Okay. I don't care if you monetize it or demonetize it. That doesn't matter. No, so, so if I even here's made the thing, that though. criticism. Let me let me go back. Let me just circle back to that because it's very important that you made that criticism because in your criticism you said that I should have just monetized the video. You said that you yourself would have taken money in that situation, which is totally fine. Do your thing. Yeah. However, you never acknowledged that I had a fundraiser next to the video that I raised, I think, about $1,500, which is way more than I could have made in that video. Also, I mean, I at one point, I you open, you open, at one point, you open her GoFundMe and it pops up on your screen that I'm the top donation on her GoFundMe, wow. which I donated. I donated money to her before I even made the video 
and you close it really quickly as soon as you see my name. So that's that was just, one thing I mean, that I just doubt that's very, correct. I just, it sounds like you're it's, desperately it's, trying to reframe this. Go back to this the is what you tend to do is you disingenuously right. reframe things. I, 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 if, I, if, I, if, I, if I remember like, correctly to this situation, this is going to be impossible I, because, because if you're talking about <laughs> Okay, continue, Dennis, and then I'll respond. Go ahead. Okay. So you, you did that. That was my first impression of you. Okay. Okay, that was my first impression of you. You did that. You can go back. People can go back right now to the video and sure, watch it. And watch, watch it. It's on video. You watch that video. Okay. But that's not that's so, the of what happened. So it comes up. I'm the top donation. Great. You close it real quick and you never acknowledged it. That I actually donated. And you continue your point that I'm virtue signaling. That I'm at, that I actually don't care about the situation. That, it, it, you know, here I am. I actually talked to the person who was the center of the story. I got her side. You, on the other hand, never got her side. You took Keemstar, in fact, the title of your video is Keemstar Was yes, Right. Yes, because he was right. That's the title of your video. So, yeah. so you took Keemstar's side, and that's that's why I framed it like that. That's why I said, oh, you were took Keemstar's, because your title is literally Keemstar Was Right. So you told me that you were charitable to me in my coverage, so I want to know sure. from you, why not mention that I, I raised $1,500 uh, for cancer charities and that I also donated $500 and it popped up on your screen and you closed it. And why did you not acknowledge that in your video and keep painting me as a person who was just trying to virtue signal? Okay. So first and foremost, I hadn't watched it in a while. I guarantee you that's not the framing of the situation. Um, this whole idea that I would try to hide that you donated, absolutely not. I don't remember the specifics. I know that you had a donation tab at the right, but a lot of content creators play this game where they say, I'm going to demonetize my video and do a charity. It's not a bad thing. And then I talked about how it would be more effective, generally speaking, to leave your monetization on and then donate that money. I don't absolutely at all remember shitting on you for that. I focus very heavily on the story. Oh, I, fo I, I, I focus very heavily. I focus very heavily on the story. I guarantee you I talked about the fundraiser. Um, so I don't really know, like what you're, you're reframing something. It just didn't happen the way that you're saying it. And now you're trying to, you're yeah. trying to assert that as a way to shoot my credibility down that. because you don't want to talk about what's going on currently. People, people can go back I, and be the judge. Do. I, I'm taking this step by step. You want to talk about how we got to this sure. point. You have to. Right. But it'd be nice if you were honest about you your framing of the situation. Me. You can't just paint p p the videos there. Yes. People can watch, watch the video because I know that I didn't do what you're saying that I did. Exactly. So, so what you're telling me is that then you didn't do the research necessary to even see that I was a top donation, Why? which shows up on I, screen. If it shows on the screen, I showed it in my video. Then how are you trying to say that I, I, I hit it? I just like this doesn't so, make any sense. I, you framed me as a you framed me as a person, dishonest person who was just seeking I, to hurt I yourself. framed you as a person. And yet you I didn't, framed you as somebody who was important. so obsessed with Keemstar and being disagreeable with him that you completely ignored the context of the situation of this mother continuously trying to reach out after Sniper Wolf agreed that they would have like a little one on one FaceTime type of a thing for multiple days, making up multiple excuses, even though she was out to eat and all this other nonsense. And then once she was blocked by the mother, then all of a sudden, Keemstar, so, hold on, Keemstar talked about it, and that's when Sniper Wolf did the right thing. You didn't talk to her. I, you didn't talk I don't to need her. to talk. I don't How do you need know to, those because, because you the mother released her. all of her information. We saw all the DMs. I don't need to talk to the person who's doing the bad thing that's going to be uh, reframing it in a way that makes it seem like she did the right thing. I don't, that's called a biased so source. You, you talk to a biased side. source. I looked at it, the objective facts of the DMs, the so times between the DMs, all the excuses Sniper Wolf made. That's what I look outside. at. I don't need to go to the source. That's that's in, insane that I would have to go to so, the liar, Sniper Wolf, in this situation to get the real information. So you're telling, so you're telling me that when you cover a story, you don't go, you don't try to get all sides. Dennis, of it. I'm telling you that all the information we needed was available, and Sniper Wolf doesn't need to be asked about the situation to know the objective truth of her dodging the situation based on the leaks. Okay. Uh, the so DM. you, if the DMs are fake, then you got me. But if they're not fake, which nobody has said, I have the information I need. Do you consider yourself an unbiased person? I am as unbiased as a person I think can be. Okay. And now, however, you just said that you didn't want to get somebody's side You're of the story. You're harping on this point. The objective truth was out there with the DMs. We don't need to get her side of the story other than a reframing from her perspective to make her look as good as possible. We should move on to the next point because that's we're just going to go circular. We're just going to go circular on this. I disagree. Um, 
That's I, have, I have the objective. I already have the DMs. That's the truth. Let's move on to the next topic because you're trying to harp on this so that you don't have to talk about how you uh, invalidated the sexual assault survivors. Talk so let's about move it. forward. I can talk about it all you want. You, you just, you don't want to admit okay, that you, cool. you're you saying that you're unbiased. However, you literally just admitted that you don't want to get all sides to the story. You also said that you were charitable to me. Okay. However, you... It just you never mentioned the fact that I essentially raised yeah, I just showed it on the street. I didn't mention that at all. I just that video. Right. Can we move on to the next point? Yeah. Um, let's move on to the next point. You you said okay, next point. Sure. Uh, and then we there was the whole um, you know the EB family. Yeah, the EB family, family when they leveraged a fake like they they tried to call a seventeen year old boy a rapist, a predator, and pedophile for trolling a girl inappropriately, of course. But they had a disproportionate response. And tried to deplatform him because he made a mistake. So you want to talk about that? How that you avoided that whole part? We tried. I tried to have a conversation you with you about like the uh, potential racist undertones of what the family was doing. The fact that they were over, intentionally over maturing him because they intentionally misrepresented his age in order to over prescribe punishment. You know, we had that conversation. Doesn't mean they are racist, but there were a lot of racist undertones because I actually watched both of their full videos, which is something that I noticed a lot of commentary content creators don't really do, right? So that's what happened next, right? Yeah, that's exactly what happened next. That was the, the video that you made your commentary about. I made my response. You made a response. And then we had the discussion. So you're, 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 no, let's not, you didn't just respond. You tried to slander me by calling like an incel. You tried to assert that I think it was funny so, okay, that I, I like, said, like a, a bunch of other shit. And then you desperately apologized. So let's take them all right now. And, and let's see. How is calling you an incel slanderous? Yes. You were calling me an incel. You suggested that I think it's funny when like young girls get hurt. Like you were saying a lot of like fucked up shit. How is that? How is that? How is calling you an so, incel? So Dennis, so this is, I talked about this. What you do in your videos is you prime your. A lot of people do this in general, but you prime your. Okay, audience. let's so define what you what's do is that you prime your audience. Wait, don't change the subject. Oh don't change the subject. subject. Okay, Dennis, no, let's see. Uh, disingenuous okay. framing. Is that better? I will just drop the word slander. So I don't feel like going no. on to this like side talk conversation. But I know because you're trying to define. We should define what slander okay, is. Dennis. So okay. anyway, you had a very. You had a very. Hold on, dude. Let me say something, please, for the love of God. Yeah. You, you, let's define what slander is because you've actually been titling some of your videos as slanderous. Yeah. So define what slander is to you and maybe we'll find a definition where we can, uh, you know, I'll ask Alexa over here. Okay. So slanderous, false and malicious, right? So your false statements about me were objectively false and we can only assume malicious okay, based on your, dis <laughs> like just the way that you operate because you're a very dishonest content creator. So yeah, there's more to slander. That is false. What I, that's just what came up when I googled the dictionary definition. The, so uh, the action or crime God, of making a false spoken statement damaging discussion. to a person's reputation. So tell me, how is being called an incel damaging to your reputation? So Dennis, how has it damaged your reputation? Oh, at right, this point it didn't because I'm not a small content creator. I'm very articulate. I know how to defend myself. But you could have rolled over anybody else, like I was saying, so like I was how, saying before. Yeah, I'm gonna answer it. But the person's sure. reputation. Why is he so talking, talking about before, incels? Right? Deaf and blind. He was a fucking pedophile. So don't we're, change. We're, we're, we're doing it again. I'm, I'm definitely like explaining my point about how this would be considered slanderous. You want to think that's a bit um, got, over get off this uh, fucking topic. Of things, sure, fine. But you were being you have dishonest framing to try to prime your audience against you, right? So again, what I was trying to say is the way that you title your videos. Is in a way where it's like Papa Gut's an incel. Papa Gut doesn't care about this, that, and the other thing. Uh, suggesting that I think it's funny when like little girls get hurt. This is uh, seems this is like the one you in the first situation. Oh. Okay, I'm still going. So that you were trying to get your audience to think I was some kind of like woman hating incel right off the bat that like people don't like and all this other stuff because you didn't want to like actually engage with what I was saying. And I was trying to have a nuanced discussion about a topic. Right. This is why you came into the live saying or well, pretending to apologize because later on you just recently admitted it was all a joke just to call me an incel more like a weirdo um so like oh. you, that's this is where we're starting because you so already like you pretended to apologize but you already admitted that it was disingenuous right okay. i look i get you want to get a lot off your chest like but th this is going to be got to have some kind of conversation otherwise it's just going to be you yelling at me like trying to interrupt it uh anyway so just explain to me how calling someone an incel is a slanderous sure. claim. So like I was saying before, again, Dennis, if you think that the term slander is too loaded, I said about four times now, we can doubt. No, don't, don't redefine can, the conversation. Can, don't redefine the conversation. Just answer so the Dennis, question. How you, I will retract the in this instance the word slander, but I will still hold to the fact that you had a very dishonest framing to try to 
pin me out as somebody who just instantaneously okay. hates women and like can't have sex, I guess, is some kind of a virtuous win, right? All right. So here we go. Okay, here we All go. right. Let's take a pause. Let's take a pause. So two points. You admitted to not doing research. I never admitted to that at all. You admitted, you admitted to not doing no, research or seeing that I had made all the donations. You, what are you admitted the sniper, that you didn't reach out to Sniper Wolf and that you don't like to get both sides of the story. And now you just admitted to over sensationalizing something and then immediately taking it back. It's not slander. So those are three well, things. Yeah, but all those are, are effectively okay. lies. Uh, now next. watching so they know that you're Now please side. elaborate. Okay. Please elaborate how, how was Am I like wait, being fat? He slandered him for being uh, fat? What are you talking incel about? Incel in my title. So Dennis, it's more than just incel, right? It's the fact that you oh, called me like no. an incel. You framed me as some kind of a woman hater so you can dismiss my point. You went on like a whole tirade about like being fat, ugly, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of different. 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 Dennis, you apologized for this. I don't know why you're acting like this is coming out of left field. Where did I say that? Where did I say that? In your videos, Dennis. This was a dis. Your audience agreed that you had a very. It was one of fucking jumping. I can't take it anymore. I didn't make twenty-one videos on you like you did on me. I made one video. Well, you use Twitter because you don't want to attach a YouTube video for it because for some reason you think that just because it's on Twitter doesn't mean it's not a response. Don't make. Don't make excuses. Just it's own not up an to the fact that the proper like, framing of the situation because you are framing it incorrectly. It's totally fine. It's totally ding, ding, fine. Ding. It's, it's fine. You can you can say that, but the truth is the truth. I know I made the one truth video is the truth. I to make it seem like it was. You just deleted like you it's just fine. like fifteen tweets about calling me a pedophile, and you're acting like my uh, number of videos was like overbearing. I called you out on other things That's, as well, but this was a long. This is a. a it, this was an elongated was situation originally because you kept trying to weigh your audience against me until you couldn't get away with it and you were forced to apologize on stream. Look, Did that happen? Did you anybody, apologize to me on stream? For anybody who's Did been you? here for the five hours, for anybody who's been here for the five hours, they've heard me say a whole bunch of stuff. That I don't care about what was said when I wasn't said here. That is, it's irrelevant. Hey, all right. Um... I think that what people were saying before you joined was relevant, but it's fine if you want to discount it. That's up to you. Um, anyway, um, going back to the conversation, you said it was uh, it, it was dishonest, or I just want to get full clarity on that. Yeah. Because you walked back to the stuff, so sure. please tell me, uh, describe how that was dishonest. Dennis, I've described it. I, I know that like you're really trying to like delay the point to get to where I want to, where we need to go, which was you like. Insinuating heavily that I was a pedophile, we already made this point. You Bro, can just disagree, I, but I don't feel like going into a circular thing. You being dishonest, totally and then understand. you apologize for it in the live conversation. So I don't really have to do anything because oh, within the first minute you're like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." Then you made a video about how my career, I'm quitting YouTube, and it was another apology to me. Like I don't really have to do this for this situation because you apologized for doing the wrong thing, which means that you admit, even if it was a dishonest apology, that you did these things, right? You admitted you did these things. You admitted you were wrong in that entire scenario. So what do I have to prove to the people who don't know what's going on? Because all you are doing is you're catering and pandering to people who are not gonna sit through, and I understand why, a very elongated interaction. But the reality is, is there's a reason you apologize. And while it may not because, be because you're genuine and actually are apologetic, which you admitted recently, it's because your audience shit on you so hard and you lost so much credibility that you've been steamrolling out of control for the past eight months or whatever since our interaction has happened. Sure. Are you, are you done? Okay. Um, so just... Uh, to I guess keep moving forward since you sure. want to get to the part where we've been that we've been discussing for the last four hours. Well, you want to skip past um, the racism part where um, you uh, decided to boil down two minutes to just a black first person took away his entire autonomy because he decided to, as a joke, have fun with Belle Delphine and dress up like Donkey Kong, and you pretended he was some kind of like uh, you were, he was being manipulated by the evil white girl about that. And so I called you out because you didn't even name him in the title. You boiled him down to a black person with no agency or autonomy because that's a really weird one to move past, especially since. When we tried to have our first conversation, you moved past the entire race argument when I was trying to talk about the Killick situation. You don't want to talk about that one? So, you want to move past that one? We can have this conversation 100%. We can have this conversation. Uh, it, it was, in fact, uh, you know, one of the almost 20-something...
we'll see that I don't even mention that. Yes, you do. I Anybody who it. sits and watches the content notices that I don't want. I don't. I don't mention it. It was a clickbait title. You, you mentioned so that. anybody the video. who follows me, anybody who actually follows me, sees that not only do I do I you know actively speak against racism oh and God. use my platform for that, but I also platform people from all different backgrounds. Cool. People on my podcast come from all different oh, backgrounds. Wow, we're getting into the I have a black friend territory, which is not probably not a great no, one. I can say I have black is. friends too, guys. I can't be racist. Are you kidding me? Do you know how in-depth and nuanced race issues are? Having a black friend doesn't mean you can't be racist. You talked about the situation. You explicitly talk about oh. how Belle Delphine forced him to do I, this I, thing because the two man is a, bag, it's a black guy look. that can't make up his own decisions. You robbed him of his own agency as a person, walled him down to his identity just so that you can make clickbait about how the a black fact, person was being oppressed fact, when he wasn't. You talked about it in the video. The I watched it. Look, the fact that's immediately what you jump to says a lot about you. It's not immediately. I was it's talking based more off about of like a conversation we've been having. I know you as a person. I was talking more about having people from different backgrounds. I have Tiana, who is not black. She's from, you know, she's Latina like me. Okay. There are people from all different backgrounds that I have, that I invite on my show, that I try to talk to. But if that's immediately what you wanted to go to, well, that Dennis, because you just lied to people, you just lied now, to people and said you didn't talk about the, two men. You talked about it in the video. I watched the video. Are you guess, Are you trying said, to guess like me or yourself at this point? Look, I talked about the thing in the video. I didn't you just talk said about that it. You in didn't the talk about it. I didn't talk about it in the terms that you're framing oh, yeah, it as. Yeah. Look, you, you, you're the bastion of honesty, absolutely. but you're, pre you're presenting it in an absolutely dishonest way. The title was clickbait. The title was clickbait. It was pure clickbait. A lot of people talked about it. You weren't the only yeah. one, okay? But in the video itself, I don't repeat that same statement. I mentioned, I say his name. I say two men. Yeah. So and then I, I'm trying to understand. And then forced into doing this thing that it was a bad look for him in some capacity. That, I never said that in the okay. video. Okay. Never said that in the video. So that's just in the title because it's meant to be clickbait. That was it. Was it the best clickbait? No. Not every clickbait is the best. I'm, I'm, you know, trying my best to do what I can, and sometimes I fuck up. So that wasn't the best clickbait. Um, anyway, uh, I mean, are you satisfied with the way that we just yeah. discussed the situation? I'm, I'm absolutely else? satisfied. Don't worry, brother. Great. So. Um, there are numerous other videos that you've made. You've been making constantly video videos about me. You've been tweeting about me a whole lot. You were the one tweeting um, about me, and then I responded to some of the tweets. Well, well uh, yeah, that's, you, that's, yeah, you said that you yeah, created me as a content creator. Close. You remember that part? What happened? Remember, you, you no, literally you rehashed remember, all of this by saying that you created me. Like, if you just decided to respond to what I said in my videos, that would have been fine. But you, you like, for whatever reason, months later, decided to be like, I created Papa Gut unprompted. Because some random person so, said that like so, Papa got the cobbles great, cooler than you. Great to talk about this because um, here's the thing. I never said I created you. I said that people in the commentary community learned of you through our discussion. Wow, so incredible. That's and it's actually true. true. You go back that's to their if you want shit. if you want to go back and see how they reacted to what happened in our discussion, you will see that they say like I don't know who this guy is, but here's the thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's just a dishonest framing of the entire situation. You had an un, yeah, that's you had an un true. Meltdown. Was before that. What, what did I say? Said, what did I say? You said nobody would Wait. know who Papa Gut is in commentary. Had I not given him I don't have the tweet in front of me. Nobody would. I don't have the tweet. Nobody. So say what? Hold on. Let me go. Nobody would have known who Papa Gut is in commentary had I not given him crumbs by doing a debate uh, with quotations, whatever. Exactly. Hold on. I'm not, so, it's not I, finished. With the sole, I hold made, on, with the sole, hold on, I no, not done. Made, with the sole purpose I of pointing an insult to his face and laughing about it in his face. This is a suggestion that you somehow created me. People already knew who I was. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, because of how... No, 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 go wait, ahead. Go wait, ahead. wait, wait a second, wait a second, please, wait a second. I never said I created you in that tweet. I said nobody in commentary would know who well, you are. Well, that's objective that, also, you, because, like, a lot of people already knew who I was in commentary. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I didn't know. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe I didn't know who you were. Trying to engage the like other people that I follow, and, oh, they didn't know who you were. So maybe that's maybe I was. So this wrong. was just like an honest mistake that, this like, some so you weren't uh, showing that your crumbs of cloud for Papa got poor Papa got. 
and that you weren't trying to dunk on me in the original debate where you got plastered unintentionally. How am I dunking on you? I, I, on you. I dunking you say, on you, you say that you only like, went and had the conversation wait. with me to call me an incel to let my face and laugh about it. Oh. Jeez, this is like crazy. I know, I, is it possible for someone to be a mediator? I'm sorry, but is it possible for someone to be a mediator? No. I'm shutting up now. Yes. Continue, like, I know because Dennis is saying that like he's getting an unfair shake doesn't mean that he is. And I can can somebody no be we're not a mediator to continue what you wanted to say, Dennis. This is why I wanted. To yeah, let's have Keemstar. I'm do not it. having Keemstar do it. I do not yeah. want to have Keemstar be the mediator. Def, continue with what you wanted to say. Uh, Nicholas, you want to be? Can you be the mediator? So pathetic. Can I replace Papa Gut instead? Uh, Dennis, just so you know, he's live streaming this. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured. Yeah. I figured he would. Okay. Because this is like, I know Papa Gut's trying to get it across, but it's like, this is like, you need a mediator, because this isn't... Oh my god. <laughs> It'll be more helpful. This is, this is yeah, why, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. really big problem is going this nowhere. Being, like, a live thing. There really doesn't need to be a mediator. I'm not talking over Dennis in this way that you yeah, think I am. Just I'm calling him on his like, bullshit without him letting me see roll. I've talked to him no, before. No, Papa God, in his defense, which I don't usually say often, this is really going nowhere. It's just like you're putting out six paragraphs, and then Dennis responds to the first sure. one, and then we get bogged down by like 6,000 more paragraphs. Okay, so yeah. go ahead, Dennis. Because he's lit. I mean, like, not for nothing, but like, it's a, it's a lie have, lying can, about everything that he's saying. Can, so all, can, him on can we head. all agree? Not only that, but I'm going to Can we all agree? Nick piece is shit, somewhat of an impartial mediator. Can he be the mediator? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, Nick, please mediate. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, can we try to get on something that's a little bit more relevant than, Well, like... listen, the framing of the conversation is where Def wanted to start. We're pretty close to the point that we're trying to get to, so why don't we just continue going through the chain of events? This is the way that he wanted to operate. Sure, but I'll stop you guys if this keeps going into the weeds. Okay. Okay. So, where were we? I was I was reading the tweet to you that you had made about how you got my okay. career started. Oh, so nowhere in the tweet, we I mean, it's pretty evident. You read the tweet. Nowhere in the tweet does it say that I made you. It says that nobody in the commentary community would know who you are. And that was my impression. If you're telling me otherwise, then that is fine. I had the wrong impression, I guess. Maybe it's the people that I knew who didn't know you. I don't know where it is. Um, but, so what was I mean, the intention I, I wanna, of the tweet, then? Uh, just, to, just to fill in context there, because a uh, high commentary community here. Um, we knew Papa Gut because he reacted to a lot of our videos. Uh, there's probably no way you would have known that, Dennis. Um, but I definitely remember bitching about Papa Gut, specifically for that reason, um, before this. So, so what's the, I, again, oh, what's the I, intention I of the really tweet, good. then? What was the point of you trying to say the tweet? I don't know. I was saying something tongue-in-cheek, replying to somebody who has no followers. I don't know how that's a dunk. You thought it was a dunk? Well, no, so... I didn't think it was a dunk. I think that it was you trying to say that like, you created me as a cope because like, your career is spiraling out of control because of the way that you've been acting and people have been seeing the real who you are. So let me, let me see if I understand this correctly. So you're saying that because my career is spiraling out of control, the only thing that I have left in my career is to claim your success. That's what you're saying. Um, no, I think that you have a grudge against me because we can probably directly see, like, people realize, a lot of people realize, like, the bad person you are from our first interaction, and now you, like, hold a grudge against me for that reason. Okay, so, so, why do you think I'm a bad person? Uh, because of the way that I see you interact. I don't think that you were genuine in general. I think that you can directly point to the fact that, um, you don't see the... Why do you think I'm not genuine? Well, Dennis, because I see you talk about, uh, social issues, like, when it comes to, like, women's issues, and then laugh at somebody who is getting emotional over listening to a traumatic rape story. So, you think that a person has to be 100% serious, they can never crack jokes I if think they're serious. They or if they're cracking jokes, they're, they're only cracking jokes. They can never go and be different. Okay, so two things. First and foremost, the cracking jokes. Like, I make a lot of jokes on my platform as well. I don't make jokes um, about, like, I don't laugh at people who are expressing, like, real traumatic situations. That I don't think is funny. Do you think that that's funny? Like, you're like, saying you've never done What I'm saying is I don't saying, do that. I don't somebody can go through all your videos right now. They can go through every single You haven't done that in like the last I have month. never, I've never the last personally month. laughed at somebody's Bad. drama. There isn't one, a single instance you of you doing that. You could probably talk you're about the, the B family girl when I initially had like that bad reaction where I thought she was being disingenuous and then after people said, I think that you're wrong. Oh, so you're saying, now you're, now you're back. Well, not really backtracking. You... I'm talking about a failure that I made as a content creator and very quickly owned up to it. Okay. While you're still, sitting, you're, you're while really you're still sitting here pretending 
like you didn't do a bad thing. But you, you see how that's contradictory? You see how that's contradictory? Because you just said you're trying to hold me to a standard that not even that's, you can hold yourself to. Do you, so are, do you, this is you what you're saying. I'm exploring, I'm exploring the hypocrisy of Papa Gut right now. No, not really. Because you're holding, you're, you're trying to hold me to a standard that you just admitted you can't hold no, yourself to. So help me understand why it is that you can laugh at a young girl's trauma, but I can't do what I do for so her. So in instance number one, where I had laughed at her trauma, right? It was really shitty. The reason I did is because if you look at it from a real world perspective, nobody's going to have a trauma from somebody talking shit about you to their brother when you don't even hear it. I failed to account for the fact that it went viral. Wait, I'm literally in the middle of this conversation. The fact that we got, because she wouldn't know about it. That's why, because this is like shit talking. It's wrong, but you wouldn't develop a trauma from shit talking indirectly. So I'm wait, not, are you, okay, now, now you're, hold on, because it, it's a little contradictory. Not really. Because it, it's, her. you were begging for hold a moderator, and now you won't let me Papa speak. God, you gotta let Daphne know. How, how, wait, 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 I'm in the middle of answering his question, and now you're moderating as if hold I up. need to let him finish, but he's interrupting me, which I would be fine with, but you guys begged for a moderator. I don't understand the framing of the situation. I'm in the middle of answering his question of how is this not hypocritical. So I'm now defining both instances. So this is this is if you I'm fine with okay. back and forth, but like he's I've let him speak and now you want to cut me off because he wants to cut like I you guys aren't doing a very good job moderating. So what's the point here? So one second, okay, one second. Um, so you just said that you laughed at her because of her trauma, and yet you're. You went so far, I forgot what the point was. But you, you, you said you were talking about. So you, uh, uh, so what's the difference between your her trauma and you laughing at her versus uh, I'm you? Be nice to I think you made a video. I didn't I watch. Him uh, I didn't watch it. I saw a clip of it where you talked about your situation, talking about someone else's experience. But here's the thing: you're a secondary source of that experience, right now and this. she's a primary. So oh, you're hell. literally laughing at a victim. And then talking about standing up for victims. So help me understand yeah. that. I was, I was going to, can I actually talk? This, I was in the middle of doing that when you cut me off and then we got off the track. Difference? So let me start over again, right? First and foremost, the difference is, is that I'm apologetic and you're still leveling down. Second of all, in this instance, right, we have a situation of this girl being indirectly, um, somebody's talking shit about her. Now, in the real world, she would never have heard that and it wouldn't be a source of trauma because you can't be traumatized if you don't hear something. However, I failed to account for the fact that it was made public and she's now the center of all this attention that she doesn't want about her and her body. So that was me acting inappropriately and then almost instantly after I was called out for the well, instantly after I was called out, said, you know what, that was actually really wrong, right? That's owning my mistake. Okay. Scenario number two, One I'm about that. In scenario number two, I make a video that you claim that you didn't watch, which by the way, it's really weird that you're commenting on a video that you didn't watch. But in a video where I'm expressing how somebody very close to me, a very intimate story that I'm very tired of having to explain, but anyway, you should have seen it already, um, <clears throat> an intimate story about somebody that I love very much expressing to me a violent rape trauma about how my initial reaction Dude, was I'm going to lose my... I'm listening to the two person. least funny people in the world okay. explain what jokes are. Which really are. fucked me up because now I'm unintentionally personalizing this story, which makes me really upset. And then moving on after hearing these horrific things that I uh, that she told me, asking me if she was actually raped. That doesn't mean that I'm traumatized, but it's invalidating of that person's trauma to continuously, af even after people have explained to you the context, for you to be doubling down and saying, it's just a joke. Why? There, okay. that's, that's the entire context. I want to get, I want to understand again. Um, so as far as I remember, when you were talking about the, the EB girl, uh, you and you repeated it a little bit earlier. You said that bullying online Dude, wouldn't he, cause her trauma. The type of words. bullying that, that, that she got. Right. So what did what did you say? Yeah. Have like the exact so quote? Because as far as I remember, that this is, is and you really said it a few minutes ago. Literally thirty huh? seconds ago. I'll, this is the third time I'm explaining this. I don't I don't know if you are if you actually so, don't understand what up. I'm saying or if you're being dishonest because this is an insane guess. Okay. Like, can I explain it again or would you like to continue to continue to call me? Bro, let me let me say something because now you you're just throwing asked. a whole bunch okay. of stuff. So okay. This is what I remember you saying. Thirty seconds ago? And you said you said it you may have not said it just a, a minute ago, but you said it like a few minutes ago where you said and I, I even asked you, said you can't be traumatized from being bullied online. I that's asked not you, what I said. For a minute, like, and you said, you said, no, no, you took it back. Okay, so that's fine. You, you, I never, maybe I, never I misunderstood it. People can't go back. 
people can go back and watch the video. So can I can uh, I reframe this correctly? Now, I want to I want to understand your lack of charitability because this was just about this was like four or five months. No, ago. No, 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 no. I'm not playing like, this game. No, no. Refer- refer- was, reference, reference. You mocking me for expressing your Please. rape trauma. I want you oh, to stop bro. trying to go back in time. We're on this if point. You don't no, talk about this five months hard. ago nonsense. Do, com- com- comment directly on what you said. Are you apologetic, or do you still think it's funny to mock Talk, dude. personal rape victims? I'm getting there. I'm We're getting there. there. If, you don't let, if you don't let me talk, then I can't make my point, and you're just talking over me the whole time. So here's the thing. Um, five months ago, you literally just admitted that you laughed at this girl's trauma. You laughed yeah, at it. And, then I and now... Immediately. And now, that's fine that you apologize. Now, you're piggybacking off of someone else's drama so that you can draw up sympathy for yourself. Dennis, can, can I? Dennis, so Dennis, no, let, no, no, because no, I don't want to move past this point because this is like a really, this is a really something. Dennis, have you ever, lo- Dennis, 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 Dennis really have you ever hard? loved somebody before? Nicholas. Don't Nicholas, you're, you're. Yeah, man, I don't fucking No, know. don't, this is, this is like a really dishonest <laughs> thing. No, Dennis, this is a really good question. Have you ever been in love before? Okay, look. Dennis, do you think that if point? somebody that you loved told you that they were violently raped, that you would go, oh, oh, you're piggybacking a trauma. Is that how you would interact with that situation? Let me finish my point. Let me finish you're my point. I'm piggybacking off of trauma, Dennis. This is pathetic. Okay. Let me finish my point, and then you can, you know. You, you literally, just a few months ago, in March of this year, 2022, you did that. You admittedly said that you made fun of this girl for her trauma. This trauma that you're using to cry about on the internet is not your trauma. I understand that you stand for trauma. I stand against trauma. I have, I said it earlier here, here. I have a lot of fucked up trauma in my own life. I know a lot of people who are traumatized. I I know a lot of people who are traumatized. I, I, you know, I think all of us in the chat right now know somebody and carry our own traumas, okay? So it's very different to use somebody else's, what you're doing is using somebody else's trauma as a shield so that you can get sympathy. I understand that it's somebody you love. I love a lot of people. I don't think you do if you don't understand where I'm coming from. I think you're very emotionally mature if you don't understand where I'm coming from. That's all I can really say. I trust, I've been, I was in a relationship for eight years before this. Okay, I, I know love. I know what it's like to live and be with somebody. Trust me, I know exactly what it's like to share your life with somebody, okay? I know exactly what that's like. So, I, you know, I'm just drawing the, the parallel of you laughing at this girl's trauma and now using someone else's trauma to drum up sympathy for yourself. I mean, would you, without that being, how would you confront or respond to the joke that I made without using the trauma as a shield? Well, Dennis, the joke is the trauma, so how can I not use the trauma as part of Not your trauma, though. Someone else's trauma. Mention, please talk about it, like, how would you respond without using that trauma? I wouldn't, because it's something that's very real that, like, is very upsetting to me. What are you talking about? You understand what you're you're doing. You're weaponizing someone else's trauma. I'm not weaponizing anything. I'm not weaponizing. You're you're, you're, you're telling Dennis. You're weaponizing someone else's trauma. To try to score sympathy points no, on the internet. I'm not weaponizing anybody's trauma whatsoever here. So, so, so respond to the joke uh-huh. that I made without talking about the it's trauma. It's been like 35 fucking minutes and I'm only talking about other people's trauma, dude. Sexy. Holy shit. I don't shit. understand. Like, I just don't think that... So you... how does me say... So okay. explain to me then. How does me saying that you look like a pedophile make you think of somebody else's rape? Oh, yeah. Let me, let me bring it up. So, um... This is like, again, when our first interaction, there seems to be a history of you supporting um, incredibly over-exaggeratory uh, rape accusations, for instance, with Killick, who uh, was like, called a, ped- a pedophile, a predator, and a rapist for being 17 years Where old. did I support the... Hold on, hold on. Then, hold on. So you, this was you... months... This was... First off, this Whoa, was months happened? before I... can't I respond. respond. Where's the moderator, huh, Dennis? Huh? So, Dennis, let me... I'll, you Like, there, we're doing, like, the back-and-forth thing, right? Okay. So... We had that interaction. My big primary point was that they had a massively disproportionate response, calling a 17-year-old a rapist, a pedophile, and a predator for making a very inappropriate joke about a 15-year-old, right? And you supported them. Then you recently admitted in our live together that you just went in there to troll me and that you didn't actually mean anything you said. 
So I can only assume that that's part of your rhetoric, which is just pretending to care and not really just not really giving a shit enough to look into actual situations, right? Moving on to despite the fact that you've been ex- this has been explained. Oh yeah, additionally, joking about pedophilia. I don't know why anybody would do that. That's invalidating to survivors of molestation. Okay, so, oh my god! So and then following up, so, right. and then following you, up. You may- a lot of statements. I, but you should let him finish. Dennis, I'm fine with like the shouting back and forth, but you you can't do it too. The reason that I'm being more upfront is because you did not stop screaming in our first conversation. And you need to be talked to like this or else nobody will get a, like a, an edge in. Okay? So okay. again, that's, okay. yeah, yes, that's how you interact. Our conversation with like 50 different people and it wasn't like this. So maybe because it's just Dennis, the dynamic. Not me. That's what do you mean? It wasn't like this. Like if you like, you shouldn't have been like going after me if you didn't want me to confront you. What are you talking You're saying about? It was I so much said, nicer I, when the other people weren't here. I'm not going to be nice about this. I'm being, said, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being blunt with you because our first conversation you screamed when I was charitable. I have to, I have to interact that, but I'm in a way where I stand strong here. Because shit, you, literally you're, you're, this is how you operate. You scream and you yell and you interrupt people and you dishonestly frame things how that happened thirty seconds ago. So, like, let's stop getting off onto these tangents when, like, you try to play these, like, weird framing games. And let me finish, and then you can respond. Or we could just yell. I don't really care at this point. Hey, I'm not... Okay, Papa Gut, that was your thing. All right, Dennis, go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Um, okay. So, I love it that we've arrived at the pedophile joke section of the conversation. Um, I want to know from you, is it funny for a grown man to fuck a 14-year-old? A grown man like you. No, I don't think that jokes about rape are appropriate at all. Okay. So, do you think it's funny? Do you think He's it's a joke? He's getting destroyed. No, not at all. I think it's disgusting. That's why I wouldn't joke about it. So you don't think it's a joke? It's a second ago. I just showed him how it was. So you agree with me putting the word joke in quotations in that tweet? Because oh, I don't yeah, find it to be like a joke. a really I... disingenuous uh, move here. Yeah, so you were trying to... Uh, so the, jo- the jo- <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, the joke wasn't... This Dennis, is the joke wasn't about me fucking kids. The joke was, in its full context, which you still can't get right, if she's old enough to bleed, she's old enough to breed. Thank you very much, Andre Lopez, for the advice. Now, it was an inappropriate joke I never should have made, which I've been saying for a year now. But the intention was to okay. call out somebody who was, when they were 23, allegedly raped a 14-year-old, slept with a 14-year-old. So the okay. intent is very clear that that's what I'm calling out. You, on the other hand, are calling uh, me a pedophile because you're it, unhinged and upset because your career is spiraling. And you point to me for the reason. So here's the thing. I, 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 I'm happy that you admitted at first that it's not a okay. joke to fuck kids. Sure. I'm happy you admitted to that. Uh, it was interesting to see you backtrack and try to then claim that it's a joke. It's mm-hmm. interesting logic there. But who do you think is going to like look at this and go, wow, Dennis is so smart? I can't finish the statement. This is crazy. Well, because you're being a dishonest piece of shit. Like, you're, you're, you're gaslighting I'm, everybody I'm in real literally... time. <sighs> this is going to be impossible. Yeah, man. it is. You mean, you it, already are refusing to talk about how you're just joking a... about someone's I... violent rape. So, like, this is where we're at. Now. Dude, I'm not no, bailing him out. Like there is very I'm not bailing him out. You are so wildly dishonest. I'll have a combo with Def another day. Um, the only reason that how how is Dennis, it? You're how trying am I to dis- say that I think it's funny to rape kids when I have used my platform since its beginning to deplatform actual pedophiles? Actual pedophiles. How is it dishonest, Dennis? How you're trying to make it seem like I wasn't joking. You were insinuating that I wasn't joking because you How? wanted me. Okay. You want to do everything you can to label me a pedophile because you want to deplatform me. But the reality is, historically, I've deplatformed people who've used TikTok to try to rape children. That's what I've Dude, done. Dude, my chat is okay. turning against about how big of a when he's debating, debating, debating death I'm talking noodles. about real things and putting my Jesus platform on the line. Fuck, bro. Okay, educating oh, people boy. about sexual assault culture. Like that's what I do, and like. This is what's happening. You can, oh boy, but like, what do you do all day but talk about bullshit, drama, irrelevant news while pretending to be funny? Like, this is, it's insulting to like, it's just an insulting thing. And now you're pretending like anything you're saying is an honest framing while desperately trying to walk away from talking about how you are still doubling down on joking about my wife's violent rape that led her to bleed for a week. Where did That's what was happening because you are desperate to not... You're saying I'm piggybacking no, no, on this on. drama. Hold on. It's insane no. that on, you're dude. saying I'm piggybacking. Dennis, I am recalling an experience of my wife 
sitting down in the car. The first moment where she really opened up to me, talking about how she was violently raped. How much it upset me because I handled it the wrong way? Because I got so angry, I made it about me. And about her asking if I'm okay, it shattered me as an individual, Dennis. This is what I'm talking about, right? And then asking if she thinks, I'm gonna get so if much she shit thinks that it was really rape. Have you, Dude. this is the fucking situation. That, and you're saying I'm piggybacking a trauma. Dennis, this is horrible. Papa, are you too emotional to have this No, this is why right I didn't now. want to have you guys fielding this situation. Because I know that you got no, 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 stop. We're not no, getting this, anywhere this here. Is, this is like victim Olympics. No, this isn't victim. This is back that, to the actual Jesus point. Christ. Nick, you need to stop. I understand in the commentary sphere, you guys have different types of conversations. This is a like a big conversation. Like, I'm 32. I'm not, let me, no, okay, no. but you're not owning him. I'm not, go, no, like, because I know the way that you guys are framing it. Oh, Dan, Papa, like like, you're not owning him because you're expressing a real trauma. Dennis is trying to make the assertion that I'm piggybacking a trauma while desperately avoiding the situation. And you guys are running defense because this is how you talk. That's fine. I'm trying to have a very real conversation here with a lot of stakes. I don't, it's okay if you think less of me because I'm expressing this. I'm okay with that. But this is why I didn't want to get pulled into a Twitter space with hundreds of people on it because I knew we were going to play a game where everybody was going to want to get their two cents in. But this is distracting from the conversation. If you think that I'm going to... If I'm just you saying, think, but you interrupted my argument with him that was more productive than the conversation you're having You mean right the now. what? With the one when I wasn't here? If you guys would like to go back to talk about that, that's totally fine. This is supposed to be a conversation between me and Beth. And again, the feeling of everybody else in here weighing that they're putting their two cents in is completely unproductive. And this is why I didn't want to do it in this style, but this seems to be the only way that it's going to happen. So you guys need to stop weighing in. It's okay that you have your opinions. It's totally fine. But again, it's distracting from the core argument. I went off and I was talking about the situation. This is an oppression Olympics. I know maybe it looks like some of you guys, you probably don't, but maybe you know people who are trying to do this to be disingenuous. I hate bringing up this point. I, it's an embarrassing point that I bring up. The fact that I have to keep reliving my wife's trauma, like showing it on the internet. She's not happy about this. She's sitting here listening to you. Do you think that we're like jerking off? Oh my God, I can't wait to talk about this thing that's so sensitive and private. No, but the reality is, is that this is the center point of it. And Dennis is desperately trying to double down on making a joke about my wife being raped. And I just don't really understand, or at the very least, excuse me, let me frame that properly. <laughs> Doubling down on my emotional reaction to like relaying that experience. And that's what this is comes down to. So let Dennis speak. This is not going to be productive if you guys keep butting in. All right, I agree with you. Let Dennis speak. Sure. Okay. Uh, all right. So there's a lot that just got said. Like, you, uh, I don't even know where to begin. Um, begin with my wife, right? Yeah, first off, I mean, I, I, please tell me where I joked about You her had rape. said that I'm piggybacking on her trauma, and then you, like, you're doing... So you're, oh. tell me how that... Sure. So again, you're belittling the situation by suggesting that I'm piggybacking on it. Piggy how oh my observation... It's an observation. How is it a joke? Because you keep showing. You called it a joke. You keep showing my face crying, Dennis. That's the joke, right? How, how is it? No, that, that's you. I'm not. So you weren't not, joking by showing that face and making a T-shirt out of it? Hold on. No, I, I didn't. Sh I didn't show your wife. I didn't mention your you wife. I didn't response. talk about her. I showed your face. Yeah. I showed your face. And by the way. I didn't even watch the clip long enough to know that that's what you talked about. I watched the part where you said, this isn't a joke, Dennis, and then you go and you start crying, and then I have to get back to I work. Didn't, I didn't I start crying call. until I finished so, talking about my wife. Here's the thing. So I don't really know what you're talking about. If you watched that, you know what it was about. That it was, was a clip I watched. That's, that's a clip somebody sent me, and I've already explained it here earlier. Well, like now that you know context, ago, do you think that maybe I, it was an insensitive that you'd be like, you know what, Papa, God, I didn't know that that's what it was about, and now that I do, I'm going to retract that it was kind of shitty, even if it was just a joke. That's all you have to say. Like, yeah. You know what? I, I took the t-shirts down. I talked to some of your fans earlier. Like, so, I recognize the lines The lines are in different places for different So what people. you're saying is, do, do you apologize for the joke? Do you apologize for, for making a satirical display of me for that? Or are you doubling down? Like, I'm trying to understand what it is. Because you, you've made several accusations Yeah, we can talk about that right after you answer this very simple question. Are you, do you, you apologize said, for it? Or are you doubling down? You can certainly double down. You just literally say it. Say it. You double down, apologize. Two I, options. Can I like? I want to be able to conclude a thought because you're it's trying not to be walk like, off of the primary situation because because you know that if you give a genuine answer, you're gonna look stupid. So just answer the question, move on to anything you want to talk about, but stop trying to pivot away from the initial conversation. Okay. Can I get a word in? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So you said I was joking about your wife's rape. I explained exactly. In fact, 
for people who have been hearing this for the four or five hours that I've been on, you know that I said this like three hours ago, that I said this exact same thing. So you know I'm coming from an authentic place. And this is exactly what happened because I didn't even know the full context of this until you just told me right now. So I'm just literally repeating what I said three hours ago. I was sent this clip, I watched it for like 15 seconds in my office, and I got a screenshot, and I have to go back to work. So here's the thing, I wasn't making fun of your, your wife's you know, sexual assault that was not the, the intention at all with any of that. In fact, I, your fans asked me to take down the shirt, I took down the shirt, I took down a few of the other posts. I, at the end of the day, if you're feeling uh, like, you know, personally, I, I can't speak for your, your significant other, but if you're feeling hurt by these jokes, I'm more than happy to talk to you about them, okay? And I'm more than happy to understand everything that's going on. At the end of the day, if it really hurts you and it hurt your feelings that I joked about you looking like a pedophile, then I apologize. That's not I am very sorry. Nice. Thank you. Feelings Thank hurt. You so much. I that, but can we can we quickly? Yeah. I just want to be like very concise. Oh, I, or are you still going? I have to a fucking plan. plan. Okay. I, plan. I have a plan. I just want to finish my plan. We can set a break. donation now, goal. Right? You should know. And that if I hit it, I'll turn my stream off. And as I'll unmute. Entertainers, I'll scream a racial slur. And then we'll get Papa shit. Gut banned. Fact, I've done a lot so I can go back to debating fucking deaf noodles. If he doesn't kick me, it's foolproof. Okay. And Holy it, it shit, just dude. And that was a joke, a, by the way. The <laughs> we'll get future, clips, you know, that was a people, joke. <laughs> the more you grow, the more shit people are going to say about you. But, uh, you know, maybe prepare yourself as you grow. If you donate, I'm not going to do it. But that's where my head is at right now. People, <laughs> you know, because not, so not everyone is going to reach out and, and try to have a conversation with you about it the way that I'm doing. Uh, and a lot of well, people will, in fact, you, okay. double down. Huh? Continue. The, the, only yeah, reason so, the only reason you're having this conversation is because you realize that, like, this was a really bad look for you. Like, you would have never done this if people were agreeing with you. How do you know? Because, uh, it's I a mean, very, it's a very but, reasonable assumption considering you double down to the best. I'm going to say it. Like, this, <laughs> isn't an, this isn't an, right? this isn't an appeal so, to emotion, but, like, you would have never done this if it wasn't for you getting completely so, plastered for the thing. past week. Like, you have, like, you don't actually care. Here's Same thing as last time. You didn't talk to me until you felt Oh, my like God. So, continue your point. So, you're, you're, like, the fact you're, like, jumping to conclusions and, like, Putting words in my mouth is like the, the weirdest I'm thing. I'm holding you accountable um, for your shitty actions. How, how are you holding me accountable? You're literally making stuff no, up. No, I'm telling the truth. That it's very, you're very easy to read. You're not a very, like, you're, you're somebody that, like, a lot of people meet. Like, you're the guy who's very full of yourself, very egotistical. Um, and then you will generally get away with whatever you kind of want. Um, but, like, when you don't, so, you have a hissy fit and you cry. And then you go on a tattery and talk to so, so explain. So tell me. Have you ever met me in person? No, I don't think that I need to. This is the age of have the internet. Have you ever? So I don't think I need to meet ever, somebody in person to know you personally, even if this is just an have you ever on the internet. It's very uh, transparent. So you're telling me that when you watch a movie, you think that have, Tommy, Lee Jones, or, Tommy Lee Jones... I don't have with Tommy Lee Jones. I've had conversations my, with you multiple times please, before. It's not the let same me finish my point. point. I've already, I've already let lessened your point. Finish point. it, but it's a dumb point. So you're telling me that when you watch a movie... This isn't a movie you that we've talked before. This isn't a movie. Bro, you don't need to finish the point. It's a garbage point. You look like an idiot. Dennis, we are talking now. We've talked before. I see you live interacting constantly in the way that we interact with each other. You're not Tommy Lee Jones. You're not Stephen Colbert. You're Dennis. And we talk together, and I see how you interact with different situations in the real world. And I know you as a person because you're an easy read. You're not a complex individual. Can I can I get yeah, like get a your word in? So I can say the same thing again. Oh, you've never met Tommy Lee Jones. You just watch TV about him. It's a good point. Okay. Can I go can ahead? I, you just said I could talk, and then you interrupted yeah. me. You're, you're gonna let me go ahead. Okay. Cool. So here's the thing. You're basing all of your assumptions on who I am as a person, on the sliver that I show on the internet. I upload eight to 10 minute videos on the internet. I do a live stream three days out of the week, that's two hours. There are 24 hours in a day. You literally get to see minutes of who I am and what I do. And you're basing an entire assumption of who I am on this microcosm that I present on the internet. So, I mean, with that being said, 
Do you feel like you just, for yourself, everything encompasses everything that you, like, every, the way that you present yourself. I don't know. If you watch I'm my saying. content, this it's is like, for the you're, most you're, part the way that I interact. If someone said, Papa, that I know you because I watch your content, I'd say, you're right. You're, you're essentially saying I'm like a bad person yes. based on eight minutes. That you don't even watch. Based on a two hour long conversation plus this interaction where you have an unhinged meltdown and decide to call me like a pedophile constantly because you can't cope with the fact that your career is dying. Like, yes, Dennis, I know you, especially when you see somebody in their boss form, their most emotional form. You get to really know who they are. I know you. You're not complex, Dennis. Okay? You're a walking you're, red flag. I'm a walking red yeah. flag. And you, you, you do this for everybody across the board. You see them. And you immediately judge them. I, I've based been on interacting what, with you for a while. We had a whole two-hour conversation. I've talked to a lot so, of people in so here. I know them pretty well. They know me. If somebody, if Nicholas Iorio said, Papa Gut, I think this about you, there's a good chance he has a reason for it. Probably because he watches my content and he's interacted with me before. So I can make the same about you. The difference is, Dennis, is that you're, you're needs so, to be So here, here's my thought on this, right? My first impression of you was that you weren't very charitable towards me, that you, you just uh, literally hid parts of what I had done in the video. So why are we getting so off topic about, like, why don't you later, want to talk about this? Because we've gone back to this and Dennis, I was so, yeah. I was like, Dennis, I'd really like to push you. I'd really like to push you on this whole thing where you were, like, you were joking about, right, I want to talk about that. You keep going back to this, I don't really care, mostly because, like, we were really on this point and you've done it about three times now. I'm looking for a very simple answer. I got very upset and emotional because I was recalling my interaction with my wife expressing to me her horrific trauma, which kind of fucked me up a little bit. I wouldn't say I'm traumatized. I had a genuine response. You took a picture of me saying that, made it shirts, whatever. Now that I explained the full context, let's say you didn't know the full context. That's totally fine. Now that I've explained it, would you say, you know, Papa, that I probably should have done that. My bad. That's all I need. Yeah. You know what? That was kind of shitty. So, That's okay. All you have to say so is that. I, and I would say, Dennis, I understand because I've been there too. We've all made mistakes. That's all you have to say. Can you, can you, uh, just please, for a second, let me talk. Like, you don't let me finish any of my points. I think Ellie finished so, because, all of your points. You just don't like them pushing you really hard. No, yes, that's, that's not what it is. You steamrolled me. You had 80% of the conversation. God, I respond? Nick, please. Nick, please. Somebody, somebody else. In. I can't defend myself. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Def, if you want to have a conversation at some point soon, um, I'd love to talk to you. I feel like I could uh, have a nice, calm conversation. Yeah. I, I can't do this moderation shit. This shit's That's crazy. fine. Listen, I really want to stop getting Yeah, I'm done. Fuck this, this shit, dude. No, just, just I'm done. Sure. Yeah. I don't then give a again, fuck, bro. I, I, I left. You do your best. Um, to like pivot. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. That's... All right, good. We're back to me again. What the fuck was that, dude? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, all right. I, I'm not... Yeah, I'm sorry. That was like... Oh my fuck! I waited an hour. I'm sorry, guys. I I couldn't do it. Chat, I couldn't fucking do it. Holy fucking shit, bro. Um, hi. I yeah, dude. I Papa Gut just got in there and like every argument was like a moralizing one. Dude, can you ask me why we dedicated like ten fucking minutes to asking Deaf Noodles if like. If, if, like, the commentary community would have never heard of him if it wasn't for Deaf Noodles. Easy, easy, okay. Here, Deaf Noodles, is an example of you talking, like, loads of shit about me and implying that uh, my success is due to something that you did. Uh, this is evidence you don't like me. Do you like me, Dennis? Conversation over, on to the next one, okay? We don't have to have a fucking conversation about, uh, well, actually, uh, hypothetically, I might not have been, like, uh, privy to the information that some people might have watched you before, and, uh, well, I actually think that you're jealous of my success, Dennis, the way that you joke about raping my. F I, I don't. Holy shit! Holy shit! I'm sorry, I can't. I can't, bro. Do you know what love is, Dennis? Dude, this is Papa Gut right now, bro. This is Papa Gut. Mans is literally out here. Um, hold on. This is fucking like... Dude, I need... My Where's Mike the bike, dude? Here we go. Oh, this is it. There we go, Dennis. Here we go. Now, you're piggybacking off of someone else's drama so that you can draw up sympathy for yourself. Dennis, can I, Dennis, so Dennis, 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 no, no, because I don't want to move past this point because this is like a really, this is a really topic. Dennis, have you ever loved, Dennis, 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 have you ever loved somebody before? 
Nicholas. Don't Nicholas. You're, you're... Yeah, man, I don't fucking No, don't. This is, this is like a really dishonest <laughs> thing. No, Dennis, this is a really good question. Have you ever been in love before? I'm I I can't believe that like I and he knew I was talking too and he gets on there he's like hello is my mic working is my mic working he sounded like fucking Kyle's fucking little brother in uh in South Park hello uh Kyle I need help wearing on my pajamas that's what he sounded like hello is my mic working uh, causing Kyle causing Kyle's uh joining the call uh can I just fucking jump in like this is so stupid bro it's like actually fucking unhinged I don't know I'm dude I, I actually can't fucking believe that I have been waiting to talk to this motherfucker for a fucking year dude Oh, Jesus Christ. Does anybody from the community want to call me? Yeah, Papa got in debt. Again, I can't... I'm, I'm reading a fucking group chat. I shouldn't be reading on stream. But, like, everyone agrees that this is, like... Everyone is being bad faith in that combo, and I literally can't hear it anymore. I'm sorry. Everyone is being, like, retarded. <sighs> Who's streaming right now that I can bitch to for, like, an hour? I'm fucking mad. Technicals Bridge burned. The John Swan Bridge burned. Flamenco Bridge burned. Papa Gut Bridge burned, dude. Oh, bro. Bro. Everything was to the point. You have, like, years of research under your belt on Deaf Noodles from the two videos. It's very concise, and you're getting him on good points, because there was a lot of blabbering, even with, like, the girls prior. <laughs> but I would rather listen to this random girls blabber, even the OnlyFans one, than Papa Gut... Because he just talks about shit that happened, like, years ago, and he's going through the entire history, like a fucking 65-page documentary or video documentary on Chris Chan, except on Deaf Noodles. And he's going to every little point, every little thing, just talk about how he called you a pedo on Twitter and how he's retarded for it. Uh, That's it! Dude, and by the uh, way, like, I, all right, so, just to be clear, I wasn't going to go on this fucking stream. I was, so, I, this is a bitch for me to edit now, and I'll tell you why. Because I recorded four hours of this fucking podcast on my phone. And if you don't know, the only way to join a Twitter space is on your phone. I can listen to it on a PC, but I can't join it. So, okay. I'm fucking messaging people being like, hey, are you going on? Because you seem like you're good at debating. I DM technicals. I'm like, hey, bro, are you on our side on this one? And he's like, no, I do not do, like, gay internet drama with, like, sides and shit. And I'm like, all right, you're a charm to talk to. But, like, I'm just hoping someone goes on there. And then I listen to Xylee, who, again, no offense to Xylee. I don't think she's, like, a bad person or anything. But she sounded, like, fucking unhinged in that call. She's like, yes, you man. motherfucker, I swear to God, I'll come to your fucking yeah, house and I'll fucking... Yeah, she was, like, literally going fucking crazy. Um, Then, like, Stephen Asark is like, show me your comedy credentials. <laughs> And then fucking, like, Kareem Jovian got in there and was like, Please, can you get me in touch with Keemstar? Oh, no, that's what he does in my DMs. I'm sorry. He was like, Jeff Noodles, I love you so much. And then fucking, um, uh, whatever. Uh, the whole commentary community's all right. I make jokes with Joe Swanson. Mama, no, not Mama Max. Uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, the fucking, the, the guy you fought with. The, the, Autismo Supremo. What is his name? Fucking... Um, uh, yo James. mama, yo mama, okay, Zach fucking James. Zach James is in here being like, you're actually gonna fuck up your Keemstar lawsuit, um, I really would like you to financially destroy him. Yeah, I mean, like, holy shit, it's like I everyone's- I all, dude, every part, so I didn't hear that. I mean, dude, it's really easy to have such a massive fucking ego when I listen to everyone else sound retarded, but me, and it's like, it's holy yeah. shit. Uh, there was like a couple of the girls, like, earlier who were like, they were way too soft on him, obviously, but they were making, like, some pretty good points. But literally, there was only, like, 5% good points, like, 95%, like, bullshit. Dude, the girls it's were so getting annoying. on. Vangelica Sav was getting on there, like, I think that joking is wrong. Or, like, fucking... No, no, allegedly Angelo is the best example. Uh, 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 allegedly Angelo is like, Oh, so I think that you should never joke about pedophilia because it harms real victims. And I'm like, dude, you sound like what Papa Gut looks like, motherfucker! Fuck you! you know what Papa Gut looks like how he sounds. Papa Gut... Oh, man. It's like, Papa Gut... He clearly wasn't trying to make content. He was trying to have, a, like, a legit therapy session. Yeah. I'm like, I, uh... bro, this is the internet. Like, if if Deaf Noodles bothers you that much, log off. If you want to talk to him, then do it to, like, make him look dumb and create content. Like, I don't Jesus know. Jesus motherfucking Christ, dude. Like, holy shit. If you want to have, like, a private convo with Deaf Noodles, like, try to, like, I don't know. 
fly out to his roast battle and have like a fucking five hour heart to heart with him. Like I don't fucking know. Dude, and again, like, I wanted a few points to hit on. I, I got what I needed. I'm not gonna lie. I got what I needed. I wanted him to answer the joking thing. I don't think his answer was sufficient. And I got it for when I want to fucking put it in the video. Yeah, I also, I was there, also but... sick and fucking tired of him referring to the fucking Vulture article where the guy literally agrees with us. Oh, yeah, you completely <laughs> owned him on that. I love that point, because everyone, he was all constantly bringing up yeah, that Yeah, dude, dude, he's been tweeting it. He's, I've been just waiting. You, like, completely like, owned like, him. I, I, like, if I do end up making a video on this, which I actually don't know now, because the fucking space is so long, that I'll definitely, like, clip out that part. Dude, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'll play it for you, and I'll play it for chat, because I, I, I read my videos script uh from no, the I thing heard it. yeah i, I want to show chat this comment because he's just he swears by this fucking article and he doesn't agree with him it's the funniest thing i've ever heard uh just get in the screen chat i know exactly where to go in the video and it's, it's i didn't even play it actually credit goes to internet unwind uh because i promoted his video instead of craig beckett's at the time and um uh that was the fucking decision of a lifetime um, Def Noodles Diorio. Oh, remember the days when my video Also, was Def search. Noodles says he's, like, super busy, like, every weekday, like, 9 to... Or wakes up at 5 a.m., goes to bed at midnight, constantly working. Why is he in a... Dude, Discord I feel like I like half owe hours. Def Noodles a fucking apology for not being able to moderate that. Holy shit. Like, that was yeah, cancer. Def, Def looked normal in that. Yeah, he, he actually did. Def was did. like, Nick, Nick, can you please, can you please... And it, there was, like, one time where Papa Gut was talking too much, and you just, like, casually bring up, like, oh, yeah, maybe you could, like, let Deaf News respond. He's like, what? What's the point of moderating? This is why I didn't I want understand. you in here. Yeah. This is why I don't want you in. Uh. I was like, whoa, like, calm down. Just let the man speak. Like, you're just taking up too much airtime. Dude, like, if it wasn't the across, position, the if it wasn't the position in the context of where we were, I probably would have just attacked fucking Papa Gut. Like, in that moment, I probably would have snapped in. But I didn't want to get kicked from the fucking call. Uh, listen, listen to this. Listen to this. On the subject. The podcast starts off with a very interesting intro from the host of the show. It's not always clear which part is real and which part as a joke and what the joke even is sometimes as much as he says it's all a character i don't know if i always believe him you know he, he clearly gets something out of reporting in his way about this world even after talking to dennis my producers and i were unsure which parts were real and which weren't <laughs> that's the funniest clip i've ever heard he's been like dude check out this fucking uh, dude this is the best comedy podcast there is okay the best comedy podcast there is doesn't understand when you're joking Maybe it's not me. Maybe you should course correct. Like, holy shit. Um, Dude, oh my god. Now the H3 pod subreddit who was like pro Papa Gut is now turning on him again. Yeah, I mean, oh he just god, lost everybody. Bro. I don't know why he did that. And listen, like, uh, um, uh, and I knew it would be a problem when he went and he did the SJW, like, you should ban Def Noodles thing. Because when you have, when you're so stupid, you put me in a position where I have to defend somebody who I really, really dislike. Uh, which, by the way, that was funny. It's like, well, I don't have a problem with you, Nick. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have a problem with me? I, I don't even believe that one, buddy. I don't think you're convincing a single person here. Uh, even, also, you know, uh, sorry for interrupting. Yeah, you're good. But, uh, Augie keeps saying, like, in chats, another thing. He said this in your chat. Like, I can't wait to get the con chat consensus. So I'm going to, like, review this on After Hours. Augie. Don't review this on it. Don't, don't review this it. on after. This is, this is, you're gonna lose your mind after an hour. Just, you're literally gonna use cut brain cell, lose brain cell. I might skip out on this one. Augie, Twitter I'll watch it, it with you in we, private. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with it. I recorded four hours of it and then I streamed the rest. Uh, where there's a little it, bit of my voice, but I don't care. You'll 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 live, dude. If you watch the raw thing from beginning to end you're you're literally going to lose brain cells it was good There's for so me because for my video I, I mean i need to comb through a lot of shit um because he did like he added a lot of context and like actually looked a lot worse than some of the tweets that would have initially let on and i think that yeah. there's a lot to draw from there especially when you're making an argument in a long form video like i am when i'm doing this pop a gut situation it's one thing if i have all the text on screen and i'm explaining to you what it is it's another thing if i have all the text on screen i'm explaining to you what happened and then i have dennis poorly explaining it to someone else to go with that like that's really awesome he basically does a does a verbal version of the tweet uh where he's still defending it so so, like that's really good for me and i'm gonna have to comb through like fucking eight hours of this shit um but 
I don't know. It's so long. It's so long. I can't think of a so single person damage. who talked to him that I heard because I missed like the first fucking three hours of this. I can't think of a single person who had a conversation with him that was productive uh, at all whatsoever. I think that a lot of people either came on to suck his cock or came on to scream at him and nobody actually came on with arguments. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think Def Noodle, I mean, I think Papa Gut's plan is to go in there and just talk through him the entire fucking time. Well, there was a girl who came on and said, like, you keep saying you're a comedian for the last two years, but it's not working, so maybe not change your style, but change your way how you explain it to people. Yeah, and and then, like, the dick suckers. That was the only good, that was the only good, uh... And, they, and that was like, I wanted to get touch on that because I wanted to transition that into the Vulture article because I was going in with the Vulture article in mind uh, because that's the perfect thing. Like, well, uh, people don't seem to get it. I don't cater to those people. Okay, but yeah, your yeah. own comedian friends don't get it. So, I mean, what do you mean? Um, but like, yeah, that's the point I wanted to get across. But you kind of built upon that. But someone else said that earlier just yeah. without the Vulture article part. And they were good. This was like... There's, like, a couple normie people who went in who were, like, Dennis, like, very calmly, like, this is my issue, blah, blah, blah. So some of that was good, but most of it was, like, crazy Yeah, shit, Fletcher, you know? Fletcher, and listen, that, I understand that Papa Gut is passionate. I'm not mocking Papa Gut's passion that he has, okay? I understand this is a triggering issue for him. And I told him I understood even when he went SJW mode the other day, because I understand that, like, this does deal with his wife's fucking sexual assault. This is him being called a pedophile when he lost everything and basically became the leafy of TikTok. I understand that. But I also have the same problem with Flamenco, okay? I understand Flamenco being upset that people put out false pedophile allegations about Flamenco. I don't, on the other hand, care about fucking someone making a song about it and teasing him in a song. And I thought that response was unhinged. I don't think that... Um, Papa Gut's measured approach to responding to this has helped him at all whatsoever. I think in this conversation tonight, getting on and trauma dumping, asking him like, "Deaf Noodles, do you love anyone? Do you, have you ever felt love in your entire life?" Or you're you're making jokes about my wife who was raped, Dennis. She was raped. Did you see that she was raped? She was raped, Dennis. Do you know that she was raped? She was raped, Dennis. Um, that shit's just trauma dumping. You're not making an argument there. You're not having like, there's no point to be had. And then when Dennis goes like, "No, I'm not," he's like, "Oh, you're just deflecting again." It's that's not a conversation. I understand. I don't like Dennis either, okay? I, I that's that, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, even if this is like a fucking L take in this community, I'm not going to just sit here and say that Papa Gut did great in that conversation just because I fucking hate Deaf Noodles and it would be like profitable for me to say that's the case. Um yeah. I agree. Yeah. Holy. Holy shit. And, and like people were losing Maybe it's just me losing patience, because a lot of people have been listening to this for hours, even, like, prior to you coming on, and we're just trying to, like, get to the point where, like, someone finally nails Steph Noodles, and we're slowly getting to it, and we finally get to it with you, and then Papa Gut comes in, and it's okay at first, and then it's just, like, he just elongates it too, he just takes too long to talk. He takes too long to talk. He just takes way too long. Yeah. I, I might even send, like, a, hey, man, I'm actually sorry, this is, like... I, 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 I understand you asked me to be impartial and moderate that, but there's no way I could have. And I, I know that, like, I know that I'm not being unreasonable. No, no, I don't hate him either, but I know I'm not being yeah, unreasonable. Make that because all my YouTube friends are telling me that this is ridiculous, too. <laughs> So I know when I first called him out the first time, chat was like, "Are you fucking kidding me, Nick? Did you actually just tell him to stop?" And it's just like, "Yeah, you guys didn't see what I saw, and I knew what was happening after that. I knew this was off to the races." Yeah, Papa Gut's a good guy. He's just bad at debating. Yeah. Oh god. Especially when it's like personally involves him. And I, mean, I think he did well. The... Me, maybe I Dude, would. Dude, he didn't do well against Dennis because he was a good debater. He did well against Dennis because Dennis is a bad debater. In the first time yeah. they talked, and he made himself look like a maniac. But that's what Papa Gut's doing now. Uh... Oh, but to be fair, it isn't just Papa Gut. A lot of people who are like smaller debater creators do this too uh, Min- where Minxie they just like one, talk forever and ever and ever Minxie one said Papa Gut in the first interaction was far too nice Def Noodles was talking over him now Papa Gut is pushing hard and being blunt sure the problem is in the first interaction Papa Gut looked good because he was the one being talked over and Dennis was the one who was having a meltdown I don't know why he chose to course correct and swap roles with him. I don't know what he was expecting there. <laughs> yeah, you can be blunt without being, like, over-talking. It was so unhinged know. that Deaf Noodles had to ask me for help. 
<laughs> like, l yeah. let's, let's take, like, one of the most blunt examples, which is, like, Nick versus Flamenco most recently, right? Or, like, your first debate on After Hours. Your debate didn't last, like, two hours. You were, like, harsh and blunt as fuck. Yeah, I got on, fucking shit hours. on him, and I got off. And, dude, when you sit there and you let people play with their food for too long, eventually people start to get sick and tired of it. You go in there, you get the kill, you get out. It doesn't make any sense that it took 45 minutes to talk about the pedophile allegation. And then once he did, he literally... You watched me argue that same talking point? Exactly. Deaf Noodles didn't even change the way he asked the question. Deaf Noodles set a trap, and it was obvious the second he said it. He wanted me to admit that I find child rape funny. Now, there's no fucking way I'm going to do that, because I don't find child rape funny. So he wants me to fuck up and say something incorrect and get fucking shit for it. That was his goal in that conversation, because uh, it can't be a joke if you don't find it funny, which everyone in the chat obviously disagrees with but the way he asks the question you he's trying to make you look bad so i immediately noticed that and i and i contested it or whatever and people were like oh it's going into a circle i go yes because i'm not saying the thing he's trying to trap me on papa gut gets in there and he's like no it wasn't a joke well papa gut if it wasn't a joke that his statement's not a lie you're an idiot you understand how stupid that sounds dude so there's a difference between not a joke and not a funny joke, or you ought to not joke about that. If you say, what I said was not a joke, by default, it's a fucking serious statement. By default, you agree with him. That's the trap. You need to be able to, like, you do need that. You to be able to recognize the trap. Not a lot of people can. You, I think you've actually gotten better at debating. I don't know... I mean, you've always been pretty good, but I thought you did really good there, like... Well, uh, I know this guy! The That's the stuff. thing, I don't even think I'm a great debater or, or anything like that. I just, I feel like, I, I watch so many people fuck up, and I, I just had, like, two or three lines I wanted to go down. I went in there, I want to talk about Vulture, and I want to talk about... Yeah. And I didn't get to this, but my point was, like, okay, Deaf Noodles went on a whole rant to a previous person, which I'm now gonna have to go back and find and explain in the video why I didn't get to say it. But, um... So he was explaining... That his, uh, his pedophile allegation joke wasn't um, spite-driven. You may call it a joke. I think it's an allegation. Me, personally. Um, so he was saying that uh, he has no grudge against Papa Gut. It would be weird if he had a grudge against Papa Gut, right? You remember this? I don't know if you saw this part. Mm. And, and the girl who was talking to him couldn't push back. She had no way of pushing back against this. She didn't know what to do, right? So... It's really easy to navigate this fucking line of thought. Deaf Noodles says he has no problems with Papa Gut and that Papa Gut is obsessed with him. Okay, but in the exact same conversation, Deaf Noodles was complaining, oh, he made 21 videos on me. Oh, he made five tweets about me in one day. Oh, I spend my whole life doing X, Y, and Z. I don't have time to interact with this. Oh, I responded to one message. He sent like six more. Papa Gut won't leave me alone. So now he's told me two things. One, he has no prior issue with Papa Gut. And two, he's really bothered that Papa Gut has made 21 videos on him in two months. Deaf Noodles being someone who made 25 out of 26 videos in a row about David Dobrik, and someone who's covered Keemstar extensively for the last fucking year, okay? So the hypocrisy is right, is, is this, okay? One, he constantly does that to everybody else, so, I mean, I don't know why he's even arguing that point. And two, he's saying he has no problem with Papa Gut, he outlines exactly why he would have a problem with Papa Gut, but the problem lies with this. Deaf Noodles didn't argue those 21 videos that day he made one tweet about it and his one tweet wasn't a response to honest criticism or a debunking of allegations it was calling papa gut a pedophile that was the problem with that situation so when i say it was spite driven Deaf Noodles has explained every step of the way how i came to that conclusion Deaf Noodles explains that he's been bothered by the, the number of videos, been bothered by what's been said, by the number of tweets, the amount of attention it's gotten, and when Death Noodles finally responded to Papa Gut, it wasn't, 
oh, well, I mean, you lied about me here with this charity. It was, you weren't joking when you said you were going to fuck that girl and that you look like a pedo and you drive a pedo truck and I'm, and I fuck you and fuck your wife and I'm making a fucking video, uh, I'm making merch of you crying, okay? That's why people are mad at fucking deaf noodles, okay? That's, it's super easy to get there. Uh, and unfortunately, yes. we couldn't get there in the conversation I was having. Um, but yeah, that's the issue. Yeah. So, yeah. Also... Papa got kind of baited you, because, like, on Twitter he said he wasn't going to join, so I assumed you joined because he wasn't going to join, right? Like, if you knew he was going to join from the get-go, you wouldn't have called in. Yeah. Um, uh, let me see what else but, is, yeah. uh, let's see, but, yeah, Papa it's got pretty is the stock market in 08. By the way, hi to the 418 people. We actually gained viewers when I turned Papa Gut off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me and the whole chat were literally molding. <laughs> yeah, I noticed when he started talking, I, I, mold, I lost I like 50 viewers. So, maybe I like went overboard, but I was just like me molding. Yeah. I was so frustrated. You know what? I'm, I'm to blame for this chat. I'm actually to fucking blame for this chat. Hold on. Um, you get yeah yeah you are look at because Papa Gut's though. like I'm not gonna talk to Dennis in his Twitter space. It's a clear attempt to minimize the exposure and backpedal the slander because he realizes he fucked up. If he actually means what he's saying, he could do it on my live stream. I'm like hey hey jackass, um, you could just play the fucking conversation and then talk on your phone like I did, and um, he waited like. Liter I waited literally about a half hour. Ask chat how long I was fucking streaming this before um, I got in the call. And he waited that whole time. And then he's like, all right, I'm in. Um, oh, you mean the, the, the gap between Papa got saying he's not going on? And yeah, he on? fucking waited. It's like an hour. It's so annoying. Yeah, it was like an hour. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta find my profile so you, pic again. So were you, like, things. waiting to hop in in case he hopped in, and then you realized he wasn't going to? No, I, I had reached out to Adam and Kat, and I said, like, can you get me on next? Because I knew Death Noodles would take the call. So I literally fired up the stream when I was just spamming the join button, because I knew I was coming on next. Um, okay. And I, and I just waited. But Papa Gut, he said he wasn't going on. He never replied to my tweet. He gave me no indication he was coming. And when he got there, he sounded like Kyle's fucking cousin Kyle being like, Hello? Is my mic on? Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello? Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, at least you got, like, half of your points down. Yeah, I mean... I assume it was the most important one, right? Yeah, I, I think getting him to argue that stuff was fine. Uh, Adam McIntyre just had a pigeon fly in his bedroom window, and it's, like, sw like flying around in his house. That's hilarious. That's so funny. I like how everyone was, like, reacting to this, and everyone was going in deaf noodles... Uh, space. It's kind of funny. Um, do you want to listen to any more of this? Because apparently now he's trying to oh, explain like this, this whole thing. science. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we should do that. I'll listen. Well, well, the 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 I've listened for this long. Might as well. I, Fuck I, it. I, I, but I understand why you did talk about it. Let me let me let me, let me just finish, let me just finish talking real quick. I explained this earlier to the best that I could explain it. Okay, and you're free to go back and listen to the difference between my statement and his statement. Okay. I explained it very plainly. I took you and walked you through it. This is maybe the fifth time that I explained it in this whole thing. There's a very big difference. Um, and that's, that and was that's it. That's the fact you that know? you did it for like a week. Um, you did it for like one post, right? That was the difference. Wait, Keem didn't we do it for a week? Well, yeah, let's, let's move forward. forward. Let's Wait, move forward. that's not even I true. That, I think that, um, and, and by the way, it sounds like he's just, he's saying that this could have been a labeling joke, same as if, you know, somebody looks disheveled and they said this person looks homeless or something like that. I mean, I, I'm not I, saying whether that's it's not true. Not. Yeah, I, I of course, I, I agree. Page. I don't you disagree, but let's page. move forward. Page knows what this is about and you don't. And I'm very sorry, but I feel. All right. Turn the women off. I can't do it. No more. I, you know, I don't even care about archiving this part of the fucking stream because I could just steal it from the fucking uh, Papa Gut's side and I can make a fucking full cohesive fucking uh, stream recording right. of this whole thing because it's got someone has to. Uh, I don't know if anyone's yeah, recording it, this right now. It's pretty hours. insane. Um, Except, oh my god, Papa got dude. I the viewers went up again when I left the call. The viewers like went back <laughs> up. <laughs> someone should make like a tutorial on like how to debate and like send it to Papa. Gunderson. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I just and I understand what he says when he's like, no, I needed to talk about this, but um, 
oh, dude, it's because it is him. It's his, it's, it's his drama. He's allowed to fuck it if he wants to, but he shouldn't yeah. want to. He should let me do it for him. I'm so much I mean, better at I mean, fair this. to Papa, got a lot of people who do online debates suck at it. It's not just him. Yeah, I know, but, but like, <laughs> you, yeah. you cut me off to think... do that? Yeah, and also, to be fair, he didn't know, like, what you were talking about or that you were, like, really debating him or what have you. Um... I gotta change I my profile. I mean, he should have stuck to his word and not win it. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. Uh, I can't hate on him for it, but like, it is like annoying, I guess. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Papa Gut wins in the H three H three community. Augie brought up a good point in my DMs. Um, if he's gonna just sit here and like do the whole um, like my my wife my wife my wife I mean those people are gonna eat that shit up it's just not our space yeah I guess Papa yeah. Gut was right when he's like I don't know, you're in the commentary I mean, but community. they already were eating it up like why is there any but let me go see if H 3s Reddit is talking about this shit right now it's crazy they did a little bit and then I think one of the newest posts it isn't a large amount of people but they're like. Wow, I don't like Papa Gut now. Quite a Joker brain meeting of the minds in Twitter spaces. What is this? Especially with an absolute insane Saying that you look like a chef, you're, you're, I don't know if you're purposely missing No, I think that you don't have a point in this. But saying that hey guys. you look like a chef, saying that, that you look Lewis? like a chef, wait, wait. doesn't mean that you're a chef. Oh my god. That somebody Dude, that's... H3 staff is in there. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yep. Yeah. H3, one of H3 staff members is in there. So, uh, I try. I mean, that means I'm going to be on the fucking H3 podcast if they cover this shit. Jesus. May well, maybe. It's five hours. And they might just skip over it. Like, honestly. Well, no, because I'm in so... the Papa Gut convo. Like, <laughs> I'm in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. I, I had to, dude, I, I need to make a donation sound of fucking deaf noodles going, Nick, please. <laughs> I guess H3 could cover this. I wouldn't, like... If I were him, I wouldn't cover it, but... He might. It's just, it's just a little all over the place, but with, like, my video comments. and the staff... Look Here, up, uh, this is getting spicy. Face. Def is insanely delusional. He wants to be roasted. He is. He's not doing well. Def is giving the old Tucker Carlson defense. Can someone give me a TLDR? Uh, there was a, a situation with Sniper Wolf they disagreed on. Def made a video calling PG an incel and more shit. They had a debate where Def made himself look unhinged because he was screaming over him the whole time. Uh, he apologized for calling him an incel. They went back on it and claimed everything he said in the debate was a lie. Then Def made some shitty Twitter posts about Papa Gut calling him a pedo, and now they're talking on Twitter. Yeah, I guess that's a good uh, one. Papa Gut Diet, Ke Diet Keemstar. So I guess Papa Gut looks good in the, over here. Uh, I mean, this is still all true. Uh, Papa Gut is a piece of shit. Oh, well, Jesus. Um... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, guys, you ready for this? You want to know why Papa Gut's such a piece of shit? You ready? You ready? Oh, boy. Right. Are you ready? Papa nope. got such a piece of shit. All these simps seem to forget. Here we go. Uh, Big Big Al Cake Mix uh, came in with... He still uses the word retarded. It's an, And is unapologetic about using it. That's actually not true, though. He's had tons of misogynistic takes. He's a parallel version of a MAGA supporter who likes to debate for the sake of debating just to get the attention. He's so self-righteous. Bad takes constantly and thirsting for attention. Holy actually, shit. Actually, I saw, a, I think, a short from Papa Gut recently where he was reacting to Def Noodles talking to that, like, conservative guy, and the conservative guy said, like, retarded, and then Def Noodles was like, uh, he didn't, like, push back on it, and Papa got criticized him for that. Apparently guess, Petty like, really Page went in to moderate. Oh, jeez. Yeah, she was listening for a while, too. Um, do you think Ethan should talk about Papa Gut and Def Noodles? This is, like, insane, dude. Yeah, I'm actually curious if they talk about it on uh, the HB podcast and what they'll say. Yeah. Honestly, now that Papa got has been like talking over Def Noodles a lot, uh, they might have an angle. To Wait, when I said Papa got cucked me, I meant literally. Like that was the 
But I did it with a Deaf Noodles profile pic, so people think that I'm, like, pretending to be Deaf Noodles, saying that Papa got cocked Oh, my me. God. And no, that's I legitimately meant that he just did. Jesus. Yeah. Wait, that's so fucking funny. That's, kinda, that's funny. Oh, God. I don't know. They're apparently closing now. I'll I, I'll hit them up. I don't know. What? Maybe I'll fucking go to New York City and have a conversation with them this week. <laughs> I, just, I can't, yeah, dude. Have a real I didn't, I, dude, Dude, I... This is the worst thing ever because I thought we were doing so well and he just fucked it so badly. Yeah. Uh, but I guess he wins in Ethan's community. That's all that matters. Yeah. More than I, I, think, I think Deaf Noodles likes you a little more now. <laughs> I think you... Because Deaf Noodles hasn't watched his video... Uh, uh, you know, uh, according to him, hasn't watched your videos on him. And he knows you're like kind of like pro Keemstar or whatever. So I guess he just likes you from that. Like, in that call, he was like, Nick, Nick, help me out and shit. Like, <laughs> he seems to like and respect you more. Look, I'm, like I'm that, nothing but... if not fair, all right? You might not like my yeah. videos, but, like, I've I've offered to talk to this guy for a year. It wouldn't do it if he could give me you a side of the story. You might be able to get, like, a good, like, one-on-one -on -one Discord interview or something. For you I wonder if he would be willing to do that now after me trying desperately to moderate. <laughs> maybe he'd be yeah, willing maybe, to talk honestly, to me. Honestly, I think he would agree to it, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not p pretending that we haven't been fucking rude to each other for a year or whatever. Yeah, obviously. But maybe he'd but be willing to just be like, like "Hey, do you want to do a one-on-one -on -one Discord interview for the video, and then you just like record it?" Yeah. If you want to, it seems like you have enough content without it. But how the fuck? I think you'd be down for that. Wh where's my fucking Hassan profile pic? I don't know where it is. I have to put it back. Uh, who made this for me? Psych draws. Psych draws made it. I I I can't think. I don't want people to think I'm pretending to be Deaf Noodles in this stupid tweet. Um, I don't know. Does anybody else want to come on and hang out for a bit and tell me what you guys think? Because, oh boy, I am not having Smaggle the best time. Smaggle owning the U.S. senator. Yeah, Smaggle so owned though. a senator. Did you see candidate. the clip of it? Uh, yeah, but I haven't played it I'll on stream. It to you. Is it stream oh, safe? Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's stream safe. I fixed my Hassan PFP. I did it because Adam did it. Adam McIntyre is fucking hilarious. I don't care what anybody says. I like that him. That kid's funny I as hell. I didn't realize. Uh, the only reason people won't like him is because he like flutters over on the T side of YouTube. But um, funny guy, really funny guy. All right, uh, this is the Blue Squid Comes one. W Wait, Keem, on my way. Oh, Salvo's live. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, Salvo was live the whole. Yeah. Oh, I'm cucking Salvo. I didn't mean to do that. Well, Deaf Noodles is Cuff King Salvo, too. So. True. True, true, true. Um, I, you know, I, I couldn't believe that so many people talked about the pedo allegation and, and were just like, I think it was mad that you said he looked like a pedo. Who cares if you say he looks like a pedo? None of you motherfuckers in the chat can be mad that somebody said that you look like a pedo. You guys fucking subscribe to Augie, okay? Augie does that twice a day. Nobody's fucking mad at Deaf Noodles because he said, you have a big beard and you're ugly and you look like a pedophile. Okay, nobody's mad about that. People are mad because he put the word joke in quotations and made it sound like he wanted to fuck a kid, dude! Yeah. That's an allegation! Also, <laughs> having an excuse to shit on Deaf Noodles is always, like, cool. Yeah, I mean, like, there's obviously a huge fucking difference. Dude, I wouldn't be mad at Deaf Noodles if he's just like, Wall, you look like a pedo. <laughs> dude, you know how many times Augie's done have, that he this week? should have week? said that. Dude, when Papa got kept interrupting him, I really just wanted Deaf Noodles to say, like, yeah, you look like a pedo. The girl who's suing Taylor You're Lorenz just replaced me as moderator. I thought it was over. Dude, I can't say my nickname for Deaf Noodles that I came up with because it's... All right, because... Uh, He's trying to get us to do, like, a fucking roast battle. It's like a rap battle at his fucking basement, all right? He sounds like yeah. um, a word that rhymes with rabbit. Uh, he sounds like B, that word from fucking 8 Mile, okay? He's just... He's going to... <laughs> he's, I can't tell you on Twitch what I mean by that. <laughs> but that's how I've been referring to him offline. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pancake. Holy shit, that call was Mr... Diorio. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, that was the worst experience of my life. Is it still going on? I don't know. I, I rage quit. I rage quit after moderating for 45 minutes of fucking oh, no, long ended. tangents. Oh, it's over? Six hours. Oh, it ended. Thank God. And it, it lists the speakers. It has credit in it, on it, dude. 
<laughs> How much of that did you so hear? Did you... <laughs> My, Michael, <laughs> the Michael Senator. Was it was, it? It was hours Azar, long? Rich Love, yeah, I recorded four Nicholas hours Fiorio. of it on my phone, and then I got really tired of people sucking, so I swapped over to PC and then called him. Oh, oh, so you got on the, so you got on the space? Oh, you don't know? I, I, so I went live at nine, so it's like I didn't catch the last two hours of it. What the fuck happened? Dude, we were having a great conversation. All my points were landing. Everything was going great. And then Papa Gut, after not coming for like three hours, gets in the call and he's like, Can you hear me? Is my mic working? Is my mic working? Is my mic working? And he's, and like, he just started interrupting me on purpose. He's like, he was basically like, Shoe fly, I'm coming in. And then he just okay. sucked for an hour. <laughs> Yeah, well, he fucking he he legit is like horrible. Like he is horrible at this. That was he shouldn't the worst be doing thing it. ever, dude. <laughs> well, it's like it's like Def Noodles can literally. It's it's really hard to take like an L against Def Noodles. I mean, even at a McIntyre, that that little that little that little you know <laughs> We're on tree on squirrel Twitch, like, do that. looks pretty good, right? <laughs> that little cutie little twink looks pretty good against Def Noodles. But man, like Papa got on his couple response, his couple responses to Deaf Noodles, he looked worse. You can't cry with Deaf. So, your conversation with Deaf Nick. Um, let me recap the audience here. You guys have been going back and forth on Twitter all 2020. All week. We started in 20. Actually, no, 2019. <laughs> Right, I was gonna say all week, but I mean, you guys have been going back and forth for years. Yeah, they started yeah. with um, I, I I picked a fight with him. Actually, it was, it was late 2020, and then instead of talking to me, he had a combo with John Swan. That's how far back we're going. Okay, so when you got on the call with him today, yep. Again, we didn't hear any of it. What what were you saying? Uh, we got on there pretty quick. Uh, I basically said, like, oh, well, this is funny. We actually have never spoken after, like, a year of us being, like, against each other. And then he tried to tell me that he didn't dislike me actively. And I don't think anyone really bought that. I assume that he doesn't like me, which is fair. Um, but he, he had been talking about how, you know, these people don't understand his gimmick. They don't understand his comedy, right? Um, that, like, uh, he's this misunderstood person. And I pointed out that he's been looping for, like, a year because... This is the same argument he was making in 2020 and 2021, and now in 2022. And he keeps pointing to this. Do uh, you know what Vulture.com is? Oh, hello. Yeah. This is what Papa Gut did the to number me. One exactly. podcast, What's happening right saying. now from Keemstar is what Papa Gut did to me like an hour ago. <laughs> hello? Keemstar, there, it's happening again. Hello? It's twice on one stream. Can you hear me? <laughs> Keemstar, I, I hello. Me Thanks mic. for. Uh, <laughs> Hello? Thanks for joining. Yes, Keemstar, we hear you Hello? here. I fucking hate you, Keemstar. Can you start crying? <laughs> I know I everyone's start crying having a conversation and shit, but uh, when I come in, everyone shut up. Hello? I'm running tests. I just want to make sure you can hear me. Hello? One minute. Let me turn my headphones up a little bit. Okay. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. I, I've, I've called in to talk to Salvo. <laughs> okay. No yeah. sounds from the peanut gallery, Savo. <laughs> is it is it true that you stole that windbreaker from the 1985 Olympics? Tell the yes. truth. Tell the yes. fucking truth. I'm very fashionable, Keemstar. I'm very fashionable. Oh, so um, now you want to admit it? On Twitter, you denied it over and over again. Over and over again, when you knew that my girlfriend had a thing for the 1985 Olympics. So, keep sorry. Okay, you're doing the pop a gut bit. My audience didn't really hear any of it. This was it. Watching what, you're, what you're watching? Intently. This was it, Salvo. Don't derail it, because that was a trick question. Because the Olympics happens every four years, so it couldn't be in 1985. Because <laughs> it comes on an even number. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Your girlfriend wasn't even alive in 1985. <laughs> okay, fair point. I'm leaving the chat. I lost. Keem, Keem, I have a question for you. I have a couple questions. So, how much of how much of that Deaf Noodles, um, you know, interview of that six hours did you watch? Roughly, quickly. Oh my God, way too much. Actually, way too much. Keem, wait, you know what, what is wrong I with your mic? Yeah, I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. I'll be right back. Wait, cause he are you in the pond? Keem, are you in the pond? Did you kill those koi fish? Keem, sorry, I have a question for you. Did you kill the koi fish 
Because no way you you had those koi fish in that bag for 45 minutes to let them aculate. This dude's calling in from his fucking etch a sketch. What the fuck was that? You hear me now? Yes. Do I sound yeah, holy? You shit. sound a little bit better. Okay. So here's the thing. They don't have to be 45 minutes to alculate. They only need to be 10 minutes in the water to alculate, or whatever the fucking term is. Okay. And all the did you do? It? Did you at least do that? Yes, of course I did that. And all the fish are alive. They're all doing really well. I've scared the blue heron away multiple fucking times. For those of you that don't know, the blue heron is this tall, skinny, real skinny looking bird that goes in and it spears the fishes right in their fucking heads and eats them. Okay, so, so when I come to Buffalo to spend the night there in your cabin, can I expect to see all those koi fish there? Whoa, I said you could come visit. I didn't say anything about spending the night. Well, you know, if I'm coming up to Buffalo, Keem, it's like I kind of be, I want to be wined and dined like Fousey a little bit. Well, I mean, definitely we can set up some tents in the in, in the woods or something for you. Okay, all right, so that's good. So, Keem, sir, when you called into the Deaf Noodles uh, Twitter space. Yes. Rollerblades. Mm-hmm. Is is that is that a, a a term for him being a gay man? Absolutely not. Okay. That's I, the I rumor know. going around. I don't I don't I, I don't know what <laughs> Deaf Noodle's sexuality is, and I don't really care. I know that he's I know his sexuality. Uh, he was getting kinda... top from that girl the entire fucking stream. That girl was oh like, my God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> when she said, like, Nick, you don't know what you're talking about in the middle of your sentence, <laughs> I was just like, bro. Uh, so, Keemstar, I want, I want Andy Oreo and Sonic Josh here. You hmm. guys heard the, the, the new Papa Gut versus Deaf Noodles kind of debate or whatever the fuck it was on that Twitter space here, right? Yeah, um, unfortunately. So yeah, we I didn't hear any of it, and let my me give loyal... you a summary. Let me yes, give you a quick you. summary. All right, um, I can't say too much because I'm in a lawsuit with Deaf Noodles, so I'm going to keep uh, most of my opinions, you know, reserved. But if I were to give you a summary of it, there was about four or five annoying women that um, yep. were irrelevant, right? That talked for the majority of that entire Keem, thing. one of those was the girl who said Gabby Hanna wishes she was raped because she would have gotten the sympathy that uh, Jesse Smiles got. Yeah, I'm not... Just Damn. so just, just so the <laughs> chat understands, this is not like a, a dig on women in general. It was these particular <laughs> women yeah. that were there. They were really extremely annoying. You could tell that they all loved to hear their own voice. And they just kept talking without saying anything, which then caused Deaf Noodles to talk without saying anything. And a lot of that was going on and on and on for a very long time. Yeah, and I was trying to get in because I think the root of the Deaf Noodles kind of backlash that he's currently getting is because he cultivated this audience of those crazy fat bitches that kind of feel the need that they can boss him around, I guess, and kind of tell him how it is. Just like Ethan Klein, they ha they share that same audience, and it was on display for six hours tonight. Six hours tonight, we saw four fat, really annoying women telling Def what he's doing wrong, telling him what he needs to do, and Def is sitting there with a pen and a paper taking notes, actually trying to make them happy and appease them that's that's his whole issue is that he's appeasing these crazy lonely hormonal eggless bitches i i disagree <laughs> i think uh i think deaf noodles is acting uh, based on what deaf noodles wants well you think he's do. acting I based think he's, i i think that he's I, I i don't think he's being controlled by anyone i don't think he's controlled by Wait, you don't audience. think the liberal media is taking his toll on deaf noodles uh, I mean, he must agree with them. That must be his opinions, right? He must be seeing that stuff and agreeing with it. At the end of the day, he is making the decisions to do and say whatever. But, I mean, the, the entire podcast for me, and maybe Nick and, and someone else could give their uh, opinion, 
or, or the excuse me the twitter spaces to me was just basically that daff noodles was explaining look uh my new show is a parody i am a character i'm you know a cat living in a minecraft house i am not to be taken serious like he was making a clear separation from Def Noodles, the character, and Dennis, the person. That was the entire stream. What, did, what are your thoughts on that, Nick? Uh, I think he uses that whenever he gets caught in a situation. I think he'll be happy to be, take all the credit as a quote-unquote pseudo-journalist uh, when it's when given the opportunity. I think he's very happy to be put in articles and shit like that. But I also think that any time he's caught on any point, he immediately doubles back to, no, I'm a Minecraft character. No, um, I, I'm, I'm a satirist. He actually shed the skin of the Minecraft character some time ago, but he's still like, no, 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 everything I get wrong is jokes. Everything I get right is me being a good journalist. Yeah. Yeah, so with the Papa Gut conversation here, um, how did that go? Because it was Papa Gut and Dennis kind of talking for the first time in a public kind of space. Terrible. How did that go and, like, how did each other look? Uh, Papa Gut asked was, uh, Dennis if he's ever loved before. It was yeah. amazing. It was like the, the SJW's uh, Olympics. It was like the <laughs> battle of the yeah, the morally uh, correct. Like, you know, it's just this It's this weird thing where, look, I, oh, man, I don't want to give. I can't. I can't. Someone else has to give their opinion. I can't. I want to say way too much. Yeah. And that's why, and that's why I say that you got your ball snipped, Keem. Do you think that I was on a roll and Papa what do you got mean fucking I got my... snipped my wings? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, salvo pancakes. All right, it's not that I have my balls snipped. I'm being sued. Do you realize that I have to have a meeting with, like, seven lawyers tomorrow, and they're all going to be like, well, you shouldn't have said this, and you shouldn't have said that, and I didn't even really say anything, all right? I'm going to get yelled at. For talking about rollerblading Yeah, tomorrow, and he talked right? about it. He, he talked about the lawsuit shit for, like, hours. <laughs> it's got to be bad for him. You, you're you going to have to watch this stream again tomorrow with your team of fucking lawyers. <laughs> yeah, you're so oh, fucked. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. So, so, so just a couple more questions here. Um, what is Keemstar and your guys' opinion on Papa Gut? Two things with Papa... Three things with Papa Gut, uh, briefly here. One, him crying on stream. Two, Papa Gut um, threatening to sue Dennis if Dennis goes and does a man on the street. And then three, if if um, Papa Gut threatening or going to Twitter to uh, to take his shit down. What's your guys' opinion on that? Uh, all of it's bad. I was like the first one to DM He's him that it was stupid as fuck. Uh, I don't. I, I mean, I guess if he wants to self-destruct that way, it, it is his story. He's allowed to fuck it up if he wants to. But I, I saw it as really cringe. Um, I, I think the fourth question is: Does Papa Gut look like a pedophile? <laughs> what are you gonna yeah, do? I mean that is a good question, <laughs> and it's like the whole. T it, it, it's so funny because the whole time I mean, Papa gonna be, Gut. Yes, Kim. I, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if we could get one in the chats, right? Like, several pancakes. He. He objectively looks like a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. You're fucking retarded. I mean, you are like star. shirtless all the time, didn't you? Ask Yo, Salvo, are you gonna sue him? You are you gonna sue him? This is your question are now. You Come on, you're in. Kids around you. <laughs> I won't. I won't. No, I'm not gonna sue Keemstar, but what? I, I'll I'll hit Keemstar. I'll, I'll hit <laughs> Wait, no, 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 I, no, you're not I'll, gonna I'll, hit I'll him. You're not gonna hit him. You're gonna uh, <laughs> roast him in a roast battle in New York. What, <laughs> what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I don't look like I do not look like a pedophile. It's like I want I want everybody, you know, if you see a female online, I want you to, to send them a picture of me and be like, well, "What do you think?" They'll be like, "He's hot. He's gorgeous." And keep sorry for saying that. When I see you, I'm taking my fist, I'm grabbing the end of your beard and I'm pulling it. Okay? You well, can't be just saying so things you, like that. Just so you know, Brantley will be protecting me. Brantley is my bodyguard and she hits Yeah, body, I'll so. give her a kick right in the ribs. She'll be crying on the curb. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Listen, we'll wrap it up uh, with this. I have another five hours to do. Five? Um, yeah, five hours. I, ha yeah, I like I've only done my opening kind of segment here, so I have I have I have I have, I have got not, I haven't even got into the Ethan Klein Deaf Noodles things, and I got hours on them. So, um, one last or one last point, and you guys can chime in here, I guess. Um, when Papa God is is 
doing his response videos to to Deaf Noodles, kind of defending Deaf Noodles tweets and comments about Papa Gut being a pedo. But then you look in the bottom right hand corner and he's got his webcam on and he objectively looks like a man that if he was around my kids, I would kind of tell my kids to come closer to me is very funny. Yeah, so I, I, my issue isn't that he said he looks like a pedo. I'm not going to get mad at you for making, like, a pedo joke. I would be a massive <laughs> fucking hypocrite with the whole flamenco shit, and that's stupid as fuck. Um, my issue is the part where he puts joking in parentheses and indicates that, like, when Papa Gut said he was joking about saying he wanted to fuck children, that that was a lie. Uh, that's an allegation, saying that Papa Gut wants to fuck children. That's, that's, that's where the uh, issue is. Not that he looks like a pedo or looks like a guy who'd drive a pedo van. Okay. Yeah. I think um, I, I think the problem lies with um, you know people uh, similar to Deaf Noodle show and similar to uh, Ethan Klein's show is you know they take this SJW hard like you know alt left stance um, and when you take that stance you're inherently anti comedy you know it seems like everybody on the far left, you know, not the left in general, but the far left is against comedy. They, they're they always attacking jokes that they don't think are funny. And these two individuals are constantly tempting to be funny. So that's the problem. Yeah, so I would kind of disagree with that. I think that Ethan Klein and Jeff Noodles, right? They have this this very lefty kind of audience. And I think Ethan Klein and right now Deaf Noodles are just in that cycle where their audience is that X kind of beauty community. And they're just in that cycle right now where their audience is bored with them. Um, yeah. And they are just trying to cancel them and they're nitpicking. I mean, they've done the same things to Jeffree Star, to Shane Dawson, to Trisha Petitos, to Gabby Petito, to everything under the sun here. They just get caught up in that wave. And unfortunately, it might be Duff Noodle's time to go because when you got the gays okay, so and you got these I lonely, crazy bitches nitpicking and they're talking all day because unfortunately, their audience are extremely extremely lonely individuals so the deaf noodles and the shane dawson's and the jeffrey stars and the trisha paytas they're kind of like the the sun in their atmosphere and in their universe and all these lonely fat overweight bored women and these gossiping uh brunch going connors right augie's roommate <laughs> they just you know they orbit the sun and the sun consumes them and they just talk amongst each other on Reddit and on Twitter and in their group chat because they have no in real life purpose. The online community is their life and they just get bored and, you know, one one bitch starts to nitpick and it leads to two bitches starting to nitpick and now everybody's nitpicking and going at them here. I'm not sure if it's really like that lefty sort of bullshit going on. However, it's you can argue that, you know, that has to play into it because it's another angle to kind of nitpick their jokes if they offend anybody but kind of my take what do you think about that sonic josh i think you're correct thank you <laughs> and diorio one last question do you regret the words you said to me earlier this year which ones whatever you said to beyond bombing on that twitch stream oh yes you are our lord and savior you're the uh thank you're you the upcoming wow. king of the commentary community if i host uh, after hours on friday i would like you to make an appearance <laughs> uh, i i think you i think you and i should co-host it the from the get-go and literally augie would literally feel his audience be ripped away from him i think i think he wouldn't have a choice. He would sit there wherever the fuck he's at. I'm doxing him currently, Yo, so I'll find out where he's at. Let's do some pedo allegation against Augie on his own show. <laughs> yes. Like, he would feel his audience in his world slowly slip away from him if 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 the Sicilian trash we are go on there and really rip it from him. Okay? Yeah. I think that needs to happen. Hey, hey, Sonic Josh, what's going on with the with the drama in the Sonic, Sonic community? Josh. The drama in the Sonic community? Wait, have you never seen Content Ring, the content cop of the Sonic community? 
Guys, no. I'm gonna go continue my show here. I appreciate it, Sonic Josh, Daniel Keem, and uh, Mr. Diorio. Appreciate the support. Um, oh, by the way, Keem Star giving me that tweet shout out today, and Nick Diorio reposting my uh, stream a couple weeks ago in Clipped Live has been the only promotion that I've ever gotten from this community. And that's coming from a guy that I've made fun of his girlfriend so brutally. And I've made fun of Nick Diorio's weight for half of a year. He leaked my nudes. And, 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 I, and I leaked your nudes. So I appreciate it. <laughs> and it goes yeah, to you who's smart. Huh? It's just, it's just fake love. We're tricking you to get over to the house so Brantley can kick your butt. <laughs> sorry, if that bitch lays hands on me, I, will, I won't hesitate to hit her. She's... Not it's not just gonna be hands. She's got weapons. She's got golf clubs, baseball bats. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a good. Good. Bye. Uh, Did you kick Josh? <laughs> Peace out. Nicholas. Peace out. Right. Oh man, I want to watch Bye. this. You want to see something? I don't know if I can show the whole thing on. Tw <laughs> I don't know if I can show this on Twitch. Uh, yeah, let's see. Right. Um. Oh, it's the Gabby Hannah. Yeah, this is a part of my Gabby yeah. video I never released, but I, I've shown this to everybody. Everybody's seen it. Some, or uh, Salva going on that long rant and then just catching me off guard. Like, Josh, what do you think? I'm like, uh... Yeah, you totally weren't paying attention. Everyone knew, but... Um... <laughs> I was like, uh... Well, I kind of was, but I just didn't have anything to say in that moment. I just wanted to say that Def Noodles should have called... This is uh, that Papa fucking bitch moderator. This is that bitch moderator who kept interrupting me, okay? You want to hear some shit? You guys want to hear some shit, chat? Okay, you want to hear some shit? Okay, so I'm on here because I talked about Gabby Hanna and Alive, and I said that I believe that she wished that she was R-worded. Wait, fuck. It's been in front of us the entire time. It's right there in the fine print. SA doesn't mean sexual assault. It's an acronym for Sigma. Wait, wait, is that from an un... Is, oh, this video isn't released. Yeah, it's an unreleased video. You showed me this like a year ago. Yeah. Like two years ago. <laughs> It's like probably your best moment out of any like fucking video you've ever made. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm and gonna put it in the Deaf Noodles video because um uh, because it's relevant now. Oh, because she yeah, because she was in it. Yes. I'll put it in there because I'm yes. probably not making another video. I don't spoil what's on screen. But <laughs> it's holy the shit, funniest but... thing I've ever done. Uh, this is when the, when these <laughs> jokes were in. I think Papa got wants to chat. Uh, yeah, he said let me yeah, in. Let's so. bring him in. Y'all talking shit? Yes, we are, Papa got. Let's go. We're getting the debate we wanted today, boys. Bro. Bring him in. Hello, Mr. Gut. Give me, give me a minute. I'm catching up on 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 uh, <laughs> the, the the donations. I'm you're gonna good, mute yeah, you're good, you're good. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Then we burn the bridge. <laughs> um, yeah, he only muted, so I don't. I think he can still hear us. Yeah, he can still hear. Oh, we can't talk shit. Now man. we can't talk shit. No. Um. So man. yeah, we just went over the stream. Then we went to the fucking Salvo Pancakes live. Uh, we're streaming to 405 people right now, which is about double my average. So, hello, everybody. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Petty Page got added. To this call? Wait, Petty Page is here, too! Hello, Petty What's Page! What's happening? Dude, this crossover. <laughs> this too much crossover today. It's like endgame for the commentary community. And Papa... No, um, Deaf Noodles is like the Thanos. I gotta ask like, Petty Page if she got oh. that title. <laughs> I can't believe there is now two Death Noodles icebergs. <laughs> I have, yeah, there's two icebergs. It's such yeah. a weird thing that happened. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't watched that video yet, but from what I've heard, it's good. So, check it out. Check out the other Death Noodles iceberg before I make my other other Death Noodles iceberg because that's what I'm gonna call it again. The Death Noodles iceberg revisited is the uh, the next one we're dropping. I want to talk all oh, about yeah. the rich fucks allegations. Uh, I want to talk about all the Papa Gut stuff, uh, including today, uh, which is why I'm glad I got half a oh, conversation. Wait, rich, the rich Lux allegations. Yeah, I didn't talk, dude. You you know the last thing yeah. I, I the last thing I talked about was the three pedo allegations he fucked up in a row. Uh, so I have, like, a year's worth of shit to talk about. Yeah. Apparently um, in that in that Twitter space, he actually made up with Rich Lux, because he said 
Rich Lux, I didn't call you alt right. I said you fell into the pipeline, and then Rich Lux is just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I think I, I don't know. That's fine. I'll, I'll include that. I'm not gonna just omit that context, but, but um, I mean, I still think it sounds crazy. It still sounded dumb, and he's like, "Oh, people well, just didn't understand." Again, my that. problem isn't that he said Rich better. Lux was like falling down the alt right pipeline. My problem is that he said he was falling down the alt right pipeline because he talked to that person, and this is the same guy who got fucking slapped by Christian Walker last week. My guy. Actually, it wasn't because he talked to him. It's because Gavin McGinnis showed a clip of the H three podcast that had Rich Lux's watermark on it. Nice. <laughs> That's a normal thing. That's a normal thing to say. So, yeah, uh, this guy just got... Wa- yeah. He got mopped by Christian Walker last week, and that guy's, like, an asshole. So, I don't know. I think I lost brain cells from listening to Dennis for so long. Like, I... I yeah. I don't know. I keep, like, bouncing in my head between him being, like, genuinely stupid and thinking everything he said and believing everything he says, or him just being, like, so malicious and so tied up in it that he's, like, just constantly lying. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one it is. I think he could be that stupid. I don't know. Papa Gut knows all about that conversation. Which one? The the Rich Lux one? Oh, no, no. Papa- oh, yeah, Papa Gut's coverage on Christian Walker was really good. Because uh, I had watched it myself live, and I, I gave up when Deaf Noodles couldn't argue. It's actually... Because uh, it's funny that he mentioned Hassan as a good debater, because now I know what he watched to prep for that conversation. Because um, both of them did terrible when they talked to Christian Walker. So it makes a lot of sense that that's the... Pro- that, I, I figured out why he didn't do so well, guys. Nuclear take. I figured it out. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, that was the debate. If you watch my Hassan video that I haven't released yet, because I'm terrible at making videos, one of the major points that I talk about in the first video is that Deaf Noodles brings on Christian Walker, gets mopped in a trans debate, then his trans fans were trying to tell him that he was doing a bad bad job so Hassan's like I know more about this than fucking you guys I hope that your fucking day is terrible like he's just like raging out on his trans fans who were telling him about his bad debate performance and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life like holy shit just stop debating if you suck that much and then Deaf Noodles was like all right man I'm gonna debate Christian Walker (laughs) I love Hassan Piker I can do this Oh, man. It's so funny, dude. Again, like, there's, there's a lot of surface-level shit here. Do I hate Deaf Noodles because he did bad in a debate against Christian Walker? Dude, I did bad in a debate against the quartering. No, that's not why I'm, like, I'm mad at him or something. Uh, it, it's because he did that after doing the Rich Lux thing and then saying that Augie is, like, uh, what, what was the Augie stuff? That Augie was, um... That Augie was disenfranchising uh, minority creators, and he got mopped by fucking Christian Walker on his talk show where he says he's bad at debating. Like, it's such a, like why would you platform him then? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a whole irresponsible platforming guy, but if you know you suck and you're going to let the guy walk all over you, probably best not to have the conversation. Uh, I, I think that I objectively did better in my conversation with Mr. Girl on pedophilia than um, fucking Deaf Noodles did. Not, not Yeah, than Deaf Noodles did with Christian Walker. Uh, and even then, I knew that conversation wasn't going to be easy, talking to the guy. that's t- Talking to Mr. Girl about pedophilia is like talking to a vegan about veganism. I know I don't care if the fucking animal is consumed, but I have to go through 30,000 leaps and bounds to talk about something that vegan debaters only talk about. Um, so every time you say Christian Walker, I think of Doug Walker from Nostalgia Critic. I've never watched Nostalgia Critic. Um, Wait, is Nostalgia Critic the guy that got Hassan that time by putting something in the... I don't fucking know. Uh, no. no. that was Daily Dose of Internet? I don't know. Nostalgia Critic's like the bald... You know in the... He's sometimes memed. He's like bald, has glasses, like talks about movies. <laughs> I know I already talked Where's about this on stream. Can I talk about how fucking terrible Stephen Asark was in that call? Holy shit, dude. I didn't listen. When he came Asark in, I, I, got yeah. in and he's like, So, Deaf Noodles, this is my voice. Because I wear fucking Pikachu outfits when I talk about victims of abuse who didn't want to be in the documentary. Um, so, I, I've, I've been in the comedy circuit and I wasn't very successful. I know, shocker. You can tell by my hilarious voice. Uh, that I, that I was really good in the comedy circuit. Anyways, Deaf Noodles, Deaf Noodles, um, you, you didn't open comedy shows. You just took part in them and got paid for it. Would you even call yourself a comedian? Uh, you're just a guy who, who got on stage and did comedy. I mean, I, I feel like you're, you're stolen valor of fucking comedy. 
Yeah, dude, literally, please, Nobody please cares. quit. Please quit. I don't care how many shitty fucking sites hire you. This guy got a job at Insider.com, bro. They suck. Don't fucking fuck with Insider.com anymore. They're like losers. Um, holy shit, bro. This guy grifted off of fucking victim stories who didn't want their story told about Onision on fucking television. And he's just like, all right, I'm signing them to my label. <laughs> Let's get him in there. <laughs> Asar just sucks so much balls. Uh, and again, I, I don't know if Xylee's watching. I'm talking shit. Yeah, everybody who sucked in that call, I'm talking shit. I don't care. Because uh, I feel like I was the only respectable person and I didn't get to finish. Um, at least from our community. Xylee was in there just like screaming at him. So like, I'm sure it sounded really oh good God. for the people who fucking hate Deaf Noodles and didn't care about conversation. But holy shit, dude, to any Deaf Noodle fan watching, you sounded fucking deranged. That was the only time I was on the that fan of like the bleeding. dick suckers who were like fucking defending the whole time. Xylee was just like fucking screaming at him, my dude. Yeah, like, I don't know, like he murdered her like child or some shit. Like, Bro, Dude, and all this like Def Noodles is just a clown. Like, why are you so mad? <laughs> it triggers me because this whole fight me IRL shit isn't even fight me IRL. It's fucking slap fight me IRL. You better go to a fucking bar in New York and and, and show me how comedy you are. We're gonna stream it live from the chairs, and then you're gonna have to um you're gonna roast me. It's gonna be like the whitest version of fucking um of uh, Wild and Out that you've ever seen. It's gonna be fucking insane. Everyone's gonna hate it. Uh, just come on down to my roasting hour. Uh, and then we can have a roast battle on stream. Your mom's so fat that I wish I jumped. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But Nick, Def Noodles has barely any fans left. Fucking true. We're in like unison of hating him. Yeah. It, it's crazy how many people have come together just to shit on Deaf Noodles over the past couple days. It's been hilarious. Like, the entire community. Yeah. I have to see who fucking followed me after this, because I got a bunch of followers during that stupid thing just because my name was high on the list. And I'm wondering if it's any of those fucking moderators. I'm going to block their asses right away. Did you hear the, the moderator be like, Oh, um, I literally... Uh, got blocked by Keemstar, and I've, like, never, ever said anything bad. I don't know why he did that. And I'm just sitting here, like... Okay, sorry, oh, I'm back. Sorry, I was just insulting women. Um, how are you? <laughs> I'm okay. Um, um, sure, so, I mean, I guess you didn't really enjoy... My, I mean, I doubt you've even heard it, but I guess you didn't enjoy my post-debate coverage. Oh, did you? Yes. What was it on Twitter? Uh, no, here. I'm still live. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw like one thing. I, I, I thought you guys were talking about me. So like, yeah, I want. I figured I'd pop it. Yeah, I absolutely no, was. Um, no bad, no bad blood, of course. No bad blood. Well, no, I'm, burning no bridge, I'm burning the bridge. I'm burning the bridge. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. Give me the bridge burn. No, it's bridge burn. dude. Right. You totally cocked me so hard tonight. Holy shit, bro! What the fuck? What do you mean, dude? I waited what? like three hours to get in this fucking phone call and then it calls about me yes yes and i was winning and then you come in oh, and then Lord. you're just like can you hear me can you hear me well, you said you so weren't gonna go on i tweeted about it i took a shit and then i was gonna go on if you had said papa gut i am currently battling death noodles one-on-one -on -one, i would have stepped Dude, out i didn't realize that you, is, i didn't wait you know, i i debated him on something and he didn't even change it because i know that i know you weren't listening so that's why i'm like kind of sympathetic to this because i know you weren't listening because he did he put you in the same trap he tried to put me in and if you watched <laughs> me do it you would have evaded it when he's like when he was trying to get you say it was funny like that kids get raped or something um, yeah, yeah, he, no. He did the I, same I know. shit to me, and I like I was like, dude, this is so easy. What the fuck? And I just finished my debate with him. Holy shit! I'm sorry, Nick. I didn't mean to cut you. <laughs> I just I, I was I was I was out all night with my beautiful wife. We went swimming. We went out to eat. We came home. I took a dump, and I said, okay, I'm gonna try to load this up and get this going with this Twitter Spaces thing. So then I came on. And I cut, dude, so, so my biggest issue with your conversation, because I'm going to continue. Sure. Uh, my biggest issue with your yeah. conversation is you won the first one so decisively because Dennis was such a piece of shit to you. You didn't really okay. have to say much. Everything he said was the reason why you looked so good in that conversation. He was like losing okay. his fucking mind. In this one, you came in harder 
and you got to say your yes. points that you actually wanted, but it looked the opposite way. Like, that's my issue. Why? Because, like, what was that? Dennis, have you ever loved anyone before? What the fuck was that? Okay, so this, I, I fucking knew it's going to be... Listen, okay? Was that, like, the biggest one for you? No, no. The Dennis, I, have you loved... I don't know why we because, got so be... bogged down on stupid shit. Like, the... Because Dennis wanted to keep moving away from the point that I was making because he knew it was going to make him look bad. And this is something he did in the first conversation. So I held him to a point. The, the, the question that like he desperately tried to say that like he thinks the joke is still okay. I think he still does think. And like you do you. But like he knows that like if you said that you don't really engage in the way he, Dennis pretends to care about everybody and everything. Yeah, sure. I 100% oh, agree I can, with you. He, right? His joke literally that he claims is a joke says that you were quote unquote joking about fucking a child. So if that's yeah. a joke to him, then he's joking about you fucking a child. Uh, I see what you're saying. So like, yeah, obviously. like, I, it, Either way, it's an appeal to emotion, right? So that was the whole thing with Dennis. The idea is that he doesn't seem to give a shit about like where the the situation came from so i was asking him that question because he was downplaying it as much as possible so i was trying to get people and maybe they won't align with you but people that watch me yeah the ethan are klein people more... are probably stoked as fuck how that debate went i'm not even i'm not even lying people are the what? ethan klein well, people no, I mean, probably the... love you after that convo i'm not like saying that well, i'm not I know what you mean like i though that's what i mean though like i share more of an audience with like ethan klein than i do with you guys you guys you guys are good guys you guys are a little edgier than <laughs> than me <laughs> Right, I wasn't trying to get Ethan Klein's audience, but like that's probably the people that would identify with me more. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little more, I'm a little less edgy. I am a little edgy, but I'm not like you know. So obviously, that I'm trying to communicate my thing to people. Some people aren't going to identify with it, and that's okay. But like that was a very necessary thing because he was trying desperately to walk off this conversation. That was like a very real point, and he wanted to uh, die. Yeah, my issue is that there was just so um, many appeals to emotion when there were so many facts you could have fucked him on. That's my problem. There was so much emotion, emotion, emotion. I think emotion, I got, I think I got him on. Uh, well, the, but the appeals to emotion were a conversation about a fact, right, and a way that he interprets. So if this for somebody that pretends to care about like assault survivors, um, this would make this is shows uh, this shows like a cognitive dissonance. It shows that like, he has no moral center when it comes to joking about these things. Sure, so, but, like, why did we get yeah. stuck for, like... Because it took me... I, I, I was watching the clock. I'm, like, I was screaming at my chat. I'm, like, when are we going to talk about the pedophile allegation? It was, like, 30 minutes of talking. Because we spent, like, a shitload of time well, about, that's where like, he wanted to start. No, I understand that. But, like, we, we got bogged down on whether, like, he made your channel. Like, that. there was no reason why anything in that conversation <laughs> needed to go on as long as it so, did. Because he was just talking you so, in a circle. Sure, that's just talking to Dennis, right? He, this is the thing. He wanted to start at the beginning. I'm totally fine with that. <clears throat> so we started at the beginning, and every time he lies and has a poor framing of a thing, I press him on That's it, the problem. Yeah, right? so you I press him on every little thing, and it fucked yes, the whole because, conversation. Because he I don't think it fucked the conversation. De Dennis is, is he what he likes to do is he likes to pretend that he has like a point. He You will start with a very basic point, a question, and he evades it. So that he can look more virtuous, right? So I'm calling him on a shit. That's what he did yes, in the first debate. It becomes a jumbled mess. I get that, I get mess. that, but that's what you do in a post debate where you point that out. If you do it in no, the moment, like you literally debate. loop, loop, loop the whole fucking time because he's sure. getting, and then that's all it was. That's why I was getting so frustrated because he's like, I, I, I can't can believe understand Death what's Noodle squealed out going like, Nick, can you help me? This guy hates me. Well, that, was <laughs> that was funny, but that's the thing. That's why I knew this fucking Twitter space thing was going to be annoying as shit because he he was playing a game where he gets to try to appeal to the audience. Audience. Papa that's a mean guy, all this other bullshit. He's calling on you because the reason he's calling on you isn't because he likes you no, or not he at thinks all, that yeah. you, like he it's because it makes him look like he is somebody that's reasonable to say, Nick, can you help me? See, we agree and you don't like me, so that must mean I'm right. That's every single game that Dennis was playing the entire time. And by the end of the conversation, last time he was screaming the entire time like a big boy, this time he was quivering. Because Dennis is like a weak person. He's a weak man, and he likes to try to bully people he thinks are weaker. That's why the first time, he's sitting here playing, I'm a bigger content creator, I can say whatever I want, and then he loses that. And then it happens again, but this time I don't let him get away with saying whatever he sure. wants, and then all of a sudden, he's not screaming anymore. So what happens though, when to... you start to do this and you pull him on every single like string that he gives you, is that you end up, you, you loop back and around and around and around, and somewhere along the yeah, okay. way, the fucking conversation gets lost. When I was, sure, when I was but that's his him, fault. Yeah, it is his fault, but the viewer no. doesn't see it as his fault. They see it as these are two idiots fighting. I disagree with that. You, you don't think that that's <coughs> how people are going to walk away from that when, when you guys are like just saying the same thing over and over again? I think that some people could interpret it as that, for sure. Um, but I think a lot of people listen to that 
and saw what I said. Like when he would say a wrong thing, I would say what you're saying is wrong, and he'd be like, "Well, he would have a meltdown." I know it's going to loop, but I'm calling you out on like a wrong thing. You're having a wrong framing of a thing intentionally. It's the only thing I can assume. So, like, yeah, some people might say that it might be looping. I get that, and that's I think that you guys might look at it more from as a debate perspective. But yes. I'm looking at it more as like a conversation so perspective. My approach to it was I went in there with uh, two topics I wanted to talk about, and I wanted to get to them in any way, shape, yeah. or form I can do that. So I edged the conversation to get to what I needed to get to, and then I waited for his response. I realized it was terrible, and then I fought him on it for like a second longer and said, "Okay, I got what I needed. You look like an idiot." I guess we could agree to disagree there, move on to the next point. And then this okay. gets to every single topic. Like, the real shit with you and Def Noodles is that he literally implied that you're a pedophile. Um, I, I, I don't yeah, really, sure. I, I don't think the long standing conversation on whether uh, he, he thinks he made your channel, which, I mean, we all know that he didn't make your fucking channel, really contributes to. Well, let me ask you a real question. Do you think that I was, like, offended by the suggestion that he made my channel? Uh, not in a meaningful way. Maybe like a, what the it, fuck it, it is this guy more, talking about kind of thing? Well, it was more of like, okay, so like what it was to me was like, it's very clear that he implied that he like created my channel and blew me up. That doesn't bother me that he thinks that, but he's desperately trying to reframe it as if like he was just making a silly uh, comment when he knows that in this sphere, that's a call out to somebody, right? And so like, that's why I'm pushing on the point. It's not because I'm offended by the point. I don't give a fuck about that. It's because I know that I can lock him and make him look very yeah, but dishonest. The problem is he was out here telling people all fucking day long. I don't have any problem with Papa Gut. I don't have any problem with Papa Gut. I have no yeah, okay. It would be weird if I held a grudge against Papa Gut. And then when people asked him why he was mad at you, his response was, oh, uh, Papa Gut made 21 videos on me. He talks about me constantly on Twitter. Uh, he'll, he tweeted about me five times in one day. And you know what? Finally, I had enough and I responded. And my my response was to joke about him being a pedophile and then it's like well wait hold on just a second mm -hmm. dennis you've just explained as to why you did that it wasn't because you had a really funny joke you wanted to tell it's because you got mad and spitefully called the guy who was accused of being a pedophile a pedophile because he made 20 videos on you when you make 100 keemstar videos a year yes like, <laughs> but like that's true yeah that's like uh, well, listen 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 i'm sure that there are some really great points I mean, you just proved it that you would have brought up to get him in that sense and, but then, of course, there's points that you probably wouldn't have made that I'm going to make as well, right? So, like, yeah, I get what you're saying. There's definitely things I could have pushed him on. And then if you didn't have the conversation, if I wasn't there, there's probably things I would have said to you that you sure. should have pushed or could have. But also, like, I'm the primary focus and debt. Like, my, myself and Death News are the primary focus. So I'm coming in with, like, a different thing. I could have done better, I guess, tactics. But I wasn't thinking of it that deep. Yeah, I like, guess I, I just fundamentally disagree you know? with, like, the back and forth of, like... I get what you're saying. I, again, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna be as flagrantly fucking rude about it when I'm talking to you, but like this 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 constantly of bringing up your wife was just like driving a stake yeah, through my skull. I I did want to talk about that because I I did you did say something about like oppression Olympics basically. Yes. I do want to talk about that. I I don't think that you mean like anything negatively by that, and I don't want to talk too much no, about the specifics of my wife. No, it went from like, like an a, argument that you guys were having to like, no, I care about victims more. No, I care no, about but, victims no, but, more. No, but, no, but this is the thing: is that I I think that like maybe that's how you guys are interpreting it. Yeah. That's not. I don't think that that's how a lot of like my audience or myself is interpreting it. It's the the, the, rea the thing is is that I'm trying to say like, listen, you made this joke about this thing, and this thing has a negative impact on like survivors right and like i do make a lot of content about that kind of shit like i talk about like, a lot about like rape culture and like uh, sexual assault survivors and so dennis also will occasionally drop a video where he pretends to care about these topics as well right so now we're in more of like an ideological space where like this is about like how can you pretend to care about particular social topics when you're literally joking but how about do you, rape, but why does he pretend right? to care about those social topics how do you know he doesn't actually care about them um, well, for the first and foremost, I don't think that, we could, well, okay, first, at the first point, okay, um, is our original conversation. I tried to have a new um, about, like, racism when it came to that situation, as well as, like, uh, weaponizing sexual assault, et cetera, et cetera, to try to deplatform somebody. And then he doesn't care. He just wanted to move on from it. It was obviously just honest conversation. We move forward to the whole like, thing with, like, Tumed and the Belle Delphine, uh, removing agency from Tumed and boiling him down to his identity uh, because uh, and him being manipulated by Belle Delphine in some capacity. Sure, so the, but you have joking, to know you I, walked really hard into, like, a big fucking, like, trap that he put you in right like so so what, you what said so you said like i have never done that to a victim like i've never openly uh i forgot what was the wording on that do you remember bow blacks i have uh or if he's even here or if 
I don't think I know what you're referring to. That's I don't think that that's a trap. Like, no, no, no I don't think have, he was on no. purpose. But then you immediately followed it up with, except for that one time when I was wrong. Oh, it wasn't the, but that wasn't the tone, right? So what I had said, he, he's like, "Did you ever do this?" And I was like, "No, I didn't." And then I remembered, "Oh, actually, yeah, I did." Yeah, that was so bad. I, right? No, no, no. I I don't think it was that bad. Because then it gets into a conversation about, okay, what's the difference between this and that? Well, in my situation, I very quickly realized that I fucked up, and I very quickly apologized. In this situation, he's continuously doubling down well, Yeah, I on agree the with joke. you on that, but uh, he gets to he, paint you if, as a liar. On, if he, but if he thinks that what I did was bad, then that means what he did has to be bad if he's going to be morally consistent. Right. So him saying what I did was wrong, but what he's doing is OK, shows a level of cognitive dissonance. And that's the angle that I'm working from there. Sure. And I, even later, I reinforced that he could genuinely apologize if he wanted to. And like, I get that. But he was dancing around it. I'm sorry that uh, we have, you know, different people have different lines for jokes. And I'm sorry you are offended by that. Yeah. Right. So he was he was sh he was exposing like his moral focus was being exposed. And like. I, I guess we just have like a we, we operate like a little bit differently and it's not, not in a bad way right maybe I appeal more to somebody's moral foundation and you appeal more to like logic mm -hmm. at least if that makes sense I don't think it's wrong if we did the same thing in the conversation then one of us is unnecessary right yeah I understand that it's just I, I, I yeah I, I just struggled with that one because it felt like we, you you kind of stumbled right into that really hard and then because he wasn't I, trying to say because I understand what you're saying now it's like well if he admits that then that means he thinks that he, what he's doing is bad but that gave him yeah. such an easy in to say like oh Papa got a hypocrite look at this he's oh my god he's literally yeah, weaseling right now see can you believe that he just weaseled like this right and then he keeps talking and then I and that's when I talk over him because I know he's playing a disingenuous game right so like I understand where you're coming from there's some people that could view that as the way you're viewing it which makes perfect sense mm -hmm. um but after this, I think that at the very least, because I'm, when you say, like, you could have got him on this, that, and that, I'm saying, yeah, you're probably right. And then, like, obviously, my my way of, like, coming about the conversation was different, but I think you're at least understanding where I'm yeah, coming I from am. and the way that, like, I'm operating, right? So that's really what it boils down to, is just, like, a difference in, I guess, it's not even a tactic, because I wasn't going in with a tactic. I was like, what does this motherfucker want to talk about? Because I know he's going to give me some bullshit fucking nonsense. He could, If he had played that, he was like, you know what, here's where I fucked up, blah, 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 I wouldn't have had nothing, bro. And I would have been like, okay. And I would have just been, that was it in it. We would have been done. <laughs> but yeah, but he if didn't. Death Noodles he tried to was capable on of everything. doing that, this conversation would have ended a year ago. Because he's he's still looping, oh. by the way. When I said that, like, you guys were looping, he's been looping on this nobody understands me. I'm actually, like, a fucking amazing satirist kind of man. Bro, you're so, you're so terminally online, bro. It's insane. What? You're, how long were you in there? What do you mean? You're, you were in there for, like, okay, weren't you so, in there for, like, so, 10 hours? No, or no, 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 no. So this thing <laughs> went live when I was, like, about to go out to dinner. So I left my phone home, um, and I started recording, and I recorded about four hours worth of it. <laughs> so when I got home, I started listening to this, and I heard Xylee is real, like, scream. Uh, and I was like, that's not good. Then I heard Cat Ten Barge not really get anywhere. She did all right. Uh, I didn't 100% agree with Adam McIntyre's point. And then I heard Stephen A. Sarch walk in, and his fucking response was, Deaf Noodles, I've gone to comedy clubs. Have you gone to comedy clubs? I've gone to the same comedy clubs you have. And I know that you're not a real comedian. or some, It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Hey, listen, Deaf Noodles will take that personally, though. So that guy, I think, was just trying to upset that. <laughs> it was just so... No, because... No, I, 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 I don't stupid. necessarily think... I don't mm. necessarily think that he was trying to upset Deaf. I think that the point that he was trying to make was that just because you run in those circles doesn't mean you're that thing. Um, yeah, but he was acting like it was stolen uh, valor, uh, Paige. <laughs> yeah, because like, well, I understood what he was trying to get at, but I think Deaf Noodles was already going in with the intention that anybody who's against me, I've got to try and make them look stupid and look hypocritical. So then he went with the rhetoric, well, just because I'm not super duper established, like, you know, Bill Burr, doesn't make me any less of a comedian. Mm -hmm. And then one of his cronies came in and said something along the lines of, I call myself a YouTuber, but I've only got 6,000 subscribers. And it's just kind of like, yeah, well, you know, I, I, I used to sing for a living for a short while. I don't call myself myself a fucking singer do you get what i mean yeah. like you 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 call your thing by your profession the thing it is that you do the most and right now he's a youtuber a terrible one at that jesus the, 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 i see what he should have let you in hey Paige, Paige, that where did really you should have let you me get in the name because... for your new video out of curiosity where did the uh, iceberg idea come from oh i don't know i think i may have seen a video by some guy called diorio and i thought it was a really good idea so i thought i'd do it wow. i've heard your video is good this. i'm gonna watch dennis it. Is, is merging the commentary and the drama oh, communities Paige has been good with us for a while um that yeah I see the Oh, well, then Dennis doesn't get that win. The days are long Sorry. over of Augie getting mad at me for sending her a donation. 
Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a moment. <laughs> um but what I wanted to say was like um for me personally, the whole like I'm a comedian thing, like, oh, if it had let me in that chat, I would have railed him on that one because I, I'm a comedy major, like that's why I actually studied in uni i've done the circuits i've done well. yeah so like so, so like what i i could have really had a proper conversation yeah, yeah. with him as a ex-art major to be able to discuss you know okay when we're talking about the setup and how you make a joke and how you construct it you know there's got to be a punchline you've got the rule of threes all this kind of stuff and he then we'd be able to have a proper conversation about the facts actually it wasn't a good constructed joke so at the very least it was just a terrible terrible joke sure but yeah the punchline was the person that you, you are but like here's the issue it sounds like when people go like you're not a real youtuber you don't have enough subs or something and that argument like i hate when people say that about small youtubers just discredit whatever they have to say um and that, that's the first thing that came to my mind i mean if he's doing this professionally uh and he's getting paid for gigs i, I think comedian is like a fair name um i think that but pages uh, uh, yeah, argument but was more getting, like He's oh, getting sorry, paid. Ahead. Sorry, he's getting paid for writing. Yeah. So writing comedy is a slightly different from getting paid to do actual shows. So that means he was still probably just going to your average open mic nights and mm -hmm. maybe hosting a few events and stuff. But he wasn't getting paid for that actual craft. Sure. So yes. he's a comedic writer at best. And even even still, whether he's a comedian or not, it doesn't excuse just being a dickhead and saying it's just a joke, bro. Yeah, That's and what he's literal constantly incels comparing do. himself to Stephen Colbert, and it's infuriating. Oh, how incredible. you could like do a drinking game of how many times he like appeals to a either a dead comedian or Stephen Colbert, one of his heroes. Um, well, that's cool. But like, if you, if, like, I love Jon Stewart. Like, that's somebody that I wish I was. I don't compare myself to them. Uh, I think he's very funny. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's very, I think he's very funny. He's very intelligent. I think he cares about what he talks about. I respect the hell of that guy. I would never be like, I'm just like, uh, I'm just like John Stewart. I would like to be in my own way, sure. but I think Dennis thinks that he is with Keith Stephen Colbert. And he uses that as a, I think that Dennis operates in a way where he looks at a particular content creator and he, he absorbs what he thinks made that person successful rather than trying to like do, um, something that like makes him stand out. It's like, if you watch somebody and they are, when they constantly yell they're in an argument and they're yelling and it's like i like that guy he yells a lot and he's a good content creator so i'm gonna yell a lot but that's not really what it makes them popular that's what you're trying to imitate but something else makes him popular and that's just part of like the bit a little bit i don't know if that makes yeah. sense but i he's i think that he's imitating people that he looks up to without having a real understanding of what made them popular in the first place and stephen colbert at the end of the day whether you like him or not he seems like a pretty genuine guy he's a smart guy and that's unfortunately not something that def has decided to engage in mm -hmm. i don't know if you saw so. any part of the conversation i had with him but did you hear that he's been constantly appealing to this vulture article like this uh because he did like yeah, that I, interview I, back then I, I heard I heard him talk about the article in the conversation that I had with him, and then I saw the tweet, yeah. Yeah, so the issue with the Vulture article, because I know nobody's actually listened to the podcast he filmed, except for... I'm the only one. Nobody else has listened to oh, it. Oh, Jesus. I told you, Terminally Alone. Um, and in the podcast, I mean, there's a direct quote from the guy. He said that not only did he not understand when Dennis was joking, his entire staff thought he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear that a little bit when I came in. I did hear that a little bit. <laughs> so he's been appealing to this article of somebody who disagrees with him the entire time, and it's the stupidest shit I ever heard. And I know that he just banked on the fact that nobody was going to listen to this comedy podcast, but it's so well, important because he's the big comedy guy, right? He's like, this is my big comedy podcast, and they agree with me, but not even they well, do. Do you think that he actually thinks that he looks good in that podcast um Be i feel like people think that he's like oh he's just lying i do think he's a liar but part of me is starting to think he is gaslit himself into thinking that he's right well, i think he's insane yeah. there's no way that he could be doing this there's no fucking way that he couldn't have learned a single thing from uh de like december when he got when he debated john swan uh in 2020 to like all the way through April before my video, then through my video, which stagnated his fucking channel's growth for months, before he finally got, like, the H3H3 push, and then whatever he's done now, which has, like, destroyed his channel. Did you hear he was trying to categorize the growth that he lost from you to being, like, he's watching more Ben Shapiro on his YouTube channel? What does that mean? Like, he's saying that I'm losing subs now because I'm trying to transition my content. 
Into what? Like, he's now doing more political-based content, and his audience doesn't oh. like it. Oh, 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 uh, He eventually so, said that he did lose some subs from this drama, but he was arguing that, like, the reason why, even though all these comments say that they're leaving because of the drama, it's that, like, he's trying to transition out of this community. I think, when I look... Okay, so this is what I actually think. Um, I think a factor is our conversation from, like, February. That's put him on, like, a little bit of a bad path. I think he lost a lot of credibility, and yeah. nobody's going to listen to him on this stuff. I also think that we've shifted a bit more politically just in our landscape. And so it's kind of easy to lean into that a little bit, but people still don't necessarily want to hear it from a drama person. Because, like, I, I used to talk about a lot of politics, and then I kind of transitioned a little bit more into, like, drama a little bit. Then I would do some political videos, and I still do here and there. People don't really receive them, like, well, which is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that might be part of it, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but there's always there's multiple factors like yeah I think it might be part of it he also changed his entire setup and everybody fucking hates it apparently all of his audience like fucking hates yeah, it yeah he was saying like so, people are mad that I'm reading from a teleprompter <laughs> I mean he always was no I, <laughs> yeah he's got a really robotic tone yeah, to him I don't him, know the core reason <laughs> I don't think it all boy all this hate boils down to a teleprompter I don't know yeah. about that one no I think it's like people don't want to ride or die for Dennis anymore I mean look at his social blade he's... wasn't his fucking YouTube channel losses all in the last three days you're saying that all the people well, who yeah, had an true. issue with fucking the Ben Shapiro reactions only chose to unsubscribe after the Papa got drama Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, dude, I don't even know why he fucking came after me, honestly. I still genuinely don't understand why Def decided to come after me. He went after you, and he picked a fight with me in the same week. Because he was Because he kept calling me the Michelin Man, and that I'm soft. Oh, was that you? Yeah, because he said I, that, that I he, saw he, he said Diorio, the Michelin Man, in one uh, tweet. I, I saw, like, one of them. And it was just like uh, the, the Michelin man's uh, basically fat, obviously, and he's an incel, and he kept calling me an incel. So I'm like, is this guy just calling me fat? Like I was confused. Okay, so it was about you. Yeah, all right. Well, but he you know. said that, and he goes, he's soft, and I'm like, you've tweeted this four times, and nobody's told you the Michelin man is made out of tires. Like, this is actually the craziest thing ever. He doesn't know that the Michelin man is a fucking tire. He can't be soft. Well, that's insane to me. Well, the Michelin oh, man is true. a comedian, <laughs> so he hasn't studied him. Yeah, the Michelin man that's wasn't true, a comedian. Yeah. If it was Stephen Colbert, he would have had all his shit. <laughs> yeah, true. I, true. I watched the first debate that you did with him, and in that conversation, it sounded like um, he was agreeing. Like, no, you were arguing that it was bad to joke about pedophilia and rape. And his argument yeah. was, one of the funniest jokes I know was somebody talking about getting molested. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't care. And, like, again, the framing of my joke, obviously, I think it's, you know, gross. I think some people are, it's, it's a gross joke. But you understand that the context is like, yeah, I'm just calling out somebody who's an alleged predator. Versus, I, I don't understand. And he knows this. We've talked about this, like, seven fucking times. Yeah. I mean, he asked so, me the same question. Do you think child rape is funny? I go, it depends on the no. context. Maybe the joke yeah, is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I personally do not agree with you that. You should have heard his fucking you... voice. Like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, dude. You I was like, yeah, dude, it could totally be. You know what? It's funny. When you said that Papa Gut raped a child, I thought that was hilarious. You look like an idiot. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, uh, I think Keemstar wants to get into this conversation. Sure, yeah. bring him in. I don't know how he's trying to like be like. Do you think uh, pedo jokes are funny? Huh? Yeah. When he literally made a pedo joke about Papa Gut. That's the whole discussion. Yeah, like, what? I don't have Keem Boblax. Can you add him? Oh, he's here. He's yeah, he's, he's in here. here. He's in he's here. here. He's in Hello. Can you Is hear me? Is your mic working? What's up, yeah. Keem? I'm just testing my yeah, mic. Hello. Fuck you, dude. Hello. I'm gonna have Hello. I'm gonna have trauma from this. Fuck you, dude. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Just testing my mic. I'm here to talk to Papa Gut. I Shut know. Up, peanut gallery. Shut up, peanut gallery. I'm here to just talk to Papa Gut. Okay, what's up, Team Star? I'd like to have a conversation with Papa Gut and not hear sure. from these laughters in the background. Thank you very much. They're going to laugh because I know what no, you're going to say. No, this is what you did to me on the fucking stream. He's making fun of you. First of all, all right, I have a couple things that I would like to say. One, all right. I support Papa Gut's wife. I even tweeted it out. Oh I am a good person. Well, I don't. Just to be honest with you, I don't I think my wife wants. Person. I don't think my wife wants anything that's going to draw towards her in this situation because she hates all of this so much. Papa Gut's wife is a champion of champions. <laughs> we support her. Jesus Christ! All oh right. my God! Keep saying. <laughs> she's gonna be. She's gonna there. fucking hate you for this. She doesn't want to be no, part of any of this. The worst part about this is that in the Twitter space when Xylee was talking, you know that like really loud chick. Uh, someone said that was Papa Gut's wife. So people might. Wait, people really thought it was Papa Gut's wife. Just screaming. 
streaming for him. Can I get a one in the chat if you support Papa Jeez. Gut's life? Can we talk Come about on. Death look, Noodle's co-host who said that? All right, oh, what, what's the what's the second point, Keemstar, that you wanted to make in here? The second okay. point is I've been trying to contact you privately for like two days. What yes. the? F why are you ignoring me, you well, son of a bitch? I will tell you. First of all, my wife unironically tells you to shut the fuck up. Okay, she doesn't like the attention being drawn to her. All right? I'm just letting you know that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Second of all, the reason Keemstar is because that situation where I had my upsetting, frustrating point on stream, as ridiculous as you guys might think. The recollection of that moment did fuck me up a little bit, and I kind of went dark for everybody. Yeah, but that's that's why that's why you have private conversations. I, I, but no, 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 but I didn't want to talk to anybody about anything. I okay. shadow my wife, and then the first thing you say to me is, "I'm really upset because you said what did you say? You said like your your first message wasn't like, hey, how are you doing? It was like, hey, um, I'm upset. You didn't. You, didn't. <laughs> you yeah, told I me know. that you, you're I like know, know. we have a major. I this, I'm gonna. Can I read it out or no? No, no, don't rate okay, it out because okay, of the okay. law. Because of the lawsuit, I, I wouldn't. Okay. It, yeah. But yeah, yeah, but like you were like very you focused there, and I was like, <laughs> but I was like, fuck this guy. Well, I'm not even gonna. That's I, game. So you know, and then I was like, I, I was like, I'm never talking to this guy again. And then I was like, but I know I'm gonna talk to him in like three days, because I know that this is how this fucking works. It's the two of us will okay. have a problem, and then three days later we'll talk about it. So I figured, and here we are, three fucking days later. So that's why I fucking ignored you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I, you understand my point in the text, right? But yeah, like I, the, the, that was just the opening statement. Like, fuck you, Papa Gut. You're fucking up well, again. But they didn't work. Okay. We have, we have a million other things to talk about. But um, what do you, you know, I seen you like uh, not really being fair in the debate and just steamrolling the, the ever living shit out of him. Okay. But the point that you made that, look, this is how I need to talk to you. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm your daddy and shit. It was kind of alpha. I, I did enjoy that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't say that to be alpha. Like, I, I just so you guys know. Dennis tried. I mean, you were talking about a little bit, but Dennis attempted to steamroll me in the first. But he did successfully in the first conversation. And I wasn't letting him get away with his lies. That's what it boiled down. Why do you call him? Why do you call him Dennis? Because he like his. My wife asked argue, me the same thing. His whole argument um, during that whole Twitter space is the way I interpret it, and other people can give their opinions as well. Yeah. Was that he was trying to separate, uh, you know, himself, Dennis, the government name, from the character that he's created online. That these are <clears throat> two people. Yeah, well, that's a dishonest tactic. So why do I call him Dennis though? I don't know. I don't want to call him Deaf Noodles. Because it sounds like a nickname that's fun and exciting. It's like, oh, he Deaf Noodles. Oh, Kimi. You know, like, I, 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 I called him Dennis. I directed him by his like real name. This is a serious topic. I call him. De I don't want to call him Deaf Noodles. It's so weird. What did you think of his argument that he's like, you know, a cat living in a Minecraft house and he's a comedian? And well, if you look I, at his bio, like, is what, that you, what he said? What, yeah. That's what he said the entire time. I was like listening in periodically, and that's I didn't hear those necessary. No, that's his lore. Bro, that's he, all the shit he's been doing for yeah, a while. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's obviously just dishonest, bro. Yeah, it's dishonest, bro. I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, like, it's unfortunate because the, listen, there's one thing that we know for a fact. Mm -hmm. Out of everybody here, I'm the only one that was going to be that would have been uh, would potentially have been this motherfucker's friend before last week. You're the only one. I don't know why I. I didn't. I try to warn you. I was like, "Look, dude." I got to, exp I got to experience for myself. I needed to experience dude, it. For you know what? Myself. Fuck it. I side with I his co-host. Everybody except for Nick tried to be like friends yeah, with Death Noodles at one start. point, but like yeah. he's just insane. But dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. His co-host brought up a really good point. I don't care about your What's white that? tears, Papa Gut. Okay. Your your fucking oh, said that his yeah, co-host said yeah, that your his, fucking white tears yeah, don't matter. Said, like I don't care what? about Papa Gut's white tears. If what? he was black, I would care. <laughs> the That's what he said unironically. <laughs> what? When the conversation was, was, it was it there? was like near the beginning, like yeah. the first hour. Like, <laughs> I didn't even hear that. that. Said, he said I don't care about your white tears, bro. Who the guy? The guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. Oh, Bro, God. listen to this. Listen to this. You have Deaf Noodles, which uh, I, I'm not sure his uh, race, but he's definitely not black. And then you have uh, Papa Gut, who's definitely not black. And in the middle of this debate, talking about you two, 
someone brings up Black Lives Matter and they started talking. I'm like, what the hell? What just happened? Yeah, yeah. It was his black co-host who was like, yeah, it, he's he's doing white tears and shit like that. He made it about race out of nowhere. Yeah. So really, quick, just, really, really, really quick, really uh, quick. Keith, I texted you. Just if you could read the text, I appreciate it. Damn, you um, guys are on a phone number basis. Oh my god, really? Yes, really, please. I I am a man to man asking you, pretty. Please. I know what you wrote him. Right. I know Bye. exactly what you I, wrote him. Yeah, thank you. Full, think, pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I do appreciate it. You know, I I know that it's part of the business, but my wife likes to say private as much as possible. Okay, um, well, here's my tactic, right? Like, when one of my enemies is, like, you know, in a fight or whatever, I got to pander to the other guy's oh audience. God. So, okay. you know, I'm just, I'm doing my best to pander to this audience in the chat. What in the Thank chat, you. if my pandering's working, I just want to know if it's working. If people I like think me. it didn't work. I think it had the opposite uh, effect. I know. see some ones. They're com the ones are coming. Are you in. on my chat in. or his chat? Because my chat's all ones, but I don't know about his chat. Well, yeah, my chat is a little bit mixed because they're obviously a little different, and they <laughs> they're they, a little different. Know. What does that mean? They're a little, they're, they're they're a little special. They're a little, they're a little different. Uh, well, you can't say the R word yeah, anymore. So who yeah, said I, that? That one guy that Dennis does the podcast with said I, about my white tears. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah, get we'll tears. get. We'll, just one one quick thing, Paige. Just so you know, Papa Guts chat is saying I am invited to the cookout. Go ahead. Okay, very good, very good. Well, my wife oh, said yeah. uh, you're a fucking dickhead, so. Um, you want invited to the cookout. What is the cookout? <laughs> so wait, this guy. What he was saying about my white tears. I mean, I think that's funny. But what was he saying about that my white it. tears? That was it. Like I don't care about his white tears or whatever. Yeah, he's oh, like, okay. yeah. Uh, okay. but it, yeah. I mean, I don't have to tell you, man. If if you the only way that you care about somebody's shit going on is if they are white or black and that's just kind of racist don't you think yeah it's a little weird Do you know what i really can't understand is like how many times over the past couple of days he's been like atting that guy that spliff nation guy yeah, yeah. i'm like is this guy like it's encouraging him to like act like this that's his I'm, therapist. I'm just so confused yeah, well it seems like he's playing to have a black friend card that's how it comes off to me <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I, I wholeheartedly agree that it is. I've got a black friend wait, wait, card. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, Why? Papa guy, you can't make that point when you have your black friend here. Come on. I don't have Paige here because she's fucking black. I have Paige here because she's my actual <laughs> friend, and then we've like she just happens to be black. All right, like, I'm gonna be know, honest. I, I disavow what Keemstar, Keem just said, Paige. Keemstar. We're on good terms. Uh, that was fucked up. That was bad. Uh, I'm sorry, Paige. I really if don't I appreciate you, being denoted down to my race. I am so much more than that. It's true. I know you are. Intelligent. I know you are. I was just cracking a joke. Clearly, I know Come you're cracking God. a joke. I'm, I'm winding you up as well. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, so many of these creators have their like little friends to back them up. Like Def Noodles had that guy. Uh, Jake Lucky has Hunter. You know, Nerd oh City God. has a little. You devil. fucking said that I Hunter was... has Bo Blacks. Oh no. <laughs> okay. No, well, no, no. <laughs> I'm I'm actually known for something outside of talking to Nick. You know. Yeah, that's but... true. Just showing other people's Twitter. Right? I'm just. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fucking around, brother. <laughs> I've, yeah. I, I've, uh, I've, um, I've stolen your content many times, so. Yo, I wonder oh, yeah. if I put comedian in my bio, I can just go off on my That's what I asked Dennis, and he, <laughs> and he wouldn't say anything. That's what he All kept he say saying. He's like, well, Keemstar says he's the number one news source. Therefore, when he makes an allegation, it's real. But when I fuck up three in a week because somebody put hashtag meme in their TikTok and I missed it, and I called somebody a pedophile, uh, that is no issue there. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, dude. God, I, I, I hate I hate bringing up this next point because I know you're going to jump on my throat. Oh, he's always bringing him up. But, like, I have oh to. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Okay. I wonder who's oh going to be mentioned. Fucking oh, fucking God, dude. That, that guy over on that podcast. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which one? AB, Jeff Wittick? Star Killer. A, a B. No. Uh, oh, Trisha? No, no Ethan. Oh, Ethan shit. I don't think the chat would have known, but I just want to make sure you said it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they figured it out. They figured it out. Yeah. Ethan forever has... Bunch has always been like it's kind of always been the same tactic like he always goes i'm a comedian i'm a comedian one point he said that like he can't get in trouble because he's a comedian i, I it was one of the lawsuits or some shit like that's always been his defense like he openly says that like well, i think like, that i do think that ethan for the most part is actually making jokes though well isn't deaf noodles making jokes too I don't think so. I, th I we I, actually talked well, about this before. Yeah, he's trying to make jokes. So there's not good ones. <laughs> like, right. well, uh, Paige was saying he doesn't do the he doesn't do the right setup. Paige is an actual studied comedian. 
He's, and he's not funny. I never thought he was funny, and I've always said publicly that he's not funny. But you, that's different than saying that he's not doing jokes, right? Well, it depends. Well, yeah. his jokes, it seems his to be, joke constructions are shit. It seems like whenever he the, fucks the, the up, they're jokes. Are never that. Whenever, but they're not jokes. It's just a way to deep to try to go after somebody and calling it a joke. Yeah, that's, he that, uses that's it as a shield for jokes. criticism. No. Maybe he's actually really trying, and he just sucks so bad, and it's we're kind of like bullying Nick, him. Can you turn your mic up? Uh, yeah, sure. Even Thanks, if brother. he was like making a decent joke construction, like there would be a punchline. But even on his show, it's like anecdotal quips. So it's like, well, I guess she never saw this, right? Ha ha ha! Run the laugh track. Do you get what I mean? Like that. There's no actual joke construction. Like you know, Alison Ray is so over hyped that you know everybody wants to fuck her. Alison Ray has been penetrated so many times that <laughs> you know what, what I mean. Like the, no, <laughs> Wait, that's, no, that's actually kind of funny. I'm sorry. It's like but what, what I'm <laughs> Hold up. Hey, we're on Twitch. We're on Twitch.tv. You can't say this. Come on. <laughs> what? Oh, Can I not Lord. say that? I don't think it's that bad. I do. I was going to say, I, think, I was just saying think, about think, penetration. Okay. But the point is, is that the joke construction isn't following any rules. There's no joke. So when he comes to the punchline, nobody ever actually laughs. Did yeah. you hear in the Twitter space that he said uh, he was thinking of changing it to a live studio audience so people could laugh in the background and he can pay people, people to laugh. I would just do a laugh track because that actually is a good way to prompt your audience yeah. to like. Laugh. No, he would never live that shit down if he played like the fucking Nickelodeon laugh track after every joke. No, well, you know what's bro. I know a sh I know I know a show that has a laugh track, but they use real people that they hire. What was that? I one? wonder what podcast that could be. I want to know what podcast <laughs> oh, here we go. What's interesting though is a lot of those laugh tracks were recorded in like the fifties, I think, and it's like all everybody you're hearing laughing is dead. Isn't that fucked up? Damn. Ooh, yeah, that is weird. They're dying of laughter. Dude. I always yeah. think about that. They really they're didn't find Mike and Josh all that funny. I was watching yeah. a movie with my girlfriend. We were watching Jaws. This is last summer, and um, the girlfriend before this one. And we're watching Jaws, and there was an old guy, and I'm like, who is that guy? Like, I remember him from some old other movie. And she goes, I don't know, he's dead now. This came out in 1970. Bro, I was in tears. Who said <laughs> that? The, my girlfriend. Oh, she okay, goes, okay. I don't know, he's dead now. <laughs> I was just dying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, she should. It was a good joke. It was a good joke. I like that. It was funny. It was funny. Oh, yeah. Look, if Def Noodle said that, I wouldn't have laughed either, to be fair. Oh, my God. It's like an anecdote. It was probably very funny in the moment. Yeah, you know? Yeah, it's a moment. You gotta be there, you know? You're good, Keeb. Keeb, don't worry. Keeb, you're good. You're fine. Guys, Oh, I didn't even realize until right now you guys didn't think that was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was kind of funny. It was fine. I thought it was hilarious. I would like only laugh, you know? Came having like social unawareness moment. Yeah, you know. I did. I did. I thought they were just whatever. Fuck you guys. She you guys are not for cool. Autism, bro. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Jesus Dude, she Christ. cracked that joke. Right. She's like, "Lol, this guy's not alive anymore." And then she looked at her at her boyfriend and went, "Wait, Keemstar has <laughs> been dead for twenty five years. What the fuck?" And then she was in a simulation. <laughs> That's what happened. There it was. And that was a better joke construction than anything that Def Noodles has. True. Ever Oh Damn, have you studied comedy? Do you watch like... Yeah, I read the book! I read the book! Roasting. You guys are... He's, this, the man's not even here. You guys are roasting the shit out of him. I've been doing that for Talking about comedy is the least funniest thing ever. Yeah. I hate when people... Mm. Uh, you see, the punchline was it. when I said... <laughs> like talking like... Co like talking comedy theory. Like, well, I'm going to construct my joke like this. It's like, bro. Yeah, shut up. up. You're not funny. It's like, just be funny, <laughs> lol. Yeah. Try harder. Yeah, just be funny, lol. True. Just, just be funny. Absolutely exactly. nobody's picked him up on doing his little um, roast battle challenge either. So. Kim, you're, oh, Kim, exactly. you're a third party. Did Papa Gut totally cuck me tonight? Uh, oh did he cuck God. you? Uh, yeah, slightly. Uh, but I think he was unaware of the cookage. And also, no, the, the conversation was about me, okay? I had every right to cuck you, even if I did it on no, purpose. No, I need Kim yeah, to say Nick, that I had him by the balls, Nick. okay? Nick, Nick, I'm gonna be totally honest. Okay, when Papa Gut did that, Papa Gut came off bad. Like in my opinion, he Why? came off bad because 
you just you went after the moderator and it was like you you were starting to get a little okay, are, we, are we talking about at that point look i think he's talking about in the beginning when like i first no no, no yeah, yeah when i did i cut like, so when i was, was in the in middle, middle of, of debating uh, fucking deaf noodles and he's like my microphone is it working <laughs> <laughs> listen i didn't i didn't agree to a moderator in my conversation and my moderator was explaining to me basically expressing to me how he likes to do like debate type or conversations and i fundamentally disagree i was okay? trying to make the chat flow it wasn't flowing yo hey listen the the other the other moderator that they put up there she's like Deaf Noodles did something for me that well, let's not, let's not shit on her. Person. Let's not shit on her. No, okay. because uh, immediately leaving that, she's now like trying to bring up. Wait, wait, we like her though. Calm okay. down, calm down. I we like her though. Wrong with uh, she's, she's going after she, Taylor Lorenz. She, 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 she we like her. She, well, it's not what it is. She has yeah. every. She's right. going she's after me. She's well, going you're 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 controlled opposition. It's fine. We're she's going after Taylor. She has every right to explain why she thinks Dennis is a good person. She has a personal experience. It doesn't matter what it is. I respect her saying it. But, but now she's gumming after me based on being friends with Dennis, not based on anything with fact. Wait, you're she's friends with Dennis? She's tweeting out now. Friends she's with tweeting out now <laughs> that I like potentially um, uh, put out false information on Ray Diaz. Like, does anyone know the uh, Ray Diaz? Wait, Ray Diaz? Are you, <laughs> that are you guy just like, wait! Are you going go to... Are you gonna, I'm gonna give us more She's defending then. Ray fucking Diaz? Yep, go to I don't her know Twitter. Who any of these people are. Dude, others. Ray Diaz is a sick motherfucker, okay. dude. So, Listen, Ray, I don't know Diaz, this Ray Diaz was like hitting on um, a, a lot of female entertainers that were okay. underage. How old He's, was he and how old were they? I'm just curious. Well, he was lying about his age. He was like in his 30s. Okay, but he good. Was you got all I need to know. Okay. He was telling everyone he was like 28. Didn't or he do jail like time? Oh. So he got arrested, but because it's in LA and there's so much crime and everything else, like the thing's been stalled, stalled, stalled. I don't even know like if it's done. He did get arrested though. I, I never heard the and update. That's a long time ago. The, the police interviewed the girl, right? The police interviewed the girl. Um, and because he was like at the time that this was going down, allegedly he was being abusive and dating a seventeen-year-old. That she was screaming. There was a video of her like of him screaming at her, right? Like Jesus blood Christ. curdling yeah. screaming at the sixteen-year-old girl that was out. Yeah, there's like a, mountains of mountains of evidence, Papa got that bad things were happening. I just remember okay. that. Put a, that was like sick to my stomach. So, shit. Jesus. Yeah. It was crazy. After. After a bunch of like uh, this uh, abuse was happening with multiple different women, and they were going to the police, and these are like one of the women involved, one of the women ladies. Yeah. In <laughs> I know I'm saying the wrong fucking thing, like a retail. But one oh. of the ladies involved in the situation <laughs> is very, very famous, like more famous than anybody here, and you know she went to the police, and nothing happened. So now this case is going on with a with a 17 year old and nothing's happening. And uh, I interviewed the girl with her mom and put the story out. And, you know, I I put pressure on the L.A. PD to, like, do something. And they arrested the guy. And just the fact that this woman that we we're talking about, Deaf Noodles, friend is coming out and trying to attack me over Ray Diaz is so dishonest and it's like the arguments that you kept making about bad faith and spinning a narrative like that is happening right now with this woman go to her twitter i have to look at everything independently of course to, before sure, i pass yeah. any opinion but sure okay. i don't know anything about her all i know friend, is she's mad annoying you guys are so mean she yeah, seemed very nice cringe, when so... she seemed she seemed very nice when she was on, even if I disagreed with her. Okay. Apparently, Dennis was a nice. Her. You're not a very good no, well, I'm not because okay. Well, I don't just hate people indiscriminately. Like oh, I can I understand do. where she's coming. It's from. such a nice well, tactic. <laughs> Listen, because I think that that is uh well, first of all, that's just the person I am, right? And I don't want to deviate wow. from that person. Like I, I try to stay morally grounded and consistent, the best that I can. Wow. Pretty shitty content creator. True, though. you're no. supposed to hate everybody. Well, yeah, you know what the, the you know what's interesting here though. 
is that before I came in, I I, I caught like about three seconds of, of um, Nicholas Diorio's stream. And he made this point that he is going to be like the king of the commentary community because he gets to host somebody else's <laughs> show sometimes. And I, I did was not wondering, say that. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to host. I'm going to be the king of the commentary community. What is that? Wait, wait, what, what, are, what are you <laughs> quoting? Hold on. You said something like that. I popped it for like three seconds. That's Fucking what I extrapolated. Bo Blacks, when Nerdy the fuck did I say that? Sin, I don't I'm, know. You probably I'm, did. I'm the king of the commentary community. Right now. I'm just kidding. I'm like nowhere near. Who is the real king? Like voice critical? Wouldn't you say that? Uh, or is that not part I don't of the community? Think, he does commentary, but I, he's he doesn't not part interact. Of the community. I think the commentary community is like ultra fucking small. I think it's way fucking smaller than people True. think. Uh, I guess he does commentary, but I think from the community, fuck, that's probably like Augie. Everything fucking goes around Augie. Well, these what days. about Mudahar? I guess that makes sense. Uh, Mudahar, Mudahar does other shit though. He's not like a commentary. Well, he does both. Me and Bo Blacks heavily disagree on what the term commentary is. Dude, by his definition. No, yeah. listen, listen, listen. If you're gonna make content about like you're quitting, Keem. You don't count. Stuff, otherwise, it would be you. If you if yeah, you're quitting. gonna make content about stuff that has nothing to do with the online space in the online community, if you're making content that has nothing to do with this community, like we are a community of creators, okay. if you're making content <laughs> outside of that. You cannot be a commentator. Uh, oh no, Turkey Tom, Turkey Tom. But then you're not part of the community, Keem Star, because all you do oh. is make fucking videos about fucking KSI. He's that's not relevant to the commentary community. That is the community. Back in the that day, is it definitely was more the community. Now. That's the commentary community. Ah, okay. Uh, I guess. Well, okay. I'm just saying, if if you, you know, he's a YouTuber, right? He's part of this online entertainment sphere, right? And that's okay. the majority of what I talk. about. I think about he means because... like Mudahar makes videos on like virtual machines. Uh, exactly. Okay. Like, well, that would have been a little making, concise. He's making videos on the war in Russia or something. And same thing with uh, Critical. And they're just not, they're not, it's not the. So you wouldn't say others. Optimus is part of the community yeah, either. He that. also talks about the same topic. Why you know, you, you, know you know what? The commentary, I don't hate him. The commentary community <laughs> was like all in Def Noodles like live thing today like if you weren't there you're not really in the commentary community because that's like Suppose. that is that is the community you know what i'm thinking like, that like, um fucking what's his name jesus i already forgot his fucking name hold on hold on hold on adam mcintyre's oh. honorary commentary he's moved from t to commentary now i like him. pretty bad i do too he's a cool guy pretty fucking yeah. bad he's a cool guy well blacks you want to tell like the story well. the first five seconds when you met him at vidcon Oh yeah, he immediately talked shit about Duff Noodles, he said he really likes Nick and Augie's content and That's my content, takes, huh? but he can't talk about it. Yeah, you know, I accept, I accept him. people get mad. Uh, wow, you just got it. all this shit. He talked okay. about how he hates all these T channels. Yeah, man. That's all it takes, huh? Well, all he has to do is make a new channel and have like two channels. Like, that's what I do. I have like a bullshit channel and I have like a, a more real channel for me at least, I guess. Just do that. You know what I've been doing? No. I've been hitting up Adam McIntyre saying, hey, I want to come on your show, interview me, like, for, like, a month, and he's not taking me up on <laughs> he's it. He's just like, this is it. horrible, don't Head do off. this. <laughs> Why would he want to do, do that? What do you, you mean? Gotta, you got to remember, though, go in the... Show. You gotta remember though, in the T community, in the, like the the T sphere, like literally everybody hates you. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> whenever I'm anybody perfect, has I'm you the on, the person to come on, then yeah, what? like to this any would be like when Shane person, Dawson interviewed Jake he has Paul. To, <laughs> he, me, has to push you. he has to push you on like your your the points he disagrees with, and not everybody wants to be engaging in a <laughs> yeah, fucking conversation. People like talking to you. They don't want to lose. They're yeah, not like the me. They don't have a just video on like, you on their channel. <laughs> No, the community just doesn't like platforming Keem. So it's uh, it's a case of them that they just don't want to hear what he has to say. Whereas even if I disagree with Keem, I still want to hear his points. So base? I think that that's the whole reason why he won't have you. Yeah, well, that's why the T community has no credibility, though, is because they they don't listen. They only listen to one side. Well, the T community has kind of um, lost its standing with everyone, to be honest. So Yeah. But, okay, I am Team Rich Lux. Yeah, Rich Lux is oh, hilarious. Rich Lux, I heard... Rich Lux is the is the shit. I love yep. him. Me yeah, too. Yeah, well, I'm not good friends with him right uh, now. <laughs> so. Listen, listen <laughs> why, why? I saw him and, and uh, Dusty Barn. Who the fuck's that guy's Wait, name? Papa, Dustin, Dustin Daly. Daly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he and is. listen, I think Dustin Daly, listen, I don't know why he was getting so upset about what Rich Lux was doing. I thought that Rich was, was it's clickbaity and it's a little extreme, but it's just like fucking absurd. And I don't think anybody goes to Rich Lux for the absolute 
Rich Lex puts on a performance, he commits to it, and he he talks about things in a way like he actually is. You, I would ask, if somebody said I think Rich Lux is a comedian, that is a more credibility to that yes, than definitely. Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. He's um, consistent. And I, yeah, I like he plays it. the character of the clown, and he'll play that character until the end of time. Oh, and I definitely clown. think it's a more credible version of comedy than uh, what uh, Deaf Noodles is oh, doing. Wait, right did now. he read the Tell book? Us. Did he read the book Age, before he made us. that comedy? What's the huh? tea? What's the tea? <laughs> yes, sis. What is uh, the tea? What's the tea? We need to know oh, the hot no. tea. No, the tea no, is no. steaming. Give us the tea. <laughs> Well, he just, he yeah. basically, he just ditched me as a friend for just, like, no reason. Oh. Dustin made his video, and I went, lol, he, he got, like, dragged for absolutely no reason. I didn't expect it to be that hard, and he was like, no, I, I don't know if it's true. With you, Paige. I don't know if it's true, but I heard through the grapevine from a very credible source that oh Rich Lux is alt-right, so maybe that has yeah. something to do with it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah no, sure. Rich, Lux, Rich Lux thinks that alt-right is a keyboard command. He has no idea about <laughs> fucking politics. <laughs> also a better joke than anything. Yeah, it's true. It was, yeah, good. true. it was good. It was good. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it Thank a lot. Thank you. Um, Damn. It's my favorite joke, in fact. It wasn't. It was. Funny. Noodles is good for the community because, by contrast, we can like compliment on how everyone's more funny than him. Bro, can I just tell you? I'm <laughs> uh, after tonight. I'm very excited to not talk about that motherfucker. I'm. It's. I. I didn't like. This was annoying to me. I know it probably was good for my career, but it was so fucking annoying, and I hated all of it. You'll have to talk about him again. So well, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to talk about him anymore. I'm. You fucking know he's gonna fuck up again, it. and it's gonna be another thing that you're gonna have to comment on. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. he's not going to keep himself out of social issues. That was a very high standard that you set him. Well, you, you know, it's not a high stand, bro. Listen, not, listen. I know that you guys. I know that you guys are. Like, oh, mm. Papa Gut, this guy's a fucking asshole. I care too much about people. You think I'm fucking? What did you say before? You think I'm playing oppression Olympics? You pieces of shit. <laughs> You're gonna but, be hardened. And listen, like, look. Have you ever loved God. Papa Gut? You have you ever loved? I Love Wait, have anybody? You ever loved <laughs> Listen, but like, <laughs> dude, what is love? I, I, Death noodles listen, don't listen, hurt listen. me. For the past six years, I've been doing everything that I can to like genuinely try to educate don't myself on a lot of other different issues of different marginalized groups. Okay, don't so it's not oh no God. more. So it's <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever, you've educated yourself on all of this, but have you ever loved someone? Like, that's a hard. That's a really tough question. Uh, like you can read all about it. Like how somebody asked you a fucking question. About Joe, <laughs> Has but... anybody ever loved you? You piece of shit. I'm just <laughs> fucking, with I'm fucking with you, brother. I'm fucking with you, brother. No, I'm just fucking with you. no, I'm joking. That is so true. That is so, so <laughs> true. No one has ever loved him because I love Bo Blacks, Okay, so oh, it's yeah. not true. Okay. They try to love me despite my mental issues. Oh my no, god. No, honestly, Nick, Augie, and Bo Blacks get no. What can I say? I'm on Twitch. They don't get girls, bro. Fuck I you! Swear to God. I've never. Yeah, they but that's never okay. Never get girls, bro. Yeah, I, you got to keep bullying them until they actually do something. No, about it, bro. you guys just need to take a shower, dude. Fucking Bo Blacks is probably gonna get outed for some shit with all the girls he's fucking, bro. Jesus <laughs> Christ! All right, <laughs> wait, wait, wait Bo Blacks, do you, do you say that I'm lying, and or do you take the half compliment? Pick one. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, you either I have to say lie. you get no I'm bitches not, or you're not predatory or you're predatory. It's one of the Wait, other. Wait, predatory? Yeah, it's one of the other. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys are fucking insane. One or the other. You... Jesus, <laughs> this is the community I've aligned myself with. I'm going back to games. It's one or the other. You get no bitches or you're predatory. There's <laughs> no in between. Are you an incel or like a predator? I guess I'm an incel then. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> even like, okay, I guess I don't get any. Dude, Deaf Whatever. Noodles is out here being like, do you think child rape is funny? <laughs> Dude, dude, something is not right about these gentlemen, right? They all get together every year. They go to VidCon. They're all in a house, and it's like the house is packed. The beer is flowing. They got all the drinks. They got the weed. No girls. Not a single girl. Not one girl in this in at VidCon. You're Excuse part. me. You I can't doing? say what YouTuber You're it was. One of the YouTubers oh in this community met their girlfriend at VidCon, I think. And I can't say which one it is. Oh, you can't. I guess it's not. I don't know. They held hands. Well, I appreciated yeah. all of the cringe profiles that you guys put out. That happens a lot. Okay, don't be crazy, Bob. There's like four girls there. <laughs> I mean, oh, Act the, I think the girl Actman's dating. He was like, he met. Wait, really? 
You just totally yeah, outed him. What the fuck? That's not even who I was what talking about. What do you mean about. outing him? He has a girlfriend. Oh wait, yeah, he made that public. What? what do you mean? Yeah, he made that public. What am you're I? You're outing. Him? You're outing him as straight, bro. What's wrong with you? You can't. <laughs> yeah, do that what the in hell, dude? Everyone, everyone thought Ackman was gay. <laughs> See, that's why Adam McIntyre no, won't I mean, have I you on know, his show. Know, that joke know, right there is why Adam McIntyre won't talk to you, Kim. <laughs> Oh my god. Why? Why? What, what you I do? just said is the reason why you can't go on. <laughs> what, I'm fucking... Outed... What? I, I'm, I'm alt-left, bro. <laughs> this is I'm, why! I don't like this that is stuff. literally why! I don't like that stuff. I don't like yeah, that stuff, Yeah, why would bro. you assume someone's straight, dude? Just like how I didn't assume Jake Lucky was straight. Yo, you, wait, well, did you okay, see so... Roblox fuck no, that up? Did back. anybody see that happen? Okay, there's what nothing happened? on his profile to indicate Dude, he's Dude, Boblax straight. tweeted out Jake Lucky's husband is talking so much shit, and he just assumed <laughs> that, that Jake Lucky was gay. <laughs> yeah, I did. Because he, like, posts himself of pictures of him in dresses Paige, and, like, Paige, on his ass Paige, and shit. You need like, to, I don't you, know. Paige, you need to yell at Boblax. Dude, he's gonna get this? us in so much trouble. Uh, what are you doing? What, wouldn't it be worse to assume someone's straight when they've shown no indication of something? No! And, no! And they've shown all indications of being homosexual. Um, I am not going to comment on that. <laughs> I'm Yo, just not. Bo Blacks, I thought Bo Blacks was making... Assumption. I thought Bo Blacks was making a... Like a joke, as guys would make jokes no, he really thought with it was other true. guys. Which are... They are homophobic, but not like really derogatory towards gay people it's more derogatory towards other straight people like trying to say they like guys like just to mess with them right yeah. um but that's the joke that i thought boblax was trying to make no boblax actually thought jake lucky was gay <laughs> and that was his boy <laughs> yeah oh i did they're in his banner it's like i'm with jake lucky and they're like hugging each other and like holding each other in their banner and he's like i'm with jake lucky in his bio Jake Lucky posts pictures of him in dresses and shit and always says he wants to fuck other, like, male Twitch streamers. So I thought he just liked dick. I mean, oh, okay. It's not... <laughs> Shut the fuck I up! Like how, um, I Papa... think that's a fair assessment. I don't know. <laughs> Thank like, God Papa Guts audience is... Like, they're gonna think you're all right. What the fuck? I, what, I, is I was... that bad? Like, I don't know. I was gonna say, I like how Papa Gut's chair has more restraint in a debate than Papa Gut himself. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Holy shit, guys. He was going into the lion's den, though, so it's just like... <laughs> I don't know if there was a right way to handle Dennis, if I'm perfectly honest. Cause Maybe I'm biased, back... but I feel like I was doing that, like, minutes before this started. Paige, no, where I were you? Were. Because they were, they were calling on you to be a moderator, and you didn't show up. What happened? I did, okay, I did, but my regular Twitter is deactivated, so I was on my porn Twitter, and I was telling people, <laughs> like... <laughs> Can, can you make me a mod? But I don't think anyone knew my profile, so. I couldn't believe it. Nick, come on, you gotta moderate for me. You're kinda unbiased here. I'm like, well, I'm like the most biased person here. Ew, what the what, fuck? Yeah. You made like hey. two like huge videos on him. He's the biggest video yeah. on my channel. <laughs> you made you made all these exposed Funny. videos on, on Deaf Noodles, and he says, "Oh, you're kind of you're kind you're kind of." Did you hear him say, Nick, here. help Nick, me? You, yeah. Oh my god, that's a great clip. Yeah, that's it's gonna be my clip. new dono sound. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, did you guys find it strange that, um, hmm. you know, Deaf Noodles was like, like, really stuttering? Like, the entire time. You know, what are we, you what are we talking it, about? What are we asking? I'm talking about Deaf Noodles stuttering. We were bashing like, women. You, uh. you <laughs> could make the argument that Deaf Noodles was on this Twitter spaces for a very long time. But the thing was, is he was sounding the exact same way, like really slow at the very beginning when I first tuned in. It was like when he talked, it was just slow. Like it took a yeah. long time to get from word to word. I think he's not neurotypical. <laughs> I, I hate it when people say this shit. What I feel like fuck? every every time we talk, every time somebody talks about Death Noodles, it's in a way that like comes off as like excusing his behavior like everybody's like Def you need to take a break you need to take a break you're going too far this motherfucker is calling me a pedophile but Def Noodles is the one that needs to take a fucking break okay, he does say, do you think that him calling you a pedophile was a, a symptom of his spiraling I don't he think he was spiraling prior to that moment I don't think that it's justifiable to do that 
even if it was a simple Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. This guy's obviously... There's something seriously fucked up with him. He's, like, the most consistently insane person I've ever fucking talked to online. This guy is why not is just it... breaking down for one minute. This guy's been at this for well, a while. Why is it when we see bad behavior online, people, you know, as a, as a criticism, we say, oh, they're having a breakdown, or... Oh, they're unhinged, or we're we're attaching. Because you can't call them other slurs. To, we're attaching. Oh, we're that's attaching. Not what mental... I say those things. Well, first of all, because <laughs> I want to call them the art slur, and I have to say they're unhinged instead. <laughs> the unhinged thing is because his actions are like unhinged. They're not like following any pattern know, that's of like a logic. Term, that's a term for like mental health right we're always attached could be mental yeah mental health. health you're allowed to bully people for that on twitter system. but you can't call well, them what other explanation is there what other no, explanation I, I like i like the title of papa guts video i Which like him just saying you're a bad person yeah i think he is but what is that uh, what do you mean i don't like the terms of unhinged and all this and like everything do you think else? a mentally you stable person would argue the same fucking thing for an entire year straight gives, without giving it at gives at all? that person it gives that person an excuse. You're saying that me saying it's unhinged means that. Keem, like, that's because that you're not matching my level suit. of ableism. If you can get to my level, oh my all right, God. there's just no <laughs> way that you could be stopped. All right. You, when people say, hey, Nick, stop, you're being ableist, you send them the Giga Chad meme, and then everyone's just like, based, fucking based. Well, this is, you guys are fucking insane. And, I, then, and then they're I like, wait, you. Nick, come on, come on, come on. You can't be ableist like that. I'm like, dude, my best buddy's Bo Blacks, bro. I got the car. But you're doing the same. Yeah, you're, you're doing the same thing Dennis did when he said I have a black friend, bro. Yeah. Okay. It's no, no, kidding. no. Bob Blacks isn't my friend. All right, I have an acquaintance. Don't you fucking put that on. <laughs> I'm kidding. See you, bro. Yeah. Boiling Bob Bo Blacks down. Bob Blacks is Bo Blacks, Is he the most successful content creator here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm way more successful than Keemstar. <laughs> what? Keemstar what the doesn't hell? count. What Keemstar the doesn't really hell? count. He's so retired. He's not a content creator. So Bobax is actually the most, uh, he's the most established person here. Yes. Oh, he yeah. is. And all I do is read your guys' opinion. <laughs> Bro, well, <laughs> what, what you, you, you really took that away from me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Keemstar, can I ask you a question? I've been dying yeah, to ask this question for like shoot, days, shoot. Uh, well, weeks actually. So you lost your hat, right? And then you took <laughs> forever to find another hat. And you're loaded. Why didn't you get a new hat? I'm confused. What? When did I lose? You're my doing hat? the do rag. You, you said you said you lost your hat, and then you were wearing the bandana, and you wore the bandana for ages. <laughs> Why didn't you just get a new hat? Because oh, I don't think he lost it. It's because he's not a G Fuel anymore, and that was his hat. I think. I think. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus! Let me answer. Let me let answer. Let me speak. Let me I feel like deaf noodles. I can't even answer. You cut me off. No, um, <clears throat> I think I was just making a joke. I have, I have a ton of hats. Um, I don't really remember that. But I, hats are uncomfortable. I didn't realize how uncomfortable they were until I started wearing Do they bandanas. Tug on your hair? And I lo okay, so I had a conspiracy, and <laughs> I thought that you had hair plugs, and <laughs> because you put hair plugs in. You had no. the bandana, so it didn't like. Could cause you any friction on fucking the imagine if this guy shows <laughs> no. up to VidCon with like a full head of fucking hair and doesn't say Holy a shit. fucking word about it? He's just like he goes, around, "Hey, what's going on? K yeah, KSI, it's been fun. Oh, Deji, we haven't talked in a while. Guy's got a fucking full head of hair, expecting nobody to you, say you anything. You would never, you'd never live that down. <laughs> yeah, that's why no. I was just kind of like, why is he so secretive? Like he's so low to get a fucking hat. What's wrong with you? No, no. Well, first of all, there's a certain, there's only one type of hat that I like wearing, and it's from New Era. And uh, so I, I had a bunch of them just recently made for uh, Happy Punch and whatnot. Um, so I'm excited right. about it. I will be wearing hats again soon, but the bandana is just way more comfortable, and I'll never get a hair transplant because uh, I, respect that. I, I like I like being bald. Like it's it's who I am, you know. It's part of your identity. I get that. Yeah. I feel the I feel the same way. I feel the same. Like way. when I'm when I'm in my private life, not in public, obviously, because I can't go in public and not take pictures of fans and all that other shit, right? But in my like around my house and stuff, like I don't really. I rock it bald. I like being bald. My girl likes the way I look bald. My family. Do you knows think you'd be as, as successful like, as you are now if you were bald on Drama Alert for every episode? Uh, you yeah. Always wear a hat though. Like, what do you? I. It, the thing is, I don't know, was, man. When I was younger, I would always wear a hat, 
and then like on on stream like they started like let me see what's under the hat so it'd be like a game and i'd like show a little bit or whatever it was like this stupid wait little so you kind of like dumb. you were like the original only fans only instead of like yeah, showing off yeah. your body you're like mm, teasing. you guys want to see what's yeah. under this hat <laughs> it's always been this game because you know i used to stream in front of two thousand people in 2009 2010 wow, fl flexing on us right now i was the number one person on blog tv i beat philip defranco I beat, and you had your hands um, up right you weren't starting is this true are you are you, re are you re are you are you rewriting history the i'm telling you the honest god truth i went over to blog tv all the creators at the time i justine philip defranco all those people were on there was the philip Shea defranco Card. just doing this shit just wondering they would they would all stream on blog tv yeah. but i i had an amazing show because i would do all my gaming pranks live in front of a live audience so i would jump on halo 3 troll people mess with them whatever like a st like studio audience Wait, was was uh was in i just seen like all audience, righteous yeah. you know just all righteous that's crazy okay well great joke good funny <laughs> anyhow if you're not interested then i won't tell no, you no you can do i'll leave you alone <laughs> It's okay. He did this the, the other night. He bad. knows he's going to tell the story. All right, he's just being a dick about it. <laughs> he wants people to ask him, but I, <laughs> you know, what do you want me to ask? Oh, Keem, can you tell me this fucking story about how you used to be so good? <laughs> I'm still good. I'm so good. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't so, posted on Drama Alert in a while. It seems like you're I, kind of falling off. I post every day on Snapchat. I do not Nobody post cares on about Snapchat. No, Snapchat makes more Except money, bro. Uh, bro, post you don't both. get this. I am in front of millions of people every day on Snapchat. If I post to YouTube, it's getting 300K, 400K. Yeah, but why not do both? Because YouTube is dead. This community, it, you heard that him talking about the commentary community. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I, I, can I please just have a good five minute rant on why YouTube sucks? All right, I'm going to turn my mic off. You go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'll Ladies Sorry. and gentlemen, back in the day, you subscribers, you mattered. You viewers, you mattered. You got to pick the content that you wanted to watch. You would go on YouTube, you would surf around, you would find content that you'd like, you would find content creators that you would like, and you would subscribe to them. You became a fan of them. You became real fans of the content creators that you were watching. And you were part of it because there was a comment sen a section that was huge, right? Like you got to give your opinion, creators would respond to the comments, but then YouTube started doing some messed up stuff with the algorithm, right? They they wanted you to sub twice. Now you had to sub and hit the bell. Sub and hit the bell. Then they added another layer, right? You had to sub, hit the bell, and then hit always in order to hear that content creator's videos. So it became less and less likely for you to actually get the people's videos that you wanted to watch. And YouTube started pushing other people's videos, all right, through their algorithm, all right, uh, with the recommend it. And they started throwing stuff at you that they thought you wanted to watch, mostly TV shows, mostly long documentaries so they can hook you into long watch time or long podcasts. And you are being forced to watch educational content or just, you know, TV show content that doesn't allow you to be connected with a YouTuber anymore. It doesn't allow you to be a fan of a YouTube anymore. You're being thrown stuff and you've lost the ability on what you watch because every time you go onto youtube.com, you're being spammed videos that you're somewhat interested in. And they have ruined the entire experience of YouTube and that's why YouTube's dying and everything else is blowing up. Well, um, all right, listen, man. I think that YouTube just changed a little bit and you got it with that, brother. That's it. No, the the platform is dying. Go look at the numbers. It is, it is. Well, do you think it's dying, or do you think that there are more no, alternatives? I know in this? for. A, hold on. All right, hold okay. on. Do you think that it's actually dying? Because I, the way it sounds like you're saying, and I'm going to take your word for it, is that the numbers are going down, right? Yes. When, yeah. When, so, when 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 kids when kids are going online to watch content, they might pop into a Twitch stream, they might pop into a YouTube stream. Believe it or not but they're watching most of their content on TikTok or Instagram videos. Yeah, but that that's exactly no, but that's exactly the point. So your perspective is it's dying, but my perspective is is that there's more competitors to YouTube now. So there's no. the, the same there's hold on, hold on. I'm just kidding. this is my perspective. Okay, could be right, could be wrong. 
but there's just more general competitors, there's more alternatives, there's more options available. And so YouTube naturally is going to get uh, less of the view space because there's just other things that people can watch. I don't can I think explain why dying. you're wrong? Can sure. I explain why you're sure, wrong? Sure, sure, sure. You're wrong because back in the day, YouTube existed and also Vine existed. And Vine was popping. Yeah, but right? what about... But they, now, were, okay, they were two... The, the thing is, is people would go on Vine a little bit and then they watch their favorite creator, right? YouTube has pushed so much cookie cutter, like PC safe crap at the viewers that the viewers can't find creators that they like. But they TikTok just does can't that too. find them. And they're not getting, and they're not getting, uh, you know, the subscription like it used to go. Like when someone up would upload a video, you'd be on it. You'd get that notification, you'd be there. It's not like it was before. And it's, it's literally, created a giant wedge in between the creator and the viewer because youtube doesn't want you to be fans of someone they well, want you to watch they well, want you to watch they want you to watch uh ten thousand different freaking creators videos that they're pushing to you through recommend it that's what right. they want you to watch so i think that first of all i don't think youtube's use a shit i think they want money right it's very money driven the thing is, is that you're forgetting something, and that is, is that they had to get a bit more advertiser friendly because everybody lost monetization, right? So, like, that could be a reason why it's having a negative impact. But TikTok does the exact same thing; it's still a popular platform. But there's also this TikTok, there's like Instagram, uh, you have your Facebooks. You also have to look at like there's still um, Netflix, Hulu, all these other like it's not a direct competitor, but it's eating up people's um, time. Like these are all things that didn't exist before. So I think that there's just less view time to go around, generally speaking. And so, yeah, YouTube's taking like a natural hit, but I don't think the platform is dying. It's dying. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Defeated. Dying. Oh, keep, 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 keep. I have a real question, though, because this, I know that you're not going to be able to answer this question. Have you ever loved? <laughs> what? Adam, loved I see. What? That's it. Loved what? Uh, there it is. I knew you couldn't answer the question. Loved what? Have you ever loved? Uh, yeah, like... yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, okay, oh, yeah. all right. I mean, if you if you don't agree with me, you're just in denial, or maybe you're too I'm young. Oh. <laughs> maybe you're too young to understand the YouTube experience. <laughs> maybe maybe I'm just right and you're biased because you have a grudge with YouTube. Augie Augie RFC pulls about. Uh, what a thousand uh, viewers on his show? Uh, I had like, 1.3 on his like, show. He gets like 1.5 2k. Yeah. If if we could if we could just simply go back to the algorithm of let's say like 2016, 2017, or even 2018, Augie yeah. would be no, pulling 5,000 no, concurrent. Yes, he would. Dude, they they yes. fucked the up stream. streaming. Streaming was fucked like... on YouTube for years, dude. Maybe they just. Oh yeah, assuming it wasn't. Yeah, straight. Maybe it's just like a different atmosphere. It's a different atmosphere. You know Not I mean? here. The cool kids are gone. They're on. They're who's on the TikTok. fucking? Who's the fucking cool kid? TikTok doesn't well, make money not. for shit. People are always trying to transition to YouTube because it's it's a much more profitable platform. It doesn't work. Case doesn't in point. Work. Well, this I make a lot more money dying. on fucking YouTube, and I've been slowly growing. I think that I've been doing a decent job, slowly growing. Okay. It's still alive, and if it's not, I'm I'm the fucking messiah, Keemstar. I'm bringing it back to life. Do you understand? Listen to your chat. I don't know how to say algorithm. I always say it wrong, and I don't care. Algorithm. No. Algorithm. I've noticed that you say a lot. Of, you say a lot of words. Wrong. Algorithm. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. care. I don't care. But yeah, I mean, pretty much the bots, the computers, and the bots, and the algorithms and stuff like that. Oh. They they've ruined everything. And like you know, back in the day, you would upload content. And it would win because you're entertaining, because it's interesting, right? That does not happen anymore. You cannot win. You are going up against mathematicians, all right? There are content creators that have AI themselves. They have uh, all this technology mean? themselves to try to figure out like how they should place their videos, uh, what the thumbnail should be. There's programs to see like where the where eyes are attracted to on a thumbnail. You don't understand. You're going up against scientists and shit. That's well, who runs YouTube. You, the Mr. Beast is and all, all that shit. Sure. I mean, I get what you're saying. They, they, they have content, but they also advertise their content in a much better way. But like, if we theoretically, if everybody else had the access to that, I think things would be... I think for the most part, YouTube just wants you to view 
something that'll keep you enticed. I don't think that they care what it is necessarily. So, but Mr. Beast is uh, maybe he is playing the algorithm, getting the right type of thumbnails. Maybe he's just people just like the fucking guy and they'd the, rather the watch thing, him. The things that are popping on YouTube is the Minecraft stuff and um, the Mr. Beast clones, where everything's a game show type of thing. Yeah, and people, it's that bullshit. But it's slowly, it's slowly. YouTube is moving into what TV used to be, right? It's moving into that type of thing, right? And we're gonna lose. You know that guy in his room. Hey YouTube, like we're gonna lose that, and that's what I don't made. Think so. I mean, you think uh, YouTube Shorts kind of helps with that problem, since it's kind of like TikTok too, and there's like a lot of people just on their phones being like, "Hi guys." Type huh? thing. Well, yeah. YouTube Shorts is nothing but stolen content. It's like you know they take David Dobrik's Instagram, they take you know my Twitter video, whatever. That's all YouTube Shorts. Wait, is. wasn't that Boblax's that's... channel taking your Twitter videos? Yeah, <laughs> Pretty, much. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's just, we need a community. We need, like, like, have you noticed on YouTube they're hiding the comment section? Like, if I'm on my phone, what? like, it's like takes me forever to get to the comment section because they're double lacing videos, like, over where the comments would be on that video. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's like a little pop-out you have to do. This, yeah. site is a, this site is a fucking joke, bro. Like, I'm telling you, they're making the viewers disappear. Yeah, and this, these people in the chat can clown on me all they want, but I got more experience in this fucking industry than anybody on this fucking stage. All right. I have seen it happen. I've seen it all go down. YouTube wants to control what people are watching. They have taken your freedom away by pushing you other videos. Like that is what is going on, people. Is that what you tell yourself? So that you like, does that your cope for people not watching Drama Alert anymore on YouTube? Sure, you sound like every person on Twitter. You sound like you sound like every person. I've been complaining about this for years. You sound like every little fucking kid on Twitter. Cool, bro. Wait, but it's the why truth. Are you so offended by it because because every time I talk about this shit, which is serious, like this is our industry and stuff. That's what that's what people say. Like that's what they say. They've, like well, on Twitter and shit. What if they're a little bit right though? Okay, fine, fine. Just believe that believe that okay. all in your heart and everything but this is your career and it's just going to get worse True. and worse and worse and worse and it's you're getting to better make a though. career here no it it's really getting better. Hasn't. i have to it's, actually agree with getting, team star it's getting better papa gut because you're in controversy right now you're a hot item right now you got keem star on your show you're battling with deaf noodles oh, you're in the eyes of everyone you're of course going to pop up right now but there are going to yeah. be times where you won't be the center of attention and sure. you're going to see your viewers go down and you're going to see things not working and you not connecting with your audience like you did before and it's because of the well, changes that are uh, happening on this platform I don't. I think that I again, know what there's the fuck I'm talking about. I, I don't, don't give a fuck. I don't All I'm saying up. is, in general, people go through highs and lows. So, not, it's an outlier to be like a ten. Like a really busy girl. Dennis, have you ever loved? Dennis, 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 Dennis really have you ever loved somebody before? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, have you ever loved? Dennis, 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 Dennis really have you ever loved somebody before? Nicholas, don't Nicholas. <laughs> Yo, 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 no, no. <laughs> yo, I'm stealing that. I'm fucking stealing that. Holy shit. <laughs> but if everybody, if everyone, if everyone uh, is going down over the last three years, then... <clears throat> What's happening? What's well, going yeah, but again, just I have to tell you that, like, from from my perspective, because I've been doing YouTube now for six years. From my perspective, it was really good, and then it kind of fell down because YouTube changed the parameters of what it was that they wanted. So then it became ten minutes to fifteen minute videos were the ones to go for. So then everybody started trying to condense their content into that format and now they're pushing longer form videos so now i'm under the parameters that my videos need to be 30 minutes plus uh, because they want the watch time exactly. and now i'm making the same amount of money that it was that i was making 
two years ago with less views because my watch time is up. And now I've started putting some of my other content, creator friends like, you know, Dustin Daly and stuff on it. And he's receiving the same amount as well. It's like the longer hey. his videos are, the better the money is. And we're just kind of having to go with the trends instead of just, well, you know, creating do you think some people like content. longer content hey. too? Maybe some people like longer content. I'm a big fan particularly. I don't know. I Me mean, too. No. Like longer content. Like maybe people are just maybe part of the alg. Maybe part of it's the algorithm. Maybe people part of like it's podcasts. The viewers, they can watch your video as a yeah. podcast. You guys, gonna... you guys, yeah. do you guys understand? Do you guys understand that there's people in the commentary community that upload like I'm not even joking, like two hour documentaries. Yes, I'm one of them. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and Team, the reason why you, they're you doing paid that, me to make one for you. <laughs> let me explain. Let me explain. So I watch YouTube every night um, on my Apple TV, right? So. I'll go to sleep and I'm watching a YouTube video. And when I wake up, you know what's playing? C-SPAN or- Because you know, you're old, that's yeah. what the algorithm wants to push to you. Good joke. The reason why that comes up is because it's like a six hour video. So if YouTube detects that you're not clicking off and you're going on to the next video, they throw the longest video they can throw at you. Like that is well, what's, what's happening. Wrong because with you, I'm not if trying you, to take up your- If you're consuming long explain. content, wouldn't let, they want to push you longer content? Plus I'm not well, even making a joke. Like, the age category could be a factor as to what they may think you might yeah, like. Yeah, but listen By to By the my... way, the person who just said that my joke about Tro's video aged like fine wine, I would love to tell you I'm like Nostradamus and I, pre I, I fucking guessed his next video. I talked to Tro. I knew he was fucking making it. It wasn't a joke. It was dead serious. I just pretended it was a joke because I didn't want to out him. But I also wanted to be able to turn around and go, LOL, I predicted it. Yeah, no, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and fucking lie to you and pretend that I fucking knew that. Like, I was just, like, wow, I can't believe I, I guessed this one. I was in contact with Tro. What they want to watch. I want viewers to choose what they want to watch. Watching I want to, it. I, I, I'm so sick of YouTube meddling with what gets views and what doesn't get views. You should want the viewers to choose. But they're they're I want them to choose me. It. Oh my god, they're not. Oh. Kim, alright, the days of you commentary old men is over, okay? You guys fought for the time that I take when I take a shit, okay? That time was the time you guys fought for. I want your commute to work, motherfucker. I want you to be sitting on the train listening to my fucking video Ooh. while somebody's being a little too close to you on the train. All or right? People are gaming or fucking around yep. doing work. That's the time I want, Keemstar. The revolution is over. Toilet time, that shit's taken up by TikToks now. You're done. <laughs> oh, that's true. TikTok has toilet time and now, and Instagram. And now people want to. <laughs> well, people want to do. Right. People want to do their homework. They want to watch longer videos. They're doing homework. They like listening to their favorite creator. There's probably they a little bit of like site. a personal. There's a personal aspect to it too, because you know we've fucking lockdown probably made people more incentivized to like develop some form of a connection through content. Like, there's a lot of factors I think that we're not necessarily considering. YouTube just wants yeah. watch time. Let's be real. Well, like, YouTube, yeah. of course. Yeah, but why wouldn't they want? Yeah, I know, but people are responding positively Wait, to. They it. want watch time. So are you I, telling me they don't want activism? All these videos are telling the truth that YouTube loves pedophiles? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I can't believe they're a corporation. And, and I do think TikTok and Instagram are taking some views from YouTube, but I also think a huge part of their growth is there's a lot of people who didn't watch YouTube at all, like, and didn't wasn't really online at all, who Probably. became online through COVID, and a lot of those people who weren't online before are the types of demographics that prefer the shorter, like, quippy type of TikTok content or what have you. So Maybe things will change. Well. Maybe things will change in the near future back to shorter form. But I think people like the, like like Nick was saying, uh, poopy time is TikTok time, and homework time is YouTube time. You know. I will say though, fuck TikTok. I don't want them to have any hey, more. I'm popping off on TikTok again on my clips channel. So right now I'm okay with TikTok. They don't pay for shit. Didn't they ban I'm, you. You well, shut down? the fuck up! Like a Twitch shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever get in a call with Monkey Jones and be like, "Hey, man, it's kind of crazy that you're back on YouTube now." Did they like ban your ass? You, 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 you don't talk <laughs> about that shit. Listen, I was banned on TikTok, okay, uh, and now I'm able to post again, and I'm not getting fucking sniped by everybody who doesn't like me because I nobody knows who I am anymore, which is a good thing. And now I'm able to rebuild. I'm, I'm there's some, you know, it's a hit or miss thing, but there's some views that are pulling like a mill. I'm happy about it, and it's a plug for a YouTube Dude, video. You were like so the leafiest here of TikTok. 
I was not really the leafy was. of his. Dude, I, when I was researching, about? when I was researching my video, I had to have a look at some of your old content, <laughs> and I saw a couple of stitches. And dude, your content, like it was, it was bad, dude. Well, you first of all, it wasn't <laughs> bad because it pulled the views. It must have been great. But what I'm just talking about. Wait, what? I feel like I blew up over social and political commentary. I feel like what? What was so bad about it? Maybe some of the beginning stuff was kind of cringe. Yeah, it was not well, so great. <laughs> well, what's, what would give me like an example? I want to know. Like, Jenny, I'm not, I, I just, I'm, I'm curious. I like a pedophile, no. Oh. <laughs> there was, like, conversations around like trans issues and stuff like that that I was like, oh, God. Well, what like, did I say? Oh, I can't even fucking remember it if I'm perfectly I, honest. I feel like most of the like conversations <laughs> I've had over trans issues were trans affirming. Unless well, I you've got to remember, game. I'm only getting half of the story because the account is gone, and I'm only seeing oh. stitches. So I'm only seeing. Oh, are you seeing a stitch response. of me, of me pretending to be like putting like a drag thing or something? Uh, no, not that. Oh, no, that that's, one is a, was shitty. That one. that one was shitty. No, that yeah. was a different one. That was. Wait, when I said funny. you were the leafiest here, I didn't mean like your content. I don't think Pavel got was like, "Hey guys, so today we're gonna bully the shit out of this trans person." <laughs> no, no, I never did um, that. I, I mean, like, I think that you were like the big ban that everyone was like, "Holy shit, dude! They just wiped him out." Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. probably. And yeah, by the way, yeah, I yeah. made that analogy, Nick Stoll. Well, right, it you was know, a stupid analogy. Though, I agree uh, that Pavel gets right. It, well, it's interesting because Paige said that because that was dumb. It's interesting because yes, uh, maybe it was yesterday or today. Somebody said I because obviously I, I had a conversation with Nico. Keemstar was there uh, gloriously, of course, you know, um, inserting himself into everybody else's fucking situation. Okay, and <laughs> anyway, somebody reached out. They, they commented like, "Oh, uh, you would have agreed with Nico last year about everything that he's saying." Yada yada yada. So, and I was like, "No, I would never agree that women are just inferior." So, may, there's probably. <laughs> Some, some of my content probably didn't express the way that I was communicating, which I admit that. That's why I like YouTube, because you get like a longer format. Wait, why don't you agree with that? That's news. such a base tag. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say that I insert oh. myself into everyone's... <laughs> oh, here we go. Bro, this is the motherfucker that literally steals people's YouTube videos and oh. reacts to them. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not true. true this it's guy legal. watched me defend Ethan Klein in the Tom video, and he's like, I think this Nick guy is needlessly aggressive. Did I say no, that? I don't remember what wow. you said. <laughs> That's cringe. <laughs> I have no idea what you said. Uh, listen, listen, listen. I, hey, listen. People enjoy my commentary. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, you know what I mean? This is the new generation. I, mean, People I hate that TikTok banned you because now I have to listen to you ramble for 30 minutes instead of 60 seconds. Yeah, well, you know, the fact that you were listening to me on TikTok uh, shows a lot. You fucking I yourself. actually wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, fucking I don't use TikTok. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I'm actually, the, I think the ban on TikTok was a really positive thing for me. Um, you do but, ramble too much, though. Yeah, I'm old. Yeah, how okay. did you go from making fucking 15 second videos to five hour reaction streams? What was the content yes. whiplash there like? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so, um, yeah, that's a good, I, I don't know. I started on like Twitch way before I got banned on TikTok. It was when I hit like a million views and things kind of stalled because they removed a the feature I was using called like the Stitch. They brought it back. Uh, and like it hits the algorithm differently, so I was like, okay, I focus more on here. I would do like more political commentary, and I just reacted to videos. I didn't, I didn't care how long the video was, and um, then people started asking me to react to longer videos, and they did fine. So I'm like, I, I mean, I enjoy it, and I get to play video games while I do it. Sure. Yeah, we were in a politics I, panel I, a few weeks ago, and it was the most jarring fucking thing ever, and I never want to do one again. Was it uh, Kef no, Kefels? No, no. Is Andrew it was when um, it was you, me, uh, Doobie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those people are so boring. Dude, Doobie Holy was shit. just bragging right, to slander. his friend or whatever that was like, "Yeah, I have like this big politics guy in my house. Look at him, he's so cool." Or whatever. Was, who's who, who? Who's that in his house? I don't know. I don't, I forgot who. Like he was like uh, there's somebody watching him on Discord, some big guy, oh, and man, then he was just being sad. a total dick in the call to try to look good. Well, yeah, Doobie was a he's a frog dragon, right? I, yeah, he's I think Def so. Noodles is Def yeah. Noodles is bragging that he's so trending on Twitter four days in a row. Well, he said that yesterday, he, didn't no, he? No, no, that was three days in a row. Now he's bragging that he did it four days. Now, in a row. now it's four days in a row, and then he oh, good is uh, he's saying no video tomorrow. He said uh, he'll be back Tuesday. Interesting. That's I probably guess all good the time for him. he would have worked on a video was spent in the space. Probably good for him to take a little bit of break of a break, so you know, whatever. I just I don't want I am tired of the engagement with, with Def, you know what I mean? Like I don't even want I'm to talk shit about the guy anymore. I think we should do it more. 
Yeah, well, yeah. I don't, I, I don't, I don't like the controversy. Like, why? I, I, I can't possibly like, I know. think of a single reason why you wouldn't like it. Because it's fucking annoying. <laughs> I hate it. It pisses me off. It's stressful. You don't like being lying. called a pedophile. You're, Wait, I can't. Well, I can't you're even. You're lying. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Bro, you don't find sorry. it as an endearing believe critique. It, believe, it, believe it or not, I don't. I know that I get views when I'm in controversy, but it stresses me the fuck out. I don't appreciate it. I'm so it. jealous. I wish. I wish I was in the middle of this controversy. Oh wait, I am. Well, because you inserted <laughs> yourself into it. No, you both brought me up multiple times. You both no, you, brought as a, me up as a way to express a cognitive dissonance of death, the way the deaf noodles but interact. You brought me up. You brought me up. You know, if you ever watch, because well, you're just like, so fucking relevant, Team Star. That's there's, the there's, there is this, there's this one guy on, um, on YouTube who does documentaries on YouTubers and everything. <laughs> what do you guys help me out? What's his name? Internet J. In the King. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the legit guy. You guys are bringing up all these. June oh, the King uh, is the right uh, opinion. Sunny V2? The right uh, the opinion. The, the right Austra opinion. No, that guy's horrible. He's what are you talking about? He's horrible. Get the fuck out of here, King. The, no, he's a clown. He's a legit uh, he, clown. I like his videos. He's one of the funniest right, guys uh, you'll ever meet. The Australian guy. The Jay Aubrey? Guy. Wait a minute. You like Jay Aubrey no, more than fucking... No, Do not him. Like dude, Jay Wait, Aubrey whitewashed EWC? Keemstar out of the Lion Maker shit, dude. Oh my God, that was like Keem's him. story with Colossal, and he's barely mentioned. There's nobody left. There's nobody left. <laughs> this, okay. Oh, my God. John Swan? Um, is it Sunny V2? Yes, Sunny V2. Oh, yeah. Four, you fucking thief. Anyway, sorry. Oh, right. oh yeah. So, so anyhow, if if you go and watch any of Sunny V 2s um, like documentaries, the comments always say Keemstar's involved in this one too. <laughs> like, True. <laughs> but you know, you know, it's interesting. Funny. Any documentary does somehow I'm involved. <laughs> yeah, because you're fucking. You're always you're just always inserting yourself, Keem. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why do you get so upset when I say that you're always inserting yourself? It just uh, you know she was talking about you know addison ray and the penetration and stuff what? and then i don't know <laughs> and then what? i just I, i'm just digging at you you get upset the with that penetration what the fuck are you what I, that was like tw an hour what ago the i fuck feel did like you, wait i'm s oh oh yeah nick inserting himself he was inserting things. himself in addison uh, ray oh uh, uh, okay that's that's weird bro she's all never mind <laughs> That doesn't matter. Yeah, never um, mind. Actually, it seems pretty on target. Yeah. Like, sorry, I wasn't even trying to make a joke. For some comedian <laughs> tips right now. Jeez. Yeah, I wasn't even trying. You don't want to books, Zilla to make another video about you dating a, you know, a um, twenty-seven-year-old minor. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I can't believe Keem dates like thirty-year-old kids. <laughs> Yo, know, he picked up his forty-year-old girlfriend from fucking the the yeah, school from bus. From, yeah, from the school bus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, from, she from listen, college, dude. listen. It's po if if that twenty-seven-year-old was deemed by the sit date to not be consenting, then oh Keemstar, Jesus, that is, that, on your JFR. Was yeah, anyone on your JFR? Was anyone? Was anybody in the uh, the Twitter stream tonight with Deaf Noodles when he was talking to Cat, uh, yes. whatever her last name is? No. He said to Cat, he goes, I thought the way that you laid out your article where you were saying that the D'Amelio's dad was uh, dating younger women was to insinuate that he was a pedo. And I'm like, bro, you guys are constantly saying I'm dating younger girls. Like, that's what? the thing. Like, that was one of the other the... points that is in the video that's not well, out yet. Nick, Nick, you should have... Did you... Did, oh, you're making a video. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. There you go. I'm oh, sorry I cucked you. Sorry I cucked you, Nick. You cucked me. Don't worry. It, wait, it wait, wait. I fucked it up. So I tweeted out. I'm like, Papa Gut cucked me. But while I was in the call, I changed my profile pic to Deaf Noodles quitting YouTube. So it looked like I was Deaf Noodles saying Papa Gut cucked oh. me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy. <laughs> By the way, by the way, they're always making this weird argument that I'm like a predator. I'm this, and but I never went after any of these girls that I've dated. They've all came after me, bro, and I just yeah. accepted. I can't believe a few. Brantley's dating a th thirty-four-year-old child, dude. Kind of I mean, that's up. a better—that's a better argument. That's a better argument. If anything. <laughs> If there's Seems one thing I've learned, child, nobody on, no YouTube <laughs> viewer knows what the word grooming means. That's all I've learned. Nah, it's, it, 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 that does seem to be very true. It's very this annoying. Dude, this <laughs> dude said it won't hold up in court. There is no court, you idiot. <laughs> Yeah, he's no. got a, the police knocked on the door. They're like, "Listen, is your girl's brain twenty five and fully developed?" <laughs> it's 
the new age of consent, funny. <laughs> Well, it's because, uh, that's because the police, they, we need to reform the police, bro. All right, we need to defund the police. So the fact, the fact that they're not catching Keemstar... The biggest reason why we need is, to defund the police is because, is because of, of Keemstar. Keemstar, <laughs> yeah. yes, 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 yes. How is Keemstar I, allowed to date these 20... He can't keep getting away with this! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, everyone's jealous. Shut up. The, well, the, I don't. That. I don't think everyone's jealous. Some people are yeah. probably jealous. Some no, people are. They, like, if you, that's a good yeah. argument against Bo Blacks and Nicholas Delorio huh? because they don't. Have, they don't get any. Pussy but do you think Salvo is going to win I the fight against Keem's girlfriend? I prefer my girl to not have braces. A YouTuber is going to fist fight uh, Keem Star's girlfriend. Do you think that he's going to win? First of all, first of all, Bo Blacks. My girl's got braces because she's fixing her teeth. Yeah, okay. that's a likely story. Is that why Belle Delphine has braces? That's that's what braces oh are for, God, you fucking bro. idiots. Sure. Oh, Jesus <laughs> fuck up, really? Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, God. I guess some people use them to, you know, fix teeth. Are you insinuating oh. that she's dressing younger to appeal to Keemstar's base designers? I'm not Ken Ten. I'm not Cat Ten Barge. I wouldn't do that. But if I was, um, I don't know. I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right, so what were you gonna ask Keemstar? What were you gonna ask? I, I lost my point. I just can't believe you, you thought I was would, jealous of would, you. That's what you would said. start attacking my girl because she's trying to fix her teeth. Bro, like, body yeah, shape. Oh, I, fuck. Oh, I, always, I always find these jokes about the braces uh, a low ball, like low blow. Like, low blow, you know. yeah. Embrace your fucked up teeth. Yeah. Don't change who you are. Love yourself. True. Well, she couldn't. She couldn't afford to get her teeth fixed when she was younger. And as an adult, Wait, she hold on, started... Keem. Instead of buying your girlfriend new tits, you bought her new teeth. Holy shit. That's no, so nice. she did. <laughs> she did. With whose money? Hers. Doesn't oh. she work for you? Wait, yes, I really wanted did. to I really she wanted did, to know yeah. what, the, what what how am I jealous, Keem? Sorry, I want to push you on that. What makes me jealous? Oh, oh, that was the point. Yeah. That was the point <clears throat> yeah. that I wanted to bring up. I, I don't want to talk about you exactly because you'll just argue circles around it like, "Oh, oh. I love my wife and all this other uh, stuff." No, but which... this is about me. Some people are probably jealous. So I've already conceded that point, but I don't think everybody is jealous. So now I, I just want to I I I need to talk about this in general. When okay. I see somebody complaining, that you know i'm dating a girl in her 20s yeah they're always an overweight woman <laughs> all right? they are and listen i i'm sorry it's just the truth like oh that we, ethan, I, ethan klein isn't an overweight woman on twitter well i haven't finished my point we're talking about ladies right now okay when i see ladies complaining about this issue they're unattractive. They're either overweight or very ugly. Uh, okay, okay. Speaking on Sorry. behalf of overweight women over here, okay. Not all of us are ugly. I didn't. I didn't say. I didn't say that at all. And I'm not saying that all overweight women. The attractive have an issue overweight women just don't come after. Him. I'm saying when I am on Twitter, <laughs> I don't. Exactly. I don't care. I really don't care. They're not one of the good ones, anyone. you know. This is the truth. <laughs> this is the truth. When Jesus I'm Christ. on Twitter. These women, they have Twitter avatars with their face, and they're hideous women that have an issue with it. I, the people that support us, attractive women. It's like <laughs> night and day. It's There's a correlation there. I just can't tell what it means. Well, are you trying to say that's that, what I've I'm noticed? Saying that attractive women are dumb, Keemstar. Now, when it comes, the point you're trying now to make. Now, when it comes, no, attractive women are obviously smart in this scenario. Um, so. <laughs> The other thing I noticed with the guys, all right, it's mm. never older guys that have an issue, other than, of course, Ethan Klein. It's always younger guys. Am I it's not like old guys, enough? It's like guys in their 20s that are, like, all bent out of shape, like, ah, you're stealing our girls. So I think a lot of it, I think a lot of it comes down to, uh, to jealousy, you know? I think Obviously, some people. The, the unattractive women, I would never pick them. You know, Kim, you and Ethan a, Ralph a have a lot in common with your dating profiles. Just... I just want it. I want it. I wouldn't pick them. Well, yeah, and but if you got wait, if you got Brandy uh, pregnant, would you release like her sex tape out of anger and go to, like to jail? Absolutely not. Oh, damn. <laughs> and oh, I, all right, that's where the comparison I not, stops. I do not film sex ta sex tapes. That's weird. All right. To, 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 yeah, that's to her fair. knowledge, I got gotcha. you. Well, it, it sounds like, because I do film sex tapes, it sounds like you're being insulted <laughs> to my whole relationship. 
by saying that that's weird to film sex. <laughs> What's so weird I, about it, Akeem Star? A lot of people do it. A lot of people like to, to film their sex think, stories. Uh, well, we'll I be think, seeing a lot more of Papa Gut one day. Jesus, I'm not looking forward right, to that. Uh, if you look hard enough, you, you can find my dick on the internet. Uh, yeah. And that, that. That, that exactly, that uh, is my point. would you find that dick? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just for just for research. research if we're covering purposes. this deaf noodles versus Papa Gut, like Bro, stuff, I, people like, tell me that it's still out there. It was leaked a while ago. I really? Can't yeah, yeah. It was. You a- know, Chad. I was thinking about fucking flamenco when he said he did a sex tape. I immediately went to like uh, the Xander Hall thing of, wow, better be packing. <laughs> I'm sorry for fucking around with younger girls, illegal age girls. I said a lot of people are jealous. It's not really about you. No, I know. I don't think everybody's people are jealous, but this maybe some people are just like, yeah, you know, whatever, like cringe or something. No, you know? I'm not. I'm not gonna have this debate with you because you're okay, gonna okay. say I'm not jealous. I love no, my. No, not Flamenco. Fucking his own dick. I'm talking about what he said about Xander Hall because he was like, wow, Xander Hall is dating like women on Discord. His penis is going to leak eventually. Be prepared. Like, yeah, um, when he went like super fucking Kiwi Farms grind set mode. And like acted like a schizo. Twerk on me. Let's show oh, up. Right. Like, oh, Listen, bro, shut uh, up. Shut uh, up. Shut uh, up. Yeah, lots of sex tapes. Listen, I have a quick question, Keep Star. Okay. I think well this is one statement I want to make. I'm not even gonna assume that you take this position. Clearly, Ethan Ralph proves that fat guys can still pull. So if that was your assertion, I f- I disagree. I mean, you can't I have argue for fat guys. So yeah, if you that 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 was an assertion that it seems like you thought a lot of the guys were ugly and that they just couldn't pull. So I was wondering if no, that was, no, 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 oh, okay. no. That's just, not, okay, that's, okay. That's not, the, no, okay. Okay. No, I made a presumption. The women, the women that have an issue with me dating a girl in her twenties, yeah. they're all unattractive, and many of them overweight. The guys, they seem to be. Is that younger, why you like think they're attractive? 20s. Their twenties. Do you think that, okay, you think that and, you're saying unattractive overweight? Do you think maybe that because they're overweight, you find them unattractive? Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Like, I'm not True. really into, I'm not into big girls. No, that's not my thing. That's fair. That's fair. You should be with fun. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, Jesus. Can't be- what happened? I feel like one day you're going to get like a fucking BBW queen and your life's going to be changed forever. I wouldn't Kinda know. Kind of hypocritical for you yeah. not to have for fat girls. Yeah, you're going to be in your weight. You're gonna be oh my god! You're oh, gonna wow. be like fucking fifty or sixty, and like you're somehow considering gonna my fat girl. You're gonna be like holy hey, shit! Hold up! Didn't Bull you say black. you were afraid Bull to go black. to VidCon and have pictures taken Bull of you because people how are gonna much say you're fat? You weigh? No, Bull Blacks, I how weigh one seventy. Yeah, right. I d- I highly doubt that. I was underweight, Kim. Before I, I doubt used that. to doubt. Wh- I used to weigh one twenty. Damn. I highly doubt that you weigh really? one seventy. Really? Why? How much do you weigh, Kim Star? Two forty. No, Definitely I weigh over two hundred. I weigh two ten. Well, how tall are you though? I'm five nine. Mm, so oh. like five eight? No, I'm five nine. Are you sure? I'm just saying, some guys like to, some guys lie about their weight a little bit. Bro, how much do you fucking weigh? Like, what That's are we three, talking I, about? I weigh three fifty. So, so you mean like four hundred? So you mean like 400? No, no, like 350. I know some guys lie about their weight. You know, you mean like 400? I'm, I'm, I'm Who will lie about being person. 350 pounds? <laughs> Someone who's I'm 360 pounds. <laughs> Bro, he <laughs> can't lie. Look, he can't lie. Like, the dude, thing, here's the thing is that like the camera adds 10 pounds, so I have to subtract 10 Jesus because Christ. of that. So I'm actually 380 so pounds. No, I'm 350 pounds, but I'm also six foot four. So I'm you know perfect right in the BMI. Scale. Wait, you're six foot four. Deaf yeah. Noodles Jesus. is six foot four. Oh, we got to start fattening up Deaf Noodles, and we can set up this fight. Uh, oh my God, bro! Sumo I wrestling. Don't, I don't want to interact with the guy anymore. Like I don't want to. to, to but dude, you I, I look at you, bro. You got a massive reach, though. I know, I know, but I, fu- dude, I fucking hate the. Dr- That's I hate why you can punch him. Bullshit. You don't have to do drama anymore. Now you can just hate, you punch him. I don't feel the. Need you know you're talking to the to CEO of Happy dominance. Punch right now, okay? Oh he shit! He can put this shit together. Well, to, but Dennis would have to gain like thirty pounds, and I'd have to lose like a hundred. No, no, just pounds. make him gain the whole thing. It'll be safe. There's no way to be <laughs> he's, safe. He'll he's bulking. It's fine. Let's just. Oh, that's a fucking bulk, dude. Instead of him listen, flying you out listen. to L.A., you could fly out McDonald's to him every day. Yo, I, I am. I am the CEO of Happy Punch, and I could definitely set up this boxing match. And here's the thing: 
with heavyweights, there is no weight. There is no weight. So if you can get Deaf Noodles up to 230 pounds, it's a go. You can still weigh 350 and you guys can box. I'd probably end up losing weight if I actually train, but... Bro, I, no, you'll dude, replace really that shit box. with pure muscle, Papa God. Don't say that. Oh, my, yeah, fucking. I'd be. Uh, hey, listen, wait, do you guys drug test? <laughs> Yo, you do so many steroids. <laughs> I will fucking. I will go. I got I got a couple of buddies. I'll go on a fucking hard trend cycle. I'll get my fucking. I'll go crazy, dude. I'll take Anavar. I'll go on the whole fucking nine. You guys are gonna drug test me when I come out shredded in three months and I lost like a hundred Oh, dude, pounds? I'm so terminally fucking online that when you said Anavar, I thought you meant Destiny's ex girlfriend. No, yeah. they're fucking they're talking about PEDs. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What does she have to do with this? That was a joke, by the way. I would never take steroids. <laughs> but the doctor might need to prescribe me testosterone. Motherfucker, you That's can legal. take all the steroids in the world. Doesn't mean you could hit a baseball. That's true. I have horrible accuracy, though. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We need what are you a... trying to say? What are you trying to say? That, that people who play baseball, they some of them still take PEDs. It's not just about size, about recovery. This is the dumbest conversation ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're setting up the boxing match. Yeah, we're setting the, it the up. Sumo wrestling we're match. It's <laughs> sumo wrestling match for Happy Punch. Keem versus H three, and then Papa Gut versus oh Steph God. Noodles. What about Once the other Steph way Noodles around? H three H three will not box me. He is afraid of me. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if he's afraid of you as much as he probably just doesn't want to commit. Dude, to like he's a, like a thirty regiment. and he looks sixty. There's no way he's fighting me. Something's, something's wrong. Something's wrong. He it's yeah, dude. He's like, H3, H3 H3 is like the old man. All right, Tony looks like he's ninety and the guy's like sixty-two. Listen, you guys are well, engaging a lot see, of body shaming right now. Okay. See, okay, that dude, uh, Ethan Klein, he's like four years younger than me. Believe it or not, and if you like look at a picture of me and a picture of him, it's like what the he hell? Like I dad. clearly look younger. I cl he could be my dad. He really could. <laughs> and his his response to that is like Keemstar dyes his beard. So, wait, I'm you got fucking beard. destroyed on Twitter. Don't let. Wait, did you see that shit <laughs> where somebody um oh. said like when you kiss Keemstar and it was like all the beard oh, dye on her hilarious. face? That, that was hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I responded to that. That was really funny. That was good. Um, that was good. But, but yeah, I dyed my beard. Whatever. Like, it's like. And you always wear a hat. Response. In the pool. That was his response. And it's you like, wear a shirt in the pool because yeah. you don't want to look why shirtless. Do, why do you do that? No. That's weird. Okay, look, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to be honest, I don't really care that, I'm, that I got a man or a dad bod. I don't care. That's not the issue. It's always I have promoting. This, Always I promoting this, the merch. I have this fucking scar. I had my uh, busted appendix when I was like, I think I was like 18 months old, like a little, 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 little baby. Um, so it's not the typical like scar on your side. It's like right on my belly button and shit. And <laughs> I don't know. I just fucking, okay. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So I really don't That's fuck fair. around with my shirt off I respect anywhere. That. What about your hat, though? Do you have like a scar on your head from like a big busted brain or something? Like, why don't you? Uh, oh, I posted. I've posted Jesus multiple pictures Christ. of myself bald on Twitter, like on anywhere, you know. Okay. Like I, just I haven't seen like them, I guess. all these pictures of me bald are because I've posted them online. I really don't care that much, but it's like it's a game. It's like kind of a game now. <clears throat> okay. What Papa gets said is actually the case for me, though. What? I have a scar on the back of my head. Oh shit, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's from VidCon. When I hit I, him over the head with a fucking. No, no. Uh, when I when I was <laughs> four and I was like a, a tardo little kid, I like oh banged like the back of my head on like a fireplace and I was like bleeding and shit. My mom was freaking out, but she said I was laughing the whole time. Speaking about looks and whatnot, because you guys are so upset. First of all, I thought you guys cared about this stuff. I thought you were like, oh, don't shame people, but that's all we've been doing. <laughs> here. Wait, me? You thought like, me? No, all oh, these guys. Oh, okay. these guys right about like, me. like the the pages and the pop well, team guys, star. You know. There's the thing is that we're a little bit more friendly, so it's it's all just in jest, right? Okay, well let's be friendly. All right, someone needs to take a weed whacker to that face, bro. <laughs> it it literally looks like Bob Ross's head. Well, it's, it's not, not that bad. Chin. I gotta it, I gotta trim it, it up a little horrible. bit. Horrible. It's fucking horrible. That Kim is star. a disgrace to beards. Wait, Kim, are you watching my stream right now? That is ridiculous. Are you watching my stream right now? I am seeing your stream. All right, now. look at this. Do you see what I'm doing right now? You see this? Uh, okay, yeah. now, now, now do you see this right here? 
Okay, there's no, there's literally there's there's nothing on my hand. Okay, I can okay. do the same thing. I okay, can and you let me thing. see your hand after you rub your fucking beard, bro. You dye in your beard every day. Oh, what are you talking about? Coming after me when you dye your beard? Here, here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> oh my God, he, he's weirdo. going on. He's going on the fucking stream. You fucking weirdo. Hold up. I gotta show. I gotta show it. Dude, your hands are covered in fucking black ink. What do you the use? Line. Oh the my line. god. You're lying. Are you working in the, oh you got a lot of charcoal on your hands. You're not, you're not showing me on the fucking screen, you fucking I did for a weirdo. second. I did, for, you I, did show you, I did show you. People saw that your hands were fucking covered. So black. Unless you shit uh, or something. I don't know. No, you're keep fine. Keep it up and I'm going to start calling you a kid diddler. Oh my god. Oh, you guys are fucking nuts. He's gonna cry shit. again, bro. This you fucking asshole. You're you're you you want you want to talk to me, and I wasn't responding <laughs> to you. So this stupid ass is like Papa Gut. He says something about me insinuating or like that. I'm fucking. Oh, Jesus you're, you're, you're not very uh, you're not very good at it. All right, keep sorry. Very, very. I'm rude. on Twitch TV with my hands up, people. You saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. No. Yeah. Well, Nick. Other than this deaf uh, noodles thing, what else is going on in the community? Ah, uh, Mama Max. Really? I, I was gonna watch going? that. I didn't know what was going on, but I was thinking of watching I it. I thought it like calm down, kind of after his video. No, it is not. It is not calm down. Didn't he just up? Didn't he just upload a video and it said like every single, all nineteen girls that have called me out for <gasps> mistreating them are lying, and here's the proof. Well, I actually, that was yeah. I'm a little curious about like Nick's perspective on it because he's definitely he's probably the most honest person that's ever worked on Drama Alert. So, what what's like You're the worst? All right, You're an so idiot. I've been in, <laughs> so <laughs> disclaimer. I've been in um conversation with uh basically everybody involved in this. So I've talked to most of the girls okay. on uh, Edwin's stream. I've been in contact with a guy who made the video named Anthony, uh, and I've also been in a lot of contact with Max. Because uh, although we've had drama, we're okay now, and um, I'm trying to do right by him as we go through this. But um, basically, as it sits. It's way too early to call because they put out their video. Yeah. He put out his video. There's two more girls coming out in another video down the stretch. And then Max has said that he'll be down to get on and uh, be like questioned by me and Turkey Tom. So that's all still okay. ready to happen. Are you making a video out of that so I can um, react well, to it? Well, that questioning will be on. Uh, yeah. It'll be on fucking uh, like on youtube yeah we'll be posting what did he podcast. do to, okay can we can you explain for the people what did he allegedly do no so, idea, like what did he allegedly do to all these women basically and most i can tell here is he's been at least emotionally abusive to one of them um like for a matter of fact he's uh basically all right so there was a situation with a girl Haley, who I, I guess they were close growing up they never actually dated um, and she claims that he was like way too obsessed with her and showing up to her house and shit like that. After, like when uh, uninvited, he claims he was invited. Um, but basically, what happened is once she starts dating this guy Anthony, um, Max is in the military, finds out about this, loses his mind, um, cuts himself, tries to kill himself, posts the video Jesus. of himself cutting himself to Facebook, uh, and says it's your fault, Anthony. Um, and that's all. That that's confirmed true. He did get. He, he did. That? Yes, he definitely did that, uh, and he got what tossed the from the military. Um, and then after that, he posted like an unhinged fucking letter to um, to Anthony a year later to try to like reconcile over it. And that's like one of the most insane things I ever read. But um, that's that's what I, like that's the things I condemn him for based off of what we've seen so far. And I, I know that he did that oh, as a matter of oh fact because oh he my said God. it publicly and he also said it privately to me. I got breaking news. I got breaking news. Sorry to derail. Um, but, Emilio, bro. Okay, in order for Duff Noodles to box you, he has to gain weight, yeah. right? He tweeted out, we're going to be bigger than the internet 10 minutes ago. So oh I think God. he's accepting the challenge. Ladies and gentlemen. Bro, why are you still Coast looking? Why are you still looking? Versus West at Coast. <laughs> East Coast versus West Coast. LA's finest, Duff Noodles. Coming in at 6'4", 230 pounds, versus the East Coast monster, the untrimmed beard. Something that rhymes with beard, but I can't say on Twitch. Okay. Papa! What, 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 what does it, what, what do you, what does it, what can't you say on Twitch that rhymes with beard? I don't know, I'll probably get in trouble. Beard? 
weird? Oh, you know what? Don't even tell me. I don't even want to know. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, you don't want to know. Um, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll buy I, tickets. I'll buy tickets. I'll well, buy tickets. well, I have to get. I have to get training. I don't think that there's any. Uh, we're gonna say queer. That's offensive. I would never. Hello, guys. Right. And well, actually, that's part of the, the, the LGBT. That's, a, that's been reclaimed. It's now an identification. Some proper amends. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Lewis Rossman is a creator that I absolutely respect, and uh, he came into a mention of a video. Video that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely want to do. I want to make things right. Now, of course, that's an apology for Lewis Rossman. Should have definitely reached out to you via email. Now, of course, when it comes to right to repair, I feel like, of course, uh, I sent it money. I sent that money via credit cards or military, the government, because they know they can because of how some of these Wait, electric. Did he apologize to? Wait, did Buddha apologize to fucking Rossman for Lightwave? Is that is that true? I have to look into that. What? Well, it sounds like she's probably going to a point where she is maybe is exploring her gender, so she may not necessarily feel like a girl, so she probably is just like, hey, call me gay, which I think is totally fair. Who gives a shit? I think it was more about the word. Like, I, if I had to, like, pick one, I would go with gay. Like, lesbian, okay. just, uh, I don't know. But you're also a guy, so that's what I'm saying. Maybe it's associated with her exploring her, or them, them exploring their identity. Uh, well, is, uh, I mean, are they exploring our identity? Uh, possibly, yeah, this is a speculation. Either way, I think people should just say that they're gay if that's what they want to be called. I don't think it matters. Like but I'm talking, I'm talking more like Brandon. Like when you create a company, you got to think of a name for the company. I'm just a gay sounds better than lesbian. Yeah, it just <laughs> does. Yeah, I'd it rather be called better. gay. I, I mean, I'm just gay. Like I, I wouldn't want to be. I'm a lesbian. Like I don't. What, that word. Why did you put stink right. on it? Why did you put stink it on it? Because it's lesbian, like the the bn in that word just doesn't oh, because sound. Because cool. you, you don't like man. Hispanic people, so you don't like bn. I get what you're saying. Okay. I just like, I don't I I, I I would pick gay over lesbian too. I agree with her. I think she's right. Okay, well, that's good. Cool. Why don't you make a drama alert about this? Because uh, yeah, I don't know. I ain't touching that stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Oh my god, the chat. But you're a man, Keem. It would make sense that you're more comfortable with gay over lesbian. No, that is that's true. not what I'm that's not I'm talking about how the word sounds. I'm talking about how the word sounds. <laughs> gay just sounds better than lesbian. Like lesbian is like I don't like the word sure, either. Sure, sure. She sure. she makes a good point. Yeah. No, no. Um okay. What All sounds right. better, gay star or lesbian star? Well, Eddie why would star? you why would you name yourself after well, your identity? Hey, wait, Papa Gus, are you familiar with Smaggle Daggle? <laughs> no. Uh, he's like this community, like uh, I can't say that word on your stream. Um, I can say no, no, me. you can't. Arsler, yeah, Arsler, he's, he's like one of Arsler. those in, in Augie's community, um, and he ended up on the Deaf Noodle stream tonight, right? Um, and he he started okay. arguing with a with a senator, like, uh, someone who's like a candidate to become the Kentucky. What was it? Was it Kentucky? Okay. U.S. Uh, Kansas. Kansas to become the sen yeah the senator of Kansas. Um, he was okay. literally. By the way, the senator was just clout chasing. He admitted it so many times. He's like, "Well, I'm here because <laughs> Def." He goes, "I'm here because Def Noodles has a hundred thousand followers, and I'm here because Keemstar has two point seven million followers." He called That's you Kim. Dude, dude, this hey, guy's listen. primary is in Jeez, two days, Santa. and he spent his afternoon defending Def Noodles in the Twitter space. Is that what he actually? Oh, good for him, I guess. I mean, whatever he feels will make uh, him edgier with cooler with the and kids. Smago so. like bullied what? him for it, and he's like, "Why are you being mean? Why are you harassing me?" And he's like, "Shut up, bitch!" Oh my god! So fucking funny, dude. You guys are ridiculous, right? You guys are too based for me. I'm too old now. <laughs> yeah, you're wait. Kind of a let's do a litmus now. test. What do you think? That's of, true. What did you think of the clip of PewDiePie uh, mocking the deaf woman? Yeah, the nail clicking. <laughs> Bro, you guys are fucking out. What do you mean? What do you I mean? I was just asking a question. We just want to know what your take is. Let me, let me first simple. just let me first just say I didn't make a video about it. Okay. Well, although part of that's because I was engaged in this bullshit, so I didn't really have any, the energy to do anything else. Personally, it came off as insensitive. I don't know that it was necessarily racially racially motivated. I don't think he should have done it, but I'm not gonna like pearl clutch about it. I personally didn't really like it. See, this is this was my thought, right? So he makes fun of the deaf girl, right? And yeah. then she made a whole response. How did she even hear about it? Everybody that's deaf is completely deaf. And some people have hearing aids. 
So, like, that's from. They wrote it in the comments. I, that flew over my head. I had an autism. How did, she even, how did she even hear about it? I well, just answered you. I know, you're, I know the joke that you're making, but I'm telling you that's what it would be. I'm just saying, how did she hear about it? Somebody tell me. It doesn't make I don't, sense. This is fucking oh, ridiculous. Caption, Someone yelled close, really, really loud. It makes sense because caption, she might have, like, a hearing caption. aid or something. Oh, right? imagine having to rely on YouTube closed captions to oh, watch my stuff. God. Oh, my God. True. True. It's easy, though. For your videos, because it's just gotta read the tweet. Hell yeah, I'm my my right. videos are deaf friendly. Oh, did you actually make a? That's actually true. You got a really good point there. I did. Bro, yeah. Did you make a video about my situation? I'm not. I'm not even saying did I? Did I cause I saw a lot of people did. I, I just made never a video watched. about. Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I made a video about you versus uh, Death Okay, cool, yeah. No, I, I know a lot of people did. Not the stuff today, because I uploaded the video yesterday, so it was everything, like, prior to the Twitter. Yeah, do you. You could upload whatever you want. I just know that a few people did. I only really watched, like, Paige's video on me for the most part, and I turned it off when it got to the fucking towards the end. Because I really just hate watching myself have a fucking, like, get a little emotional. On my stream, very cringe. How do I? Yeah. How do yeah. I ever? How do I ever leave the internet? Like I just, I'm sitting in here doing nothing, talking well, about nothing. Well, you handle your channel. I don't, I don't, um, I don't know how I'm ever gonna leave. any money doing it, dude. What the hell's on that with you? Me neither, man. Oh, I'd make money, but I just not on this. Well, platform. I mean, in in specifically in this instance, right? You gotta move oh, it a yeah. purpose. You know what I mean? Well, you don't, so I guess it doesn't really matter. You know what I should do? I should just give all my money away. Give it every last cent of it away, and then I'm, like, literally poor, and then I have to, like, hustle again, and I have to show... Well, you wouldn't really have to hustle. You could make, like, really shit content, and people would watch enough for you to make, like, a really good living. Like, I, like let's be honest. Your, your fucking fame will carry you. Uh, maybe. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I'm popping off on TikTok... Um, is because like yeah, some a lot of people have forgotten about me, but a lot of people also like remember like oh I haven't seen Papa in two years like some of it. Um, oh, you have a new TikTok. A, I have a clips TikTok. I have like a regular one. It's called like GutTube. I don't use it, but I have a clips TikTok that I've been growing just for clips. I mean that's the only that's the only value I see in TikTok anymore. Um. So, yeah, it's like a Papa Gut clips all underscores even after the clips part. And I've been doing like a clips Twitter and a YouTube and a clips. I'm just trying to like. I feel like that's the next the na next natural step, um, yeah. in in my content for my oh, evolution. Yeah, for sure. So, really good idea. All right, guys, uh, check the poll in the chat. Vote. What's the poll? Oh, I was talking about my fan followers. You guys don't have to. Look oh at the my poll. god! Fuck off. Bro. Oh, they're hey, they're they're, 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 they're fuck. hitting me with. Fuck <laughs> off. Bro, Wait, every. Every time I come here, I feel unwelcomed. Bro. What are you talking about? Everybody's absolute. saying no. They're all saying you should not leave the internet. I oh, feel at least. so unwelcomed. Every time there's some fucked up poll about me, I all Don't I do is to, even. I, I support you're, Papa Gut. I support his wife. I you're 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 always telling asking my chat to give ones in the chat, and like my wife really doesn't like to be brought up. I know that you're you're you're, you're, you're I know that you're very well intentioned with it, but she really hates being like part of the uh, like the conversations. But I understand that you're not trying to like, do anything wrong, but she but does like you, really hate you, it. You bring her up all the time. It's, it's well, okay, but there's a difference. Okay, I bring her up when I say involved. I don't mean like personally, like, hey guys, here's a tweet about. Like, you know what I mean? She doesn't like to be personally involved. Like, I bring her up as, as an extension of me, but she doesn't like to be brought up as like her own person because she hates like the internet drama and shit. And it's very frustrating to her. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Okay. That's it. That's it. Um, anyway, they're guys, voting in your favor, so. Do you guys fight a lot about um, shit online? No, we don't. Do you <laughs> we argue don't argue about it? No, we. So when it comes to like generally um, my content, so like when I do mm -hmm. content that's like a little more, I guess like uh, loaded conversationally, I will talk to her about it a lot to get her perspective mm -hmm. to see how like she feels about it. Um, which is the reason why I think a lot of people like my content is because like a lot of my what I say is like a reflection of what she says to me, uh, especially when it comes to something that I like, can't necessarily understand, like maybe issues of women and whatnot. I talk to my wife and she's like, "No, oh, this is this and that and the other thing." Um, so, yeah, she she's a bit, she's a major part of like my success as like a content creator. Does she beat you? She beat me. Yeah. Off or 
like in the face like no when you get it wrong <laughs> no what do you mean get it wrong she'll she'll be disappointed if she feels like i got it wrong and then we'll talk about it but she doesn't fucking beat me she, she won't give you like a left hook you're messing no, up no 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 she won't give me a fucking left are you hook. sure are you sh sure she loves you i think yeah that seems kind of unhealthy if they you don't you think give you, like, oh, so are, are you telling me if that she's not giving me a left hook then she doesn't love me i'm sorry is this a normal I'm relationship just, dynamic for you i'm just saying i thought that was what a normal relationship was am i wrong that's unfortunate for you brother i hope i hope that you escape <laughs> Dude, Kim's I'm being joking. abused i'm joking i'm joking you have to save him <laughs> Dude, my girlfriend probably could beat me up though. Like dead ass. She has insane strength. Yo, that kid Salvo is literally messing with fire. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah, he's in danger. People don't understand. He has a power dynamic over well, you. Well, my real question is, do you think you could ever set up a conversation with Jordy Jordan? What do you mean? I want I I'm, to... I'm kinda curious I've to talk to the guy. I've known see, I've known him since two thousand ten. So uh -huh. we're very familiar with each other. Tonight, he just asked me for help because um, trolls are... It's really messed up what's happening. I mean, look, there's a million reasons to hate Wings of Redemption. Me and him have hated each other for years. Mm -hmm. But he is being trolled at such a, a, oh, a bad Oh, shut rate, up, right, right now. Listen, see, you know I, what they're... seemed that way. This is what they're doing to him. They are filing DMCA takedowns on him. And they're telling him they're not going to release the claim unless they pay him five hundred dollars in Bitcoin or whatever. Oh my and so God. he just tweeted me tonight for help. But like he's getting trolled like bad. Like it's not just the normal talking shit, death threats and swatting. It's like messing with his career like bad with the fake DMCA takedown. So I feel I feel bad for him. Oh my God. Well, that's yes. still, you shouldn't be ad, like, we, we should be uh, not advocating for fucking get, him getting trolled. But that's pretty fucked up. I mean, there's listen, a lot of people that should listen. Get a job. All right. After his wife started, like, allegedly cheating he with one of his moderators of his fucking chat, he should have got a job. Uh, anything after that is fair game. I don't know. Hey, listen, what, what he was, what, because she was cheating on him or something? Who cares? That's, that's between them, though. That doesn't mean you should bully the guy and, like, take his money. Listen, away. listen, up. listen, Papa Gut. Lol Cow yes. is a cutthroat game, all right? Okay. Yeah, but nobody Kinda wants to up, be one. Nick. Like, Keem's saying he's getting, like, swatted and his career fucked with, and you're just like... What if you... Whoa! Like, the fuck? <laughs> what if you were the lol cow, Nick? I would right? get you wouldn't a be job. so funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what, what job would you get? Guys, I just got a notification. I got a coyote I I got or a fox on my trail cam out in the fuck. woods, bro. Dude, it's Damn, bro. sick. Like a hot, like a, like a hot older Look, woman, like a wait, fox. Hold on, or hold on. Like wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If, if you had, a, if fuck? your life was going one of two ways, A, you work at Walmart, or B, you have to be Boogie2988 in the year 2022, what would you pick? Well, Walmart. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have to work at Walmart. I would be able to get like a job. Uh, no, 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 no. That is the option. Up. It's either you got to... Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think I'd probably choose Walmart. <laughs> Just to... <laughs> Just to save my dignity. Wait, what's, what's so wrong about being Boogie right now? Uh, you're post Frank Castle Boogie two nine eight eight who lied about a swatting. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy. He, it, uh, listen, I'm not a particular fan of Boogie, but I will say he does seem to get a little bit of a disproportionate response. That's just the way sure. it seems to me. Sure, I, tr I used to defend him until he lied about getting swatted. Yeah, because like I, I would be the Walmart person because I don't want to be fat, but I'm like thinking for you guys like. What? <laughs> the problem, like, what's the problem answer? with the problem oh, you. with the problem with the problem with Boogie is mental health, though. That is like a real mental health situation. Yeah, I know it's I mental health. He called Turkey privately. Tom after Tom made his video, and he was like, like seventeen or sixteen years old, and he's like, you know, Tom. Oh no, you didn't call him. Sorry, he DM'd him. Let's be fair. He DM'd him. He's okay, like, okay. all right, man. This guy's lying. I understand about the, a lot the, of your critiques, calls. but uh, makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, that's a little rough. Apparently, but... dude, he went on stream, right? I can't say the story. No, I can't tell the story. Never mind. Yeah, don't, Never that was mind. fucked up. Never mind. Well, well, if we're choosing to become Boogie, are we also, like, uh, adopting his mental health issues? Yes, yeah, that's part factor. of the package. Okay, oh then definitely Walmart. Well, he, he, has I, I, he has it rough mentally. Like, that's even, horrible. Yeah. Why would I want all those fucking problems? Well, he still yeah, does decently. Mental issues when he... are a pain in the ass. Look, eye. I got 99 problems, but Boogie 2 Here's the thing. Ain't one. Here's the thing. I, 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 I understand. Like, look, everyone had some trauma when they were younger, right? Uh, almost every person, right? Yeah, trauma alert. Some yeah. trauma. Trauma alert. Omnia's uh, like, some video, trauma. Yeah. Like, 
every single person has something that happened in their sure. childhood that affects them as an adult mm -hmm. in a negative way we're talking right no sure. um many people can overcome them overcome it some people can't <clears throat> and i i'm not a mental health expert um so you know i'm not even going to begin to i didn't even know that i thought that you were three sips yeah, of beer a lot of people think that yeah three sips of beer yeah man. i mean so, that definitely helped me first of all first of all <laughs> listen if you do have a panic attack and you're old enough to drink three sips of beer stops panic attacks i don't care how many jokes y'all make about it it's Maybe. true i do it out of the it south works. right there Jesus, straight Southern from Missouri. Man. What the fuck was that? Well, maybe. What do you mean? Right. This mean motherfucker's been off-roading so much he thought he was so in what the, the fuck south. In Australia. All, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is Boogie constantly is talking about his mental health and his problems as that happened to him, the horrible things that happened to him as a kid. I, like it's like every time he talks, he's talking about. That's probably the same thing worse than other people's trauma, though. You know, like I, everybody yes, does have like agreed. a trauma, but that one's fucked. Like I, but, like someone broke into my house when I was like twelve. That's fucked me up. I constantly check my agreed. doors now. I feel like that's nowhere near what happened to him. You know. Agree. I agree with you. I agree with you that he had really bad stuff happen to him. Guess the thing is, like, is he choosing to constantly like live with yes. that, like by talking yep. about it? I yeah, well you. no okay so I I don't know that people always choose the way that they experience things so I don't think that he's choosing to to to, to constantly to relive it, it. Well, every time you talk I, about I, it you're reliving it you're reliving maybe it. that might also be like a way that he copes with it in some capacity I don't think it's as simple as like if you just don't talk about it, it goes away I think that's a little bit of like an older like uh, like hey you know kind of toughen up type of thing it probably like really fucks him up and he probably can't help himself. And like he probably could do a little more. I'm not gonna say that he has no control, but like you know, there's I, I don't know. I would, it's I would try to be aware. Like okay, when you get like really upset next time, try to be aware of the way that like you interact because like everybody has their moments where they like they have a feeling and they act on it and it's super irrational mm -hmm. and it's not like controllable necessarily. And then that might just be what Boogie's doing all the time. You know what I mean? I would just try to engage in like that. You know, next time you're yelling at Ethan Klein, be like, you know what? I'm not really in control of myself. I'm just fucking screaming. Because mm -hmm. if if I was him, I'd go on a mushroom trip, oh and I God. would like, I would literally go on a mushroom trip, and I would try to rewire my brain. Right while <clears> I was tripping, I'd be like, forget about this, forget about this, forget about this, never think about this again, forget about this, and I'd want to like erase it from my memory. Yeah, I mean, if I bet, I bet he would if he could. Um, that's like a that's like a fucking. I mean, that would be some deep trauma doing that. I don't know if it's that effective. That would be. I don't know if it's that easy to just forget things. Um, well, I mean, there's been a lot of studies on shrooms. There's, I mean, I just did them a couple days ago to rewire to to help with, um, you know, a habit of mine with the fucking vaping and shit, which I've cut way okay. back on. Like, it's like there, there's studies on the shit. Well, like, there's got to be something to do. You can't just sit there and be injured. You got to try to heal. I agree with that. I think it's just harder for some people. Also, I would say that a, a jewel habit is a little different from a dramatic childhood experience. It might take a little more than some shrooms to quit. You know, you, that. Should, you should you should look at some of the studies, dude. They do. Well, I'm just saying that, like, your experience is like I really wanted to quit smoking. <laughs> there, was a, well, there was a there was there was a guy <laughs> with a like, I really want to quit everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's a little different. You know, I'm sure there are studies that like shrooms are positive. I don't really know. Don't want to pass around the misinformation. Guy, I wouldn't doubt it. This guy went into Joe like Rogan? again. I'm not, I'm not a doctor or anything, but and actually, I think that's where I heard it. He, this guy went on <laughs> the show Rogan. Know? Anyhow, anyhow, he had a stuttering problem, and he went into the trip like I will never stutter again. I will never stutter again. Like he just they kept saying it to himself during this trip. Woke up the next morning, stopped stuttering. Never stuttered oh. since. Yeah. Well, hey, maybe it'll work. I don't know. What, Why don't you what send happens some when mushrooms? It, what happens when you're on the shrooms like different parts of your brain start talking to each other that normally don't talk to each other and they think that's like that's like one of the hypotheses on uh why they think that happened interesting okay are you telling me i should try to take shrooms yeah I, listen I, I, all I, right I, have you heard a light I, wave I you just be like I won't <laughs> cry in, i will well, never cry in a youtube video i never cry in a youtube God. video you fucking piece of shit, <laughs> dude. Cry. With with all the oh, shit oh that you've God. given me tonight, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna pick on you for crying. I'm laughing at it. Listen, Keemstar. Did I say Keemstar? I can't believe 
you make it on lighthearted joke. I just said you're a fucking asshole. Like, what do you want me? Oh, Keemstar, that was a great one. All right, you called I me an asshole. Cry about it again. I thought you were I about to cry. Re I was really close. If you look at my stream, I'm actually wiping the tears from my face. Damn. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So, oh, I was gonna ask you if I lost weight, do you think that my channel would be over since I'm Pop Magut? No, no, no. Okay. I think okay. you should. I think you should. I probably should. You know, I'm you going would, to Disney you, soon. You would lose some of your audience though, because there are like some viewers that are like overweight that only like support fat people. Dude, they're chasers. Possible. That's fucked up. Though. Damn, I need to gain some weight. It's it's true. <laughs> That's a real thing. It is. That's possible. I know that, like, for me, like, I am part of the, like, that's my, my, what I look like is part of me. I don't have, like, a fucking, uh, like, what do they call those little stupid video, like, frog dragons? What do you, uh, vid, VidTuber? What is it called? What are those guys where they have, like, a puppy dog in a bowl oh, as their PNG, as their picture instead of their person? What is it called? A VTuber. A VTuber, yeah. Yeah, VTubers could probably get away with that, but I can't. A lot of these youngins that don't show your face on the internet. Fucking I just cowards. use Nick to get all the fat viewers to my channel. He's my token fat. True. Person. <laughs> token fat well, friend. That's a good idea. That's a good. That's smart. That's very smart. Yeah. Dude, I mean, you just gotta fat. do keto. I'm telling you, you and Nick oh, and whoever else oh is over. Get this on that keto this train. This fucker says keto, and I'm like, Keemstar, Jesus Christ. I thought you were like, you gotta do keto. I was like, oh my god. Maybe just stop no, eating keto. donuts every goddamn day. Keto. I just have to eat less. It's not like I need to do ke like uh, keto. No, keto's a great way to do it for like maybe a month. You know what I mean? Just get like. Well, then good, you're gonna blow like, up after you like introduce carbs no, back into your system. No, 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 yeah, no. no yeah, yeah, no. yeah, brother. No, brother. you're not gonna you're not gonna blow up. You get down a good twenty pounds. Get twenty pounds gone, and then how much is that? Like, is water weight though? That's a good. That's a, like that's like a good engine. You know, you, you're you're like starting to do now introduce the exercise and like salads and like healthy carbs not bread not donuts none of that shit yeah, but I, could just, I could just start with healthy carbs and exercise and then i would be in a good spot no, right? i don't want to no. do keto no, you sound like you're, no. you're basically telling me to do like a body flush like a fucking you're telling me to juice you gotta, with you gotta get fucking your hamburgers you gotta get your body running off of fat like if you can get your body fat. running off of fat it'll burn the fat off you Okay, but like, I just want you to know that like, fat, protein, and carbs will all deposit into your body as fat if they become unused. Like, so you're not. It's like not fat as like a as a as a macronutrient isn't the same thing as the way like fat in your body. So you will if you, as long as you're in a deficit, a cal a calorie deficit, you will burn your fat. Um, I'm getting flashbacks of when Joe Rogan or when uh, Ethan Klein was saying that Joe Rogan was unhealthy. Like, what? What are you, are you really? Are you trying to He's teach just... me about diet, bro? Keemstar, Keemstar. <laughs> Keem I'm totally I'm talking Keem about him. Jesus. Keemstar, Keem I know that I'm fat. And it's an easy win to be like, well, you're fat. You know the only thing. I used to train for strongman. Like, I know a little bit of, like, nutrition and, like, uh, you know, workout shit. Like, I know how to program, like, a routine. Like, I know what I'm talking about for the most part. Like, I, will, just like I, I never work out other than walking well, and running. There you go. Well, that's good. It's still good to do those things. Yeah. I'm just saying that like keto is going to be a lot of water weight because when you cut out carbs from your diet, a lot of like your your uh, carbs generally will um, maintain water retention. So a lot some of that weight's just like a less water retention in your body. Good, get that shit out. Yeah, but then it's going to come back in once you eat carbs again. You know what else you, could, you know what else you could do? <clears throat> this is a this is a new diet that's like really yeah. blowing up right now. A lot of yeah. boxers are on it. Do meat and your fats and then fruit. Just those two. I don't think that's good for me to just eat fruit as one of my. Why? Because I'm diabetic, Keemstar. I can't eat fucking. Sh I'm not supposed <laughs> to have sugar. Like I can't. How how the hell did you get diabetic? Keemstar, you have to understand something. F being fat isn't really healthy. So you got diabetic for being fat. Well, no, I he mean, got it I from gestational. It's when he was pregnant. I, 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 yeah, I got pregnant. I got fucking diabetes. <laughs> I imagine it is more to do with over-consuming particular foods, and so the diabetes and the fat are both symptoms of a poor diet. No, I, I, I honestly knew that. I just wanted to hear you say it. So oh, uh, thanks, keeps stop, stop eating. <laughs> yeah, well, so you know what, Keemstar, like, you're type two ignorant. Whoa! Got him. <laughs> With the fucking body shaming, dude, that's fucked up. But you know, it's it's actually very weird. It's like a very bizarre thing. But as I as I got, I just got older, and a lot of like my body just kind of started to tell me to fucking go fuck myself. 
Um, and I look at a lot of other like overweight people now that are like 25, 30, like other content creators, especially guys. I don't know what it is, but like every Fox, woman my age, I've that met, was like, really they, specific. Dude, because that's when my fucking body went downhill from the same diet. Twenty five. That's when I got. That's what it started. That's what it really started. And I started like really getting into like, or was it twenty four? But I started like kind of getting really good. Wait, how old are you? I'm thirty two. How old are you? Jesus Christ! You look older than Ethan. (laughs) You were calling me young before, and now all of a sudden I told you I'm thirty two. Now you're saying I look older than Ethan Klein. I I never would have guessed that. I thought we were like the same age. There's no way. That's wild. Are those Funko? How old did you think he was, Nick? What? Those are Funko Pops. You They're supposed to make me look younger. You have Funko Pops. Uh, yeah, those. That's my My Hero Academia wall right there. Oh. That's, and then uh, that's some other stuff. And then yeah, I, I have collectibles. That's okay. okay. I bought a bunch Papa of U twos and I regret that. Papa Gut, you are only thirty two. That metabolism yes. is still there, bro. You have to fucking get in shape, and you have to make content about getting in shape. I don't. I would not 32. do that. I wouldn't make content out of All it. Right. I, 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 that's every part account. of my life. Yeah. Every, every part of my life, I hate when everybody talk about losing yeah. weight. Like, yeah, nothing of value in this chat. Talk to you guys later.